This VR game is taking the world by storm. 300 billion players around the world are eagerly awaiting the game's release. But here I am, spending 100,000 yuan to buy two boxes of instant noodles. All because at the moment the game starts. Beasts, demons, and monsters will begin to appear. They will go on a frenzy, slaughtering players who log into the game. And within these piles of instant noodles, there will be 10 limited edition god-level talent cards. World's dawn, every player entering the game will be randomly assigned a talent skill by the system. The impact of this will be enormous for the player's future. The disparity between a player who starts with a god-level talent and one with an ordinary talent is unimaginable. In my previous life I struggled and fought for two and a half years in the world's dawn. Only to die a tragic death at the hands of my brother and girlfriend. Now, I find myself back in the game, three hours before its release. Based on my memories, I used 100000 to buy these boxes of instant noodles from a fat otaku. With a dumbfounded expression on the otaku's face. I hurriedly ran home, holding the two boxes of instant noodles. I almost spent all the savings from my previous years of work for these two boxes of instant noodles. But I understand that compared to the god-level talent card, no amount of money is worth it. With a nervous heart, I quickly started opening the instant noodle packages. After opening more than a dozen packages in a row, I finally found a gold card in a package of noodles. I don't know how that fat guy managed to open this package of instant noodles exactly two hours before the game's release, all I know is that my hands are trembling. As the sixth god card was found, Tianyin Group, the company that implanted a tracking system on the god cards, immediately announced this news online. The World's Dawn Game Forum instantly exploded. Meanwhile, the fat guy, who hadn't made it home yet, was gleefully proud of picking up over 100,000 out of nowhere. While also looking at his phone and seeing the news, he was left dumbfounded. But I knew nothing about this, I immediately took the newly obtained gold card and went to my room. Inserting the gold card into the slot prepared on the world's dawn game helmet. All that was left was to wait for the game's release in an hour and a half. I sighed as I looked at the sky outside the window, in my previous life, I survived in a game for 8 years, but I never understood how World's Dawn dominated this world. All I knew was that in order to survive in the World's Dawn world, one must become powerful. Night fell, the clock struck 8. I sat in front of the computer desk and opened the World's Dawn game interface, I put on the game helmet and logged into the game. As the world in front of my eyes began to digitize, I heard the system prompt in my ears, Game loading, logging into the 8th server, please wait. The world's dawn world is divided into 34 regions in total, representing the 34 provincial level administrative regions in the country. The first time a player logs into the game in a certain province or city, they will be automatically assigned to the corresponding region by the system. In my previous life, I was also in the 8th region, so, I am well aware of all the opportunities in the 8th region. I heard the prompt again, please set your game ID and choose your faction. Without hesitation, I entered my ID name from my previous life, Qingqing, because the ID doesn't matter, and I don't feel like thinking about fancy names. As for the faction, there's no need for the system to introduce it, I directly chose humans, in the world's dawn world, there are three factions. Humans, different tribe, and demons. Because the background of this game revolves around the three major factions. World's Dawn is a modern warfare game, set in the mid-21st century, where aliens invade Earth through a wormhole. The war between the two sides has caused severe damage to the Earth's ecosystem. Resulting in mutations and the emergence of autonomous consciousness in all non-human infected beings on Earth. They have also joined the territorial plundering war. The three factions have their differences as well, players who join the different tribe faction can increase their daily earnings from monster hunting or quests by 20%. Joining the Warcraft faction allows players to gain an additional 20% experience. For the human faction, they can increase their prestige by 20%.
My experience from the previous life told me that the most important thing in the world's dawn world is prestige. Besides that, in my previous life, I was also part of the human faction, so I have a comprehensive understanding of the opportunities available to the human faction. After completing the ID and faction selection, a pleasant prompt sound rang out, respected player with the god level talent card, congratulations on receiving the randomly assigned god level talent from the system, the owner will have a 100% success rate in equipment enhancement. Seeing the talent I acquired, I felt incredibly thrilled, a 100% equipment enhancement success rate, only experienced players know how powerful this talent is. Equipment enhancement is a pitfall in the world's dawn world, in this game, all equipment can be enhanced using enhancement stones. Each enhancement can increase the base attributes of the equipment by 10%, the maximum enhancement level is plus 25. And when the equipment is enhanced to plus 25 inch it unlocks a powerful equipment talent, countless players in the previous life shed tears over equipment enhancement. With the god level enhancement talent, I feel like I'm about to soar. Just then, another system prompt sounded, Dragon Blood Scroll activated, congratulations on obtaining the Dragon Lineage. Dragon Blood Scroll, I was instantly dumbfounded, the power of the Dragon Blood Scroll I obtained before my death in the previous life has actually been reborn with me. The Dragons, a mysterious race that surpasses the three major factions, not available as a selectable faction for players, they belong to a neutral status in the world's dawn world. In my previous life, out of the entire world, only three people were recognized by the Dragons and became members of the Dragon race. The Dragons are the existence that countless players in the world's dawn world dream of. In order to obtain the Dragon lineage and have the opportunity to join the Dragon faction, my dear Mukin, who was like a brother to me, and my lover Lin Lu, whom I lived and died together with, along with over 100 top players. It took a whole year to successfully hunt and kill the nine-headed dragon emperor to obtain the dragon blood scroll. But in the end, we were betrayed. Excited, I opened the introduction interface, I was shocked when I read it. The level 1 dragon blood system actually started with the highest quality gold level skill in the world's dawn world, and it also had a 5 star passive attribute growth. Furthermore, the upgrade of the dragon lineage requires prestige from the three major factions, I couldn't help but secretly rejoice in choosing the human faction. When the dragon lineage reaches level 10 inch those who possess the lineage will be eligible to join the dragon faction. At that moment, the system's prompt sounded again character creation complete, welcome to the game world of World's Dawn, the survival mission for this week has been released, you can view the details in the mission interface. As the system's prompt echoed in my ears, my vision shifted and I found myself inside a derailed train. This familiar scene excited me, the birthplace was indeed the same as the previous life, looking around, I saw many other players spawning in the same carriage. In the world's dawn, the time synchronized with the real world. Night fell, and through the window, I could see the enormous spiders and scorpions crawling on the railway, feasting on the bodies of animals and humans. Amidst the incredibly realistic game scenery. Besides me, several dozen players in the same carriage were excitedly leaning against the windows, their eyes filled with anticipation. Silently listening to the conversations of the players, I shook my head, these people had not yet realized that the world they were in was no longer just a game. In my memory, the main storyline of World's Dawn revolved around survival missions, the first survival mission seemed to be finding a safe zone. I casually opened the mission interface, just like in the past, the survival missions still rewarded revival chances. Closing the mission interface, I couldn't help but feel delighted as I looked at the attribute interface that was more than double that of other players, starting with half of their attribute growth was truly satisfying. Then, I opened the inventory, where besides the 10 level 1 red potions that the system had given. There was only a novice sword that added 3 attack power, unfortunately, I didn't have any enhancement stones on me at the moment so I couldn't unleash the power of divine level enhancement. Glancing at the time, it was 8.03 in the evening. With the start of the game, some players in the carriage couldn't hold back anymore, they jumped out of the window wielding their swords to fight monsters. 
I watched as a young man with yellow hair rushed out of the train, fearlessly swinging his sword at a nearby giant spider. Soon, the spider counterattacked and killed him on the spot, his body turned into white light and returned to the carriage. Consuming one revival chance, the yellow-haired guy, who had used up a resurrection chance, stared in astonishment, why is this spider so powerful? Another middle-aged male player in the carriage pointed at the spider and said, with so many level 1 spiders around, why did you choose to fight the level 3 one? The yellow-haired guy paused for a moment and said, it's just a game anyway, even if I die, there's no loss, I can always come back. At this moment, the other players in the carriage were also filled with excitement, they grabbed their swords and rushed towards the level 1 mutated spiders. Only I didn't rush out of the carriage, instead, I took a safety hammer from beside a window. As the safety hammer fell into my hand, it instantly transformed into a large black iron hammer. You have obtained a crude iron hammer, looking at this iron hammer in my hand which added 5 points of attack power, I couldn't help but smile with satisfaction. Although it was also a 1 star equipment like the novice sword, this level of iron hammer had 2 more points of attack power than the level 0 novice sword. In the early stages, 2 points of attack power couldn't be taken lightly, in the previous life, the player who obtained the safety hammer was the first one to break out of the train station. After equipping the iron hammer, my attack power increased from 5 points to 7 points. I calmly walked out of the carriage, as soon as I stepped out, a strong stench hit my nose. It was clear that these new B players could handle a level 1 giant spider as long as they didn't do something foolish like trying to fight higher level monsters. Unlike other players, I didn't rush towards the giant spider, instead, I carried my large iron hammer and headed towards the waiting hall at the train station, I had a specific purpose for coming to the waiting hall. At the entrance, I encountered a red-colored giant spider. I casually used the detection spell, second level bio spider, seeing the description on the data panel, I confirmed that it was the one. In my previous life, I stumbled upon this opportunity by chance, in this life, I arrived at the waiting hall before anyone else so that welfare monster must be mine. It would be difficult for a level 1 player to fight against a second level bio spider. But for someone like me with dragon lineage and a divine great iron hammer, it was no problem at all. So, I approached with the large iron hammer and swung it down on the giant bio spider, which stood at least one meter tall. The startled bio spider immediately swung its eight hairy legs towards me, attempting to bite. I quickly stepped back and dodged, then swiftly struck again with my hammer, dealing eight points of damage to the bio spider's head. In my previous life, I wasn't considered a top-level expert, but I had some basic positioning skills, with some strategic moves, I successfully killed the bio spider. As the bio spider died, there was a loud rumble, and a golden box dropped from its corpse. Excited, I immediately crouched down and opened the one-star treasure box. Treasure boxes in the Dawn world were similar to lottery tickets, classified by star levels to indicate their rarity, the higher the star level, the better the loot. Inside this one-star treasure box were 30 level 1 enhancement stones. For someone like me with a divine grade enhancement talent, this was truly a blessing in disguise. Without hesitation, I began enhancing my iron hammer. I quickly upgraded it to the maximum plus 25 level and unlocked the exclusive talent, Severe Injury. If someone else were to enhance such a mediocre early game transitional equipment to plus 25 inch they would surely be called an idiot because the basic attributes of low level equipment were low. Even if it was enhanced to the highest level, the improvement would not be significant. However, for someone like me with a divine grade enhancement talent, it was nothing. At least this plus 25 hammer would allow me to reach the safe zone without any obstacles. According to my memories from my previous life, the first player to reach the safe zone would receive a generous system reward. I would be rewarded with 25 enhancement stones. With divine grade enhancement in my hands, I could easily acquire plus 25 equipment. However, based on the information distribution on the minimap, it was not wise to leave the waiting hall and head directly to the safe zone. So, I followed the tracks and headed west, but just as I walked a short distance outside. 
a level 3 bio spider appeared in front of me. Because the monster suddenly appeared, I didn't have a chance to react at all, I stepped on the toe of the biohazard spider with one foot, causing it to let out a painful roar. A green venom instantly spewed out from the spider's mouth, directly spraying onto my chest. The attack power of this level 3 biohazard spider was truly high. Even with my 15 star endurance growth, I couldn't withstand the corrosive damage of its venom, my health bar above my head dropped by one sixth. Meanwhile, the players behind me who were busy attacking the level 1 biohazard spiders looked at me with sympathetic eyes. That guy is really bold daring to provoke a level 3 spider, looks like he's done 4, some players whispered behind me. But I couldn't help but sneer as I swung the big iron hammer in my hand and smashed it down on the head of the level 3 spider in front of me. With a crisp thud, a minus 47 number appeared above the spider's head leaving the players who were spectating behind me dumbfounded. The damage was good, I immediately went after it a second time, this time hitting for 94 points of bludgeoning damage. This level 3 bio spider that frightened the crowd let out a wail and lay down on the ground, no sign of life. Did I just see things? He killed the level 3 biohazard spider with just two swings of his hammer. Someone exclaimed, is he even human? Ignoring the reactions of the others, I coolly lifted the big iron hammer and turned to walk towards the direction of the safe zone, leaving behind a group of bewildered players in the darkness. After slaughtering my way for 20 minutes, I finally saw the small town of Hope nestled at the foot of the mountain. The town was surrounded by tall cement walls, exuding a sense of peace and tranquility. Outside the walls, numerous biohazard behemoths had gathered. But there hadn't been any zone announcements yet, meaning that no players had entered the newbie safe zone where I was currently located. The achievement for being the first to enter the safe zone was still up for grabs, so I dragged my big iron hammer and walked towards town. Apart from having 34 independent zones, the Dawn of World also divided each zone into more than 1,000 small-scale safe zones. Each newbie village could accommodate over 10,000 players, and the safe zone I was assigned to was precisely the Hope Town in front of me. However, the town was surrounded by level 1 to 5 biohazard behemoths, and these behemoths were not protected by the new bee protection mechanism. This meant that even if players didn't provoke them, they would still be attacked if they got too close. At this moment, I happened to encounter a giant level 2 biohazard cockroach. But I remained calm and continued moving forward. When the biohazard cockroach ran up to me, I raised my hand and with a clang, I instantly killed it with two swings of my hammer. The previously trash level 1 star iron hammer had been enhanced to plus 25 inch making it a divine weapon in the early stages. Even if I encountered level 4 or 5 biohazard behemoths, I could easily deal with them with just a few swings of my hammer. As I reached the entrance of Hope Town, I finally leveled up to level 2. Immediately, I stepped through a white barrier that the monsters couldn't enter. Before my eyes was a peaceful and tranquil town, countless NPC with blue ID were bustling about, creating a lively atmosphere. It felt as if I had entered heaven especially after just traversing through the post-apocalyptic ruins outside. At the same time, a loud system notification echoed from above, Congratulations on being the first player to enter Zone 886, the safe zone, you have completed the achievement of being the first newbie, you have earned 120 reputation points for the human race and 10 silver coins. Congratulations on completing the nightmare level survival quest, find the safe zone, you have been rewarded with a revival opportunity. All survival quests for this week have been completed, please wait for the new set of survival quests to be released by the system next Monday at 12 AM. However, before the system's voice faded away, I noticed a terrified little girl, around 8 or 9 years old, running towards me. The girl blinked a pair of large watery eyes as she stared at John E and cried, Big brother, my father was killed by monsters outside two days ago, can you avenge my father for me and kill the monsters that killed my father? As the girl's words were just falling, a light screen immediately appeared in front of Zhang Yi, whether to accept the task to kill father's revenge, difficulty level 20, belongs to the first beginner task, the system suggests that you get it a sentence triggered the mission, simple and clear, 
Zhang Yi did not hesitate to collect the task, you have received the quest Kill Father's Vengeance. Complete the quest according to the rules and you will receive a generous reward, cheer up. Adventurer. Kill Father's Vengeance, Ordinary Quest, Opening the Quest Interface Casually Quest Difficulty Coefficient, 20 Description, With the invasion of alien races and the rise of the beastly rebellion, the entire world was thrown into an unprecedented apocalyptic crisis, and countless human survivors tragically died at the hands of wild monsters in the wilderness. Ling Ling's father went to the factory three days ago to get materials for making weapons and has not returned, and it is feared that he has been killed, Please follow the directions on the map and go to the factory to kill the man-eaters inside and avenge the death of Ling Ling's father, quest progress, 0 out of 100 quest reward, experience plus 600 inch copper coins plus 100, level 1 strength stone plus 10, random equipment plus 1, human reputation plus 20 time left, 11 colon 59 pm. On the surface, this was also an ordinary beginner's quest, but only Zhang Yi knew that this quest could not be ordinary, after receiving the quest, Zhang Yi stood up and said goodbye to Ling Ling, Ling Ling, on the other hand, continued to crouch at the door with a sad look on her face, her head still covered with a question mark as she waited for the next player to come and collect the quest, looking back at this NPC girl, Zhang Yi's heart was touched, although he did not recognize her, Zhang. He knew that this NPC girl, Ling Ling, had actually been transformed from a real little girl in the real world, which meant that in the real world, Ling Ling had already been wiped out by the apocalypse system. Zhang Yi did not dare to imagine what was happening in the real world outside of the game at this moment, as not only Ling Ling, including this safe zone, but even all the NPCs in the entire apocalypse world were those who had been wiped out in the real world, looking down, going out in shorts and slippers was too shabby, Therefore, Zhang Yi went to the equipment shop in the city before leaving the safe zone to go on a mission. From the train station all the way to Hope Town, the 21 copper. Coins from killing monsters along the way, together with the 10 silver coins rewarded by the achievement, Zhang Yi already had 10 silver coins and 21 copper coins on his body. A fortune of 10 silver coins was considered a huge amount of money in less than an hour since the apocalypse opened, so Zhang Yi spent a small amount of money and bought a set of novice equipment from the equipment shop, novice boots, plus 2 defense, priced at 20 copper coins, novice pants, plus 2 defense, 20 coins, novice clothing, plus 25 health, cost, 25 coins, novice ring, plus 3 attack. 35 coins, obviously level 1, 1 star goods, equipment that could be called trash, Zhang Yi bought them just to make himself look a little smoother, a set of novice clothes changed on his body, he opened the streamlined status bar and looked at it. Tilted City, LV2, number of resurrections, 2 talent, divine strengthening physical attack, 26 physical defense, 7 magic defense, 7 health, 175 energy, 75 experience. 3 out of 250 special status, Dragon Bloodline, LV1 after buying the equipment. Zhang Yi went to the pharmacy to spend 50 copper to buy 50 bottles of level 1 red potion, then took the sledgehammer and went outside Hope Town, like online game opening to get god level talent please collect, online game opening to get god level talent updated. At the fastest speed. Darkness enveloped the earth, the stench of death came to his nose, and Zhang Yi, who stepped out of the safe zone through the light screen, seemed to have gone from heaven to hell in an instant, as he looked around, the sky above him was filled with crows, and the smoke-filled ruins of the city were filled with countless level 1 to 5 strange biochemical behemoths, Zhang Yi was fearless and stepped directly into the beasts with his sledgehammer. As Zhang Yi stepped into the hate range of these, Monsters, one by one, low-level biochemical beasts flew toward Zhang Yi amidst the roar, Zhang Yi swung his sledgehammer and danced with incomparable chaos, minus 48, 48, 51, 94 blast. You killed level 3 biochemical cockroaches, experience gain, plus 6, you have killed level 2 biochemical rats, experience gain, plus 2, one by one, biochemical beasts turned into experience points by Zhang Yi in his pocket, 1 to 4 level monsters in Zhang Yi's hands are nothing more than 2 to 4 hammer things, now the only one which can threaten Zhang Yi is the level 5 monsters, 5 level biochemical beasts. The attack power has reached 25 points high, touch Zhang Yi a moment is 18 points, when Zhang Yi touch them, they would deal 18 points of damage, and with a health value of 240 plus, Zhang Yi would need 6 hammers to kill one of them if he didn't hit hard. 
almost every time he killed a level 5 biochemical behemoth, Zhang Yi would have to consume a bottle of red potion to make up for the loss, however, the benefits of level 5 monsters were also the highest, a level 5 monster could give Zhang Yi as much as 20 experience points, one copper coin guaranteed, with luck, the highest one could only produce three, as Zhang Yi rushed towards the safe zone. He encountered many players who were on their way to the safe zone, these players from the birth point is. Not easy to kill here, see the opposite direction from the safe zone to rush out of Zhang Yi, are very strange, until see Zhang Yi had floating white ID, Qingqing, Qing. wasn't this guy the first player to arrive at the safe zone, as announced by the system area just now. The first player to arrive at the safe zone was Zhang Yi, right, this is the ID, let's quickly enter the safe zone, before the apocalyptic official website to see the game manual said that the game's daily mission is limited to the amount of times to get too late, we did not chicken butts to eat, so a large number of players passed Zhang Yi and rushed to Hope Town, and in their opinion, even as the first person to arrive at the safe zone, this Qing Qing was a bit too strong, and if he went out alone to play the field, there was only one way to die, at that moment, a scream came from the front. Looking around, they could only see that not far in front of Zhang Yi, a girl wearing a tank top and hot pants was being crushed under the feet of a level 5 biochemical spider, and the half gram of blood on the top of her head immediately dropped to a quarter gram after the biochemical spider bit her. Help me, don't be afraid, sister, brother is here to save you, seeing the beautiful girl in distress. A young man beside him rushed towards the biochemical spider with his novice sword. Unexpectedly, he tried to heroically save the beauty, but before he could get close to the bio spider, the bio spider counterattacked, and with a bite dealing 44 points of bludgeoning damage, triggering the poisoning talent, along with 3 points of toxic damage per second, it instantly killed the young man, with an awe the heroic young man disappeared into white light. The level 5 biochemical spider continued to approach the bloodied girl, the other players in the area, seeing that this was a level 5 monster, coupled with the fact that they had just witnessed the horrific damage of the biochemical spider killing a player in seconds, were all too afraid to proceed, after all, in their eyes, although this is still just a game, but once dead will have to return to the birth point resurrection. It is not easy for them to kill here, C will soon enter the safe. Zone, do not want to let their own past successes abandoned because of a stranger, at best a small good-looking girl, just as the girl was about to be eaten by the big spider, Zhang Yi carried a sledgehammer and approached the past, seeing this, the surrounding crowd heaved a sigh of disdain. This kid thought he was great because he was the first to enter the safe zone, got some rewards, and changed his weapon, so he wanted to save the girl, just wait for him to be sent, he just broke out the hammer in his hand, the hammer's attack power is definitely higher than the novice's sword. Thus, the surrounding players watched Zhang Yi approaching the biochemical spider and the girl with the eyes of a good show. Seeing that Zhang Yi had just approached the past, the biochemical spider sensed the danger and immediately turned around and jumped at Zhang Yi, the bottom-up direction hit a hammer, smashing the biochemical spider flying, a golden club damage jumped up from the biochemical spider's head, minus 94. Just as the surrounding players inhaled the cool air, Zhang Yi quickly took a few steps towards the past, and two consecutive hammers landed, causing two 47-point damages and killing the level 5 biochemical spider that wasn't full-blooded. This scene stunned all the players around, who had originally come to see the show, Player A, holy shit, what kind of damage is that? Player B, that hammer in his hand, it's an artifact, Player C, I can't even cut the damage of his hammer with 10 swords, while the crowd was stunned, Zhang Yi had already silently left after picking up the loot of two coins, following the map's instructions, it took 10 minutes to kill his way from Hope Town to the Doomsday Factory, and the experience gained from those low-level wild monsters along the way had brought Zhang Yi's experience up to 70%, and he was about to level up to level 3. In the line of sight, it was an abandoned chemical processing factory in the wilderness, the surrounding area was already overgrown with weeds, and the big chimney of the factory was wrapped in vines, so the whole factory looked like it was dead and in crisis, if you were a normal person, I'm afraid that the first time you played this kind of post-apocalyptic survival game, any team's courage would not even be close to this factory's courage, but John E had no hesitation and dragged the sledgehammer right into the factory, inside the factory, there are tanks of chemicals lying on the ground, garbage and confetti everywhere, a mess, and many corpses of NPC workers, already rotting and smelling everywhere. In addition, many large black beetle-like six-legged bugs can be seen pulling at these corpses and chewing on them, emitting an eerie chewing sound, these big bugs were the target of Zhang Yi's journey, the cannibal bugs, the cannibal bugs scattered throughout this factory were not of a high level, ranging from level 3 to 4, 
after all, the difficulty of the quest, father's killing revenge, was only 20, cannibal worm, physical normal monster, level, 4 talent, corrosive damage, cannibal worms. Attack can inject the poison in its own body into the enemy's body, causing a corrosive effect on the enemy, losing 5 points of chi and blood every second for 3 seconds physical attack, 18. Physical defense, 9 magic defense, 7 health, 180 description, originally living in the earth, due to environmental pollution and mutated insects specialized in human food, if do not want to eat by it, it is best not to get close to it, level 4 monster, though higher than Chang E2 level. But there is a preprocessing is called a god weapon of plus 25 sledgehammer in the hands of Chang Yi, do not have to put it in the eyes, the quest required a total of 100 man-eaters to be killed, and it was a completely physical job, so Zhang Yi targeted the nearest level 4 man-eater, carrying his sledgehammer and approaching, just as Zhang Yi approached, the man-eater that was picking at a worker's corpse spotted Zhang Yi and quickly crawled over. Zhang Yi continued to approach as if nothing had happened, until the man-eater had already rushed in front of him, with a crack of the hammer, it hit his head, minus 47, for a new player, the man-eater's 9-point defense was already very high, and without a decent weapon or a player who had reached at least level 4 full strength plus. Challenging the man-eater with only a novice sword would be tantamount to sending it to its death, but for Zhang Yi, this was an experienced monster, as a novice. Monster, the man-eater's attack speed was so slow that before it could make a counterattack, the second hammer of Zhang Yi's sword had already fallen, dealing another 47 points of damage, with a slight maneuver, he dodged the ogre's attack, and with two more hammers, he easily finished off the ogre. With 12 experience points and two copper coins, the progress of the father's vengeance quest reached 1 out of 100, Zhang Yi, who had killed the man-eater without any injuries, didn't need to recover and swung his sledgehammer to finish off the next target, the whole factory echoed with the crunching sound of the hammer hitting the man-eater's hard armor, mixed with the man-eater's mournful screams. After killing several man-eaters in a row, just as Zhang Yi brought down the hammer to finish off the eighth man-eater, there was a sudden stirring in the air above his head, Zhang Yi, who was originally calmly brushing the monsters, was also startled and raised his head, only to be shocked to see a huge purple space-time crack tearing open in the floating air above the factory, as if the sky had been torn apart. Accompanied by the roar of a deafening hiss, in an instant, only to see a body burning with the flames of a huge fire dragon leap out of the crack opening its bloody mouth toward the ground to spray a hot dragon flame, with Zhang Yi, who couldn't help but put his hands in front of his eyes, as its center, the dragon flame instantly covered a radius of 100 meters around Zhang Yi, engulfing the man-eating bugs in a large area around Zhang Yi, with a crackle, a large group of man-eating. Bugs around the top of the head jumped up a white true injury, minus 69, immediately after that, the head of the man-eaters that received damage will once again jump up a minus 40 scorching true injury every second, bleeding at a super fast rate. In a matter of seconds, dozens of man-eating worms within a radius of 100 meters around Zhang Yi were all burned to death, the floating dragons and cracks disappeared, and Zhang Yi stared dazedly at the burnt corpses of the countless man-eaters around him, listening to the incessant battle commands ringing in his ears, you have killed a level 3 man-eater, experience plus 6. It was only when he opened the combat log that Zhang Yi realized that his attack had triggered the dragon race's exclusive. Dragon bloodline skill, Hell Dragon Flame, the golden LV-1 Hell Dragon Flame, which had a 1 in a thousand chance of being triggered, was capable of inflicting 150% true attack power damage to all enemy targets within a 100 meter radius of Zhang Yi's body, as well as 30% burning attack power damage that lasted for 5 seconds and could not be removed. With Zhang Yi's 26 points of attack power combined with the 30 points of damage bonus from serious injury, a Hell Dragon Flame actually came down and directly killed the entire surrounding group of level 3 to 4 man-eater insects. After freezing for half a day, Zhang Yi spat out a sentence, the dragon bloodline is powerful, we must know that this is only the effect of level 1. Like the later stage of the Hell Dragon Flame up to level 10, it is simply seconds of sky and seconds of ground and seconds. Of air ah, in the eyes of other novice players, killing a level 3 monster single-handedly across levels is already a luxury, while Zhang Yi, who is already brushing level 4 man-eater worms in this group, opens the quest interface, and the quest progress immediately jumps from 8 out of 100 to 55 out of 100, and that dragon flame just now, seconds away from 47 man-eater worms. As he looked at the loot scattered around him, Zhang Yi's eyes immediately lit up. It took him 3 minutes to collect everything that came out of those 47 Death Eaters, a total of 70 copper coins, 5 level 1 improvement stones, and a 1 star treasure chest, 
the equipment explosion rate of the Apocalypse monsters was criticized by countless players in the previous generation, so the fact that more than 40 monsters didn't explode any equipment was expected by Zhang Yi. The explode stone's explode rate was 10%, instead, this one-star treasure chest was an unexpected gain, since Treasure chests are known to be harder to obtain than equipment, when opening equipment, a one-star treasure chest guarantees that one-star equipment can be opened, and the probability of opening two-star equipment is very low, you do not need a key to open a one-star treasure chest. Perhaps it was just the bursting of this treasure chest that took all of Zhang Yi's luck, as upon opening the treasure chest, Zhang Yi received 10 level 1 improvement stones, as well as a piece of one-star armor, cannibal bug boots, quality, one-star physical defense plus 8 magic defense, plus 6 occupation restriction, no level requirement, for description. By combining the hardback armor of the cannibal bug with the soft belly of the cannibal bug, these leather boots are made to be tough on the outside. And soft on the inside, not only protecting your feet from getting hurt, but also making them comfortable to wear, it can also make your feet comfortable, although it is a 1 star quality, this pair of level 4 boots, the attributes are better than the level 1 novice boots with 2 defense points attached that Zhang Yi is currently equipped with, this was only the base attribute, the higher the base attribute, the higher the gain from reinforcement. So, without hesitation, Zhang Yi took out the accumulated 25 level 1 strength stones from his bag and smashed them all onto these new shoes in one breath, strengthening is successful, congratulations, your piranha bug boots equipment has been strengthened to plus 25 unlocking the exclusive talent of infinite dodge, there were still 5 of the 30 strengthening stones left from the last 1 star treasure chest, and with the 10 from this treasure chest and a dozen or so that came out of the monsters. With the strengthening stones that Zhang Yi had in his hand right now, it was still more than enough to strengthen a flat piece of equipment to level 25, of course, it's still the god level strengthening that's awesome, otherwise, in the early stages, who would dare to strengthen a few levels of 1 star garbage equipment. In the early stages of transition equipment, the average player to strengthen to a plus 10 is also great, they want to strengthen to plus 25, without 3 or 400 level 1 strengthening stone is impossible, unless the luck explosion. Looking at the plus 25 piranha boots in his hand, Zhang Yi was a bit excited, getting a 250% increase in the boots attributes, the basic attributes directly increased from 8 points of defense to 28 points, in addition, the talent of infinite dodge, which was opened by strengthening it to the highest level, increased the dodge rate of the equipment by 20%, which was very strong. After the rough hammer, the second artifact was born in Zhang Yi's hand, when he wore these boots, not even level 5. Monsters would be able to deal broken defense damage to Zhang Yi, it was a pity that the level 4 man-eater battle boots, which were currently only level 3, could not be used by Zhang Yi, so he had no choice but to put them in his bag, when he opened the status bar and looked at it, the specific experience value was fixed at 456-800, so when he finished killing the remaining 45 man-eaters of the quest, he should be able to reach level 4. The Piranha Battle Boots gave Zhang Yi unlimited power, so with the Sledgehammer, Zhang Yi continued to slaughter the Piranha Swarm, at that time, Zhang Yi wished that he could take one more round of Hell Dragon Flame, and then level up to level 4 in a matter of seconds, directly completing the mission, unfortunately, the ideal is very beautiful and the reality is very bony. The 1 in a thousand probability of triggering the Hell Dragon Flame, which is not so easy to come back, so the next step is a real fight, with a plus 25 sledgehammer, Zhang Yi was almost invincible in this apocalyptic factory, and in less than half an hour of work, he killed the remaining 45 man-eaters and completed the quest, when he looked at his experience bar, he was actually 3 experience points short of an upgrade. So, hand up, hammer down, after killing another level 3 man-eater, golden light sprinkled over his head, congratulations, you have reached level 4, gained 5 free attribute points, the next time you upgrade, you will need 2000 experience points. Having finally reached level 4, Zhang Yi couldn't wait to take out the man-eater battle boots from his backpack and put them on his body. Opening the status bar to take a look at them, the defense power suddenly increased from 7 points to 33 points. All of a sudden, Zhang Yi realized that he had forgotten to add the 5 points he had received from level 3, so he had accumulated 10 free attribute points, after changing into the piranha boots, Zhang Yi's defense had already reached saturation, and from now on, there was no need to accumulate defense, so Zhang Yi added all 10 attribute points to strength. 
saying nothing about speed can affect the positioning process, so you need to add some flexibility and so on, before the absolute offensive and defensive, Zhang Yi does not need to position, 15 star power increase, directly made Zhang Yi's attack power increased by 15 points, the total attack power attribute, to reach a high of 41 points, coupled with the serious injury talent. The actual equivalent of Zhang Yi's attack power had reached 71 points, looking at his powerful attribute interface. Zhang Yi nodded his head in satisfaction, well, it looks like we can go fuck that big guy now, saying that, Zhang Yi raised his head and gazed into the depths of the factory with a look of deep meaning, however, you have to go back and hand in the mission first, having said that, Zhang Yi, no longer fond of the doomsday factory, turned around and left, on his way back to Hope Town, bored out of his mind, Zhang Yi used his only right hand to smash the nearby monsters that rushed over with his hammer, while his left hand opened the area chat interface to see the player's interaction. Suyun, male, level 2 player have you met a guy named Qing Cheng? This guy did over 40 points of damage to a level 5 spider with a hammer, angel, male, level 1 player, Qing Cheng. What a familiar ID, wasn't that the first person to enter the safe zone and trigger an area announcement? Monkey, male, level 2 player, I believe in you, you're almost hanging, who did so much damage beforehand? Piglet, female, level 1 player, what he said is true, back then he killed that level 5 spider just to save me, I saw it with my own eyes. Green tea, female, level 2 player, come on, little sister upstairs, don't flatter yourself, I was there, was he there to save you? He was just passing by, brushing monsters normally, didn't you see that after he killed the spider, he didn't even look at you and left? Scholar, male, level 2 player that Ching Ching, does he have a sledgehammer in his hand? I also saw him brushing the monsters, and he managed to deal 40 or 50 points of damage guys, could it be that the system gave him a primary artifact as a hidden reward for being the first to enter the safe zone? Seeing these chat logs from over 20 minutes ago, Zhang Yi could only shake his head, this group of people, could they really chat, or was it that they were actually too conspicuous? Yes, while everyone was still stabbing level 1 monsters with their novice swords, Zhang Yi had already taken out his hammer and casually dealt 40 to 50 damage to level 5 monsters, so who would be able to calm down after seeing that? Zhang Yi closed the chat interface and continued his journey, when he returned to Hope Town, he found that compared to an hour ago, when Zhang Yi first arrived, the town was already crowded with people, like a carnival with lots of activity, a safe zone was neither too big nor too small, but at least there were more than 10,000 players gathered here, all the players were at level 1 to 2, and only a few had reached level 3, so Zhang Yi, who was at level 4, had become a crane in the safe zone. However, a lot of players were looking for NPCs with question marks on their heads, looking for quests, and no one noticed Zhang Yi. Because of the apocalypse setting, each quest triggering NPC was limited to the number of times it could issue quests per day until it was refreshed at midnight the following day, Zhang Yi recalled that the maximum number of quests a questing NPC could give per day seemed to be 100, and there were about 50 questing NPCs in a secure area, meaning that at least half of the players could not get quests. Remembering Zhang Yi in his last life, when he arrived in the safe zone on the first day, not to Mention the quests, even the low-level monsters in the area near the safe zone had been robbed, resulting in Zhang Yi robbing a few mutated pheasants and boars in a single night, which was almost zero development, these players were like bandits robbing monsters faster than people's monsters were being refreshed, while these players were still desperately trying to grab quests, Zhang Yi, who had already returned from completing a quest, naturally had no interest in going with them to continue. Grabbing quests, as he had more important things to do, so Zhang Yi pushed his way through the crowd and arrived at the red house near where he had received them earlier, only to find that the NPC girl Ling Ling was still sitting in the doorway with a sad face, only that the question mark on her head had already changed from yellow to grey, indicating that the quest number on her body had been activated, and that players could not receive the quest from her inside today. Zhang Yi approached the empty spirit beside him and initiated a dialogue, little. Sister, I've already helped your father avenge and kill those monsters, Hearing Zhang Yi's words, Ling Ling raised her head and blinked her big clear eyes at Zhang Yi, a delighted smile finally appearing on her face, really? Thank you, big brother, thank you for helping my father take revenge. Saying that, the girl took out a crystal blue ring out of nowhere and handed it to Zhang Yi, big brother, this is a gift my father once gave me, to thank you for avenging my father's death, I'm giving it to you, 
the words just fell, with the triggering of the dialogue after the Zhang Yi choose to submit the task, a pleasant tone from the air down, congratulations on completing the task to kill your father's revenge. To obtain the reward experience value plus 600, copper coins plus 100, level 1. Strengthening stone plus 10 inch human prestige plus 24, to obtain the equipment of the lucky ring plus 1, and the civilian intimacy plus 6, look at the blue ring sent by the spirit, the lucky ring, quality, 1 star physical attack power, plus 9 profession restriction, none level requirement, for description, this is a ring that contains the power of luck, actually it can bring good luck to the wearer, and this ring can not only be used to equip, it is also a special token O. This ring can be used in addition to normal equipment, in fact, it also has a mysterious role, this point, in the description of the equipment has been included in the hints players, however, basically no player will be based on the description to think of this, in addition to the rebirth of the return of Zhang Yi, thus, replacing the level 1 plus 3 attack power novice ring in his hand with the lucky ring. Zhang Yi's attack increased from 41 to 47 points, it's too bad that he didn't have enough. Strengthening stones, otherwise he could have strengthened the lucky ring to level 25 and gained even more attack bonuses, with the quest reward of 100 copper coins or 1 silver coin, John E already had 11 silver coins and more than 30 copper coins on his body, and he was considered a small tycoon in the novice village. So Zhang Yi went to the pharmacy and spent 90 copper coins to buy 30 bottles of level 2 red potion, which restored 100 life points in one go, when other players couldn't even afford to use a bottle of level 1 red potion for 1 copper coin, it was only after Zhang Yi completed his resupply that he left the safe zone and returned to the Doomsday Factory, when he came back here. He found that there were already a lot of players in the Doomsday Factory brushing the man-eaters to complete there. Quests, most of those players were only level 2 inch and it was a bit difficult to take on those level 3 to 4 man eaters alone, so they basically all went in groups of 2 or 3, and the experience in the group state was drastically reduced, but it could guarantee safety. Zhang Yi's purpose of returning to the Doomsday Factory is not to come back to brush those man eaters, so, Zhang Yi bypassed those man eaters and players and went straight to the inside of the factory. Zhang Yi remembered that in his previous life, a player in Security Zone 886 triggered a rare hidden quest in Doomsday Factory, it seemed that there was an NPC hiding in the Doomsday Factory, and the hidden mission was to safely escort that NPC to the safety zone, but apart from finding that NPC, there was still a condition needed to get that hidden mission from him. Which was why Zhang Yi chose this mission to clean up the cannibal bugs in the Doomsday Factory among the many missions in the safe zone, and didn't go directly to that NPC when he first came to the Doomsday Factory, but did the mission first, the reason for this was that the Lucky Ring, which was the reward for completing the previous quest, was the necessary condition for triggering this hidden quest, after exploring the inside of the factory, which was filled with the smell of chemicals, Zhang Yi actually found an NPC in a storage room. It was a middle-aged man with disheveled hair, a bearded face, and a broken right hand, lying diagonally in the corner of the storage room as if waiting to die, aside from IL's blue NPC ID logo, there was no yellow question mark above his head, as there was no surface clue due to the hidden quest, approach the already dying IL and trigger a dialogue, looks like you've been trapped here for a long time, uncle, let me take you to a safe place, the sudden sound of speech made IL, who was cowering in. A dark corner raised his head and see Zhang Yi, who was a bit surprised, you, how did you find this place? To avoid unnecessary nonsense, Zhang Yi, who knew the plot of this game, went straight to the center, I met a girl named Ling Ling in Hope Town, and she asked me to help her find her father, Ling Ling, when he heard this name, he couldn't help but cry out, looking at his right hand being eaten by the cannibal bugs, he shook his head, forget it, I'm already wasted, even if I go back in this state, I'm still a wasted person, it's better to die here and get it over with, with the memory of his. Last life, Zhang Yi knew that the plot of the game had reached this point, no matter how the player persuaded him, he would not be able to arouse IL's desire to continue surviving, that is, he could not forcefully trigger the hidden mission of escorting IL back to the safe zone. Unless Zhang Yi took out the lucky ring and placed it in front of IL, do you really no longer want your daughter? IL's inner defenses didn't collapse until he saw the ring, Ling Ling, my daughter, said IL as he slowly rose from the ground, okay, young man, please take me back to Hope Town, this ring is more useful than a thousand words, so the luck ring is a necessity to trigger this hidden mission, at that moment, the system's beep sounded in Zhang Yi's ears, congratulations, you have triggered the rare hidden quest, do you want to claim it? Guardian, the task has a high difficulty factor, the system suggests that you carefully consider accepting the task without hesitation, the system sound dropped again. 
You have claimed the Hidden Task Guardian, as you are the first player to claim the Hidden Task in Security Zone 886, the system will make a regional announcement, please choose to make it public or hide your ID, hide, regional announcement. Congratulations to the player who triggered the hidden mission, as the first player to trigger the hidden mission in Security Zone 886. Receive a reward of Human Prestige plus 1200 Gold plus 1. The NPC next to you can trigger the quest, but the reward of the quest is not comparable to the reward of the normal quest, Storm Angel, Male, Level 3, get to the hidden mission of the brother to see the message, please private me, send a location to me, the hidden mission you abandon and then sold to me, I am out of 100,000 to buy you this hidden mission, do not believe, I will find you offline to play the cash, and then the mission of the deal. Storm Angel, get to the hidden task of the brother please private me, Storm Angel, Get to the hidden task of the brother please private me, next, the chat channel is almost all called Storm Angel players to dominate the screen, willing to spend $100,000 in the early stage to buy a low level hidden task, this guy is also a reality is a super tycoon real hammer. Because before the apocalypse official had issued a notice, making a big deal about the super generous reward mechanism of hidden. Quests, inspiring players to discover hidden quests by heart, and all hidden quests in the apocalypse world are unique and cannot be repeated by more than one person, so it's well known that the value of the opening hidden quests is no worse than a divine artifact. However, what made the confident player Storm Angel, who thought he had bought this hidden mission, feel unimaginable was that he was swiping in the regional channel for several minutes until he was banned by the system, and the person who had received the hidden mission did not send him a private message, One zero 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 dollars couldn't even buy a mission. So could it be that the guy who had received the mission was a tycoon who wasn't short of money? If placed in the previous life, the development of the latter world is still uninformed Zhang Yi may not really be willing to sell this task to the Storm Angel at a price of 100,000, but now Zhang Yi is very clear is that the strength is how much money cannot be bought. Open the mission interface, Guardian, Hidden Mission, Mission Difficulty Factor, 100 Description, a few days ago to come out to look for materials for forging weapons, the survivor from Hope Town, IL, was trapped in the Doomsday Factory, which is full of monsters, please escort IL to arrive safely in Hope Town, and before that, you need to escort IL back to his old home first, to help him take one thing. Task Progress, 0 1, if the task during the death of IL, that is the task failure, and that. Most no more than 5 people together to complete the task task reward, unknown remaining time. 6 hours 100 difficulty coefficient of the task, compared to Zhang Yi's last 20 difficulty task, the coefficient has been raised to the whole 5 times. According to Zhang Yi's impression, after this hidden mission was discovered by players in his last life, more than a dozen players went to try it one after another, and all of them failed miserably, eventually, a team of players was sent on the mission and they were destroyed, this was because the ultimate goal of this quest was to hunt a high level elite monster that was hiding in IL's house. Because the difficulty of the mission was too high, coupled with the fact that it was a hidden mission, the sensation caused by this matter in the 886 safe zone at that time was quite high, Zhang Yi's impression of it was even more profound, remembering that this quest had been completed almost two or three days after the service had opened, players' levels and equipment had increased before several players joined forces and barely killed the elite monster. As for this hidden quest and the doubly rich rewards from the elite monster, it was also the reason why the strength of this team of players in the no number 886 safe zone was directly increased by one level, right now, Zhang Yi's intention was to go and do this hidden mission alone, the rich rewards of this hidden mission, he had to get it as a way to drastically improve his own strength, because according to the historical progression of his last life, he was about to usher in a nightmare that would bring eight years of psychological shadow to his later life, more specifically, it was the entirety of the players in the 886 safe zone that were about to be ushered into a nightmare ere the players with insufficient strength would be subjected to endless devastation and abuse. When Zhang Yi received his mission, IL said young man, before I go back, I would like to go back to my hometown to get something, can you come with me to go back first? Zhang Yi knew that this was the plot of the game that the player could not change, so he nodded, okay, I will take care of you, Thank you, the system will remind you that before escorting Yi to arrive safely at Hope Town, you must always protect Yi's safety and not let him suffer fatal injuries, otherwise the mission will fail, at the system's request, Zhang Yi and Il leave the factory through the back door of the Doomsday Factory. As if this thing is particularly inviting hatred, followed by Il just out of the factory, roar 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 a hissing and roaring sound, there are countless monsters around one after another to launch an attack on IL, attracting the scope of the monster's hatred, directly raised to the player two times, 
Carrying a sledgehammer, Zhang Yi walked in front of Ayao, saw a biochemical beast approaching, was a fierce hammer, fortunately, the ones he encountered along the way were all low level. Monsters of three or four levels, and with Zhang Yi's 47 points of attack power combined with his severe injuries, he could basically destroy one of them with two to three hammers, so those biochemical giants didn't even have a chance to touch Yi'er, so much so, that when it took ten minutes of formation to reach Ayel's old home, Ayel's blood gauge was still full. Arriving at the bottom of an old residential building with over 60% damage, Ayel stopped, young man, my house is on the third floor, wait for me here, I will come down after I go up to get something, Zhang Yi knows that if at this moment to leave him alone to go up the stairs, it will be a waste of time, so where will listen to the command of Ayel, I will send you up the stairs, after saying that, Zhang Yi carried the sledgehammer and walked ahead, coming to the door of room 302 together with Ayel. To ensure Ayel's safety, Zhang Yi said to Ayel wait for me outside, as soon as the words were out of his mouth, he stamped his foot and kicked directly at the door, breaking into the room. As if he knew what would happen next, at the moment he kicked the door open, Zhang Yi swung his sledgehammer and precisely hit a huge biochemical spider that flew out of the room, then he calmly entered the room, closed the door, and prepared to attack the big spider he had smashed on the sofa in the living room, when suddenly, with a huge roar, another biochemical spider came out from the kitchen on the right, and instantly pounced on Zhang Yi, who was caught off guard and fell to the ground. Zhang Yi looked at the huge spider that was attacking his body with a stunned face, why didn't anyone tell me in my previous life that there were two elite monsters here? Because he had expected it, Zhang Yi was well prepared before he dared to kill his way in with his head crushed, but what he hadn't expected was that there were actually two elite monsters in this house, with his plus 25 strength and hammer and boots, Zhang Yi knew that he would have no problem killing one elite monster on his own, but if he had to deal with two of them at the same time, he would only have one way out, however. Zhang Yi reassured himself, the original two spiders, only the first. One is elite, now lies alone, but is only a level 5 ordinary monster. Level 5 biochemical spider, with 25 points of attack power, even Zhang Yi 33 points of defensive power cannot be defeated, so pounced on a bite, just bit Zhang Yi one point of blood, it was a false alarm, so Zhang Yi turned his hand and threw the big spider away from him with a hammer bang, exploding a 63-point damage on its head, directly knocking out a quarter of its blood. Taking this opportunity, Zhang Yi climbed up from the ground, and in the meantime, he cast a scrying spell on the red spider on the sofa, which was obviously bigger than the normal biochemical spiders, but the result of the scrying spell left Zhang Yi stunned. Biochemical spider leader, physical, elite monster, skill, Spray poison, pound description, a large spider that has mutated due to environmental pollution, as it usually eats fatter than other spiders, causing this spider to mutate and become a leader good guy, even Zhang Yi couldn't see the data of this spider leader, which means its level is at least above level 8. This was because the player's elementary scrying technique could only see the data of monsters whose level was up to 3. Levels higher than his own, while Zhang Yi's current level was four levels higher, in the apocalypse world, the characteristics of monsters were divided into four main categories, normal, elite, lord, and boss, thus Zhang Yi, who had a plus 25 sledgehammer in his hand, started this 1v1 battle, bang. Another sledgehammer came down and smashed into this normal level 5 biochemical spider, inflicting 63 points of damage and cutting its blood in half, at the same time, the huge body of the spider leader jumped over the head of the normal spider blocking Zhang Yi's front and lunged at him, lunge, caught off guard for a moment, Zhang Yi, who was grazed by the spider leader's shoulder, had a 35 point damage jump over his head, the plus 25 piranha boots could not withstand the spider leader's damage. The spider leader then unleashed his venom spray skill attack, and because he was caught by the normal biochemical spider and could not escape, Zhang Yi was hit by the venom, but a huge mist jumped up on top of his head. The Piranha Boot's infinite dodge talent had been triggered, Zhang Yi, who had swung his sledgehammer and was about to finish off the ordinary spider first, seemed to have suddenly thought of something and shifted the target of his attack to the spider leader's body, bang, a hammer landed, dealing 45 points of damage to the spider leader. As for the spider leader's blood gauge, it only dropped by about a twentieth point, so it could be deduced that the total blood of this spider leader was nearly a thousand, however, Zhang Yi didn't panic in the slightest, as he already had a new tactic, using this ordinary level biochemical spider as a shield, Zhang Yi kept circling around with the spider leader at his side, the melee attacking spider leader couldn't touch Zhang Yi at all, while Zhang Yi could rely on his weapon, the length of his hammer, to attack the spider leader. 
This ordinary spider's damage to Zhang Yi was only the mandatory one point, so Zhang Yi just ignored it, let it bite itself however it wanted. Zhang Yi's target was always the spider leader, fortunately, Zhang Yi's attack is powerful enough. One hammer is 120th of the blood, a few minutes of time, accumulated 20 hammers down. This elite biochemical spider leader will be hammered to death. And using this ordinary spider as a shield, Zhang Yi, who was rarely harmed by the spider leader. During this period, kept his blood bar at more than half after the end of the battle, after killing the spider leader, Zhang Yi did not hesitate to use two hammers to finish off his teammate, the ordinary biochemical spider who had helped him so much. A pleasant beeping sound followed, you have killed the level 8 biochemical spider leader, experience value plus 600, human prestige plus 6, the experience gained from a level 8 elite monster was comparable to the rewards of a quest with a difficulty level of 20, so after killing the spider leader, Zhang Yi's experience bar also skyrocketed, crouching next to the spider leader's corpse. He picked up 80 copper coins, 12 level 1 strength stones, and a golden 2 star treasure chest, good guy, the luck of. The people broke out a uh, two-star treasure chest open out of the things, if the equipment are two-star guaranteed, the strengthening stone is also level two guaranteed, the total value is higher than the one-star treasure chest to do not know where to go. Only, the apocalypse has a setting is two-star and above treasure chest open, need corresponding key, key can be purchased in the mall, at the moment there is no two-star key on the body of Zhang Yi, had to temporarily put this two-star treasure chest in the bag, Biochemical Spider Leader is the guardian of the key to this hidden task. Kill the Spider Leader is also basically equivalent to the completion of this task. In his last life, in front of countless new players, the Spider Leader was almost invincible, so by Zhang Yi effortlessly killed, of course, thanks to the plus 25 artifact hammer and boots, without these two pieces of equipment, one cannot hit the spider leader's damage, two cannot resist the consumption of ordinary spiders, the battle is afraid to be very exciting. After dissolving the spider leader, Zhang Yi opened the door and walked out, saying to Il who was standing outside the door, go inside and get your things, I'll wait for you, oh, good, Dumbfounded, Il looked at the two large spider corpses in the room and entered with a hint of fear, Zhang Yi, on the other hand, took the opportunity to open his backpack and look at it, and found that with the twelve that the spider leader had just popped out, together with the ten that had been rewarded from the previous quests, and a few more that had popped out from brushing the monsters during the period, the level 1 improvement stones that were now in his backpack had exactly 25 of them, no more, no less, in addition to the level 25 strengthened weapons and shoes, Zhang Yi's best equipment now was the level 4 luck ring. With the divine strengthening in hand, Zhang Yi didn't hesitate to smash all 25 strengthening stones on the lucky ring, the fortification was successful, congratulations, your lucky ring has reached the fortification level of plus 25, and you have unlocked the exclusive talent lucky strike, lucky ring plus 25, quality, 1 star physical attack power, plus 32, 23 exclusive talent. Lucky strike, every third attack of the equipment must cause 150% attack damage to the enemy, no level requirement, for description. This is a ring that can bring you luck, fortified with 25 levels of lucky ring, the attack power has directly increased by 23 points, making Zhang Yi's attack power increase from 47 points to 70 points, when he added the hammer's critical injury talent, it was equivalent to Zhang Yi's current attack power, which had broken through the triple digits. Invincible, this attack power was truly invincible, looking at the entire safe zone, absolutely no player could bear Zhang Yi's 2 damage, if the third attack triggered the lucky strike talent, but also one attack could kill a new player, as a result, even before adding 5 points to Zhang Yi's stamina, the player's blood defense was generally very low, and now the total blood was only 175 points. At this time, Il also took his things from the house came out, next, Zhang Yi will continue to Escort Il back to the safe zone, after all, before entering the City of Hope, the guardian of this hidden mission are not considered complete. On the way back to the safe zone, Zhang Yi will hide his head ID and level logo to avoid unnecessary trouble, along the way, there were monsters of all shapes and sizes everywhere, and players could be seen killing these low-level monsters either alone or in groups, while Zhang Yi did not mess with these monsters, unless they tried to take action against Ear, Zhang Yi would nonchalantly use his sledgehammer to smash them flat. Zhang Yi, who was leading a blue-named NPC on the main road, also had an extremely high turnover rate, and the players passing by all looked at him with a look of disbelief and then whispered, no one knows why this NPC with a broken arm is following a player. Just like that, after following a highway for more than 10 minutes, he was about to arrive at Hope Town when Zhang Yi suddenly stopped, 
only to see a few players walking in front of him, who made Zhang Yi feel incredibly familiar, they were all young male players, and they also had one thing in common, the IDs on their heads had the word king in front of them, when Zhang Yi saw that the leader looked only 22 or 22 years old, a rather rich male face, with the forward ID of King of glory on his head, he could not help but clench his fists, his eyes instantly filled with blood, and his gaze full of hatred, at this scene, the NPC IL beside him was shocked, young man, what's wrong with you? IL's concern calmed Zhang Yi, nothing, it seems like I saw an old friend, the old man, IL sighed, isn't that something to be happy about? Why do you look so angry? Zhang Yi rationalized his thoughts and said indifferently, we are about to arrive at Hope Town, I will send you home first, saying this, Zhang Yi deliberately lowered his head, and when he brought IL to rub shoulders with some King's Glory players, the blue-named NPCs walking beside Zhang Yi immediately attracted the attention of the other party, only to hear one of the IDs called the Return of the King of Level 3. The yellow-haired young man looked at Yi, surprised, this NPC is out of the bug. Why is he still running out alone and sneaking around? Just as the king returns was being surprised at that moment, another king player beside him, the king supreme, was staring at Zhang Yi, who was trying to walk past them with his head down, and suddenly, as if he had discovered a new continent, he pointed at Zhang Yi and excitedly shouted, Brother Hammer, Captain, Brother Hammer, as the king supreme's words had just fallen. The few people from King's Glory and King's Return had shifted their gaze to Zhang Yi's body, stop, King's Glory quickly walked over to Zhang Yi and stopped him, looking at Zhang Yi thoughtfully and asking, Are you Brother Hammer, Qing Qing? Without waiting for Zhang Yi to speak, the level 3 player called King Supreme hurriedly said, That's right, Captain, it's him, because I've seen him before, and I recognized him even after he hit his ID, damn it, Zhang Yi secretly sighed in his heart, I didn't expect to be recognized like this, seeing Zhang Yi's concession, the King of Glory laughed and said by chance, I was looking for you and actually met you, Zhang Yi raised his head, pretending not to recognize the appearance of the King of Glory, and asked with a confused face, Why are you looking for me? In fact, Zhang Yi hadn't recognized him in this life, and they had never met before. The King's Glory's gaze swept past Zhang Yi, looking at him with interest and saying, I heard you have an artifact, I heard that you have an artifact hammer that can kill a level 5 monster in a few hits. Unexpectedly, Zhang Yi actually did not deny it, what's wrong? In this case, there really is one. The king's glory was immediately pleased, I don't want to say anything in the dark, I have my eye on your hammer, come on, make a bid, brother, I have a lot of money, I'll buy your hammer, Zhang Yi said expressionlessly, sorry, not for sale, the king's glory is not thinking, your price has not yet come out, how do you know whether I am willing to buy, you are willing to sell. When the words of the king's glory fell, Zhang Yi said lightly, I won't sell it even if you give me a million dollars, the smile on the King of Glory's face immediately stiffened, kid, do you know who I am? King Glory ah, Zhang Yi looked at the ID of the King of Glory's head and calmly said, I once had the honor to play the King of Glory for three years, star you level, after saying that, the perimeter came out of the return of the King of Kings King Supreme several people snickering, laugh your sister ah laugh, King of Glory counted a few teammates while staring at Zhang Yi and said, do not give face to face, believe it or not. I will kill you and explode this hammer. Do not know when appeared in the hands of Zhang Yi's sledgehammer, heavy fall to the ground, Zhang Yi holding the hammer handle, calm and collected, looking at the king of glory, opened his mouth and said, do not say I did not give you the opportunity, come, burst, the king of glory, who had never been provoked like that, became furious and drew a silver longsword from his waist with a clatter, at that time, the king supreme's back formation hastily recalled, captain, his hammer damage is, Super high, it can deal 40 or 50 damage at a time, you cannot fight him, you cannot defeat him, the king's glory, who relied on the level 3 defense equipment on his body, was unimpressed, if he can deal 40 or 50 damage to me, I'll eat shit alive. After saying that, king's glory swung his long sword and slashed across Zhang Yi's chest, dealing a shocking minus one to the top of Zhang Yi's head, you have been viciously attacked by the player king's glory, the other party's name is grayed out, attacking the other party won't trigger the red name. Seeing the ID on the top of King's Glory's head turn from white to grey, Zhang Yi swung his sledgehammer and struck the hammer from the bottom up, sending King's Glory flying with a minus 176 bludgeon, when King's Glory landed on the ground, its body immediately turned into a white light and flew back to the safe zone to resurrect, you have killed King's Glory, but because of your opponent's grey name, you have not increased your sin value, 
in the surrounding area, King's Supreme and King's Return, as well as the other two King's players, and even the casual players in the neighborhood who stopped to watch, were all stunned. As a level 3 full power points and weapons also changed the explosive players, the King of Glory a sword in the body of the other side hit a 1 point of damage without breaking the defense, even if, this guy a hammer, a 176 points of bludgeoning damage directly to the King of Glory seconds, what is this? One could feel the fear in the hearts of the remaining four Kings players who had seen their captain killed in seconds with their own eyes, but Zhang Yi did not pay any attention to them, instead, he crouched down at the spot where King's Glory's death had been refreshed, and picked up a pair of black pants that had been popped out by King's Glory, and picked them up, in the world of the apocalypse, a malicious attack on a white name player would trigger a grey name, killing a white name. Player to gain 100 sin value to become a red name, and a sin value over 1000 to become a purple name. White name players have a 50% chance of dropping a piece of equipment on their body, grey name death has a 100% chance of dropping a piece of equipment, red name death drops two pieces, purple name death explodes the entire body, in addition, the white name red name death level will also drop one level, sin value of each more than 100 points, the level will be an additional drop one level, this game. The penalty for red name players is still very high, this makes players do not dare to easily go. To attack other players, only the king of fame only on the strength of their own family, this is only a game of traits, but also completely did not think that the other side really dare to do it, and still a hit second. It was worth noting that this biochemical trousers that the king's glory had broken out of was still a level 3 equipment, although it was also of 1 star quality, the 6 points of base defense attached to it was a good few points higher than the level 1 beginner's orange that had 2 points of defense attached to Zhang Yi's body, most importantly, it was also a plus 15 the total defense bonus had reached 15 points. No wonder the king's glory was so confident in front of Zhang Yi right now, in the absence of god level reinforcement, if you want to strengthen such a piece of equipment to plus 15, at least 50 to 60 enhanced stones ah, the early stage dared to invest so much in a piece of level 3 equipment, this king's glory, is a true tycoon. Thus, Zhang Yi directly in front of the return of the king of glory several people, their boss just burst out of the pants equipped to the body, defense increased from 33 to 46 points, as his eyes rested on the spot where the king of glory's death had disappeared, the bottom of Zhang Yi's eyes were once again covered with hatred, and his thoughts were pulled back to 8 years ago, a memory that was etched in his mind and woke him up in his dreams in his later life, in the last life, in the 886 safe zone, there are a thousand players of the war team, in the understanding that this is a real death of the end of the world, relying on their own people, dominated the hope of the city for a long time, during the period of burning, killing, looting and pillaging, to bring the hope of the city of all players to a nightmare. Zhang Yi, even in the group of people who were devastated by them, the deepest memory is that once Zhang Yi came back at night and did not give them enough gold coins, they had their arms and legs cut off and were beaten half to death, in this data-driven world, as long as the player's life value attribute was not zero, he would not die, and his broken arms and legs would slowly heal, however. The pain of inheriting 100% of reality was simply unbearable for ordinary people, because of the system's restrictions, and unable to escape to other safe zones, there is only one way to escape from their clutches, that is, to rise to level 30 to open the teleportation array leading to the third level of the capital city. However, the NPCs of this battle group severely limited the upgrade speed of casual players, as the high-level players would directly kill them off, which was the reason why Zhang Yi spent a month in his last life before he could reach level 30, the name of the battle team that plunged safe zone 886 into darkness and left a psychological shadow on countless players was King's World, Captain ID, King's Glory, however. Even after killing King's Glory once, Zhang Yi could not let go of his hatred. Because he knew that King's Glory still had a chance to resurrect, and in his last life, the trauma that King's Glory had inflicted on him was just too great, if you can still be rampant in this life, I, Zhang Yi, will take your family name. With these words, Zhang Yi got up, took the NPC IL, and rushed to the safety zone, while King Supreme and the rest dared not block the way, retreating left and right in fear to make way for Zhang Yi, as for those few people, it was of course easy to kill them, just because they were white names, Zhang Yi didn't want to end up with a red name, and a red name couldn't enter the safe zone, just waiting for Zhang Yi and Il to leave. The King Supreme and the return of the King several people came. Together, looking at Zhang Yi's fading back, into a burst of mind blowing, my mother, more than 170 damage, even without a lightning bolt, there are more than 80 points, how did this happen? Could it be that the hammer in his hand is a growable artifact? 
If the level is not increased, his attack power will get higher and higher. This way, Zhang Yi has not yet entered the safety zone. The regional chat channel was showing the King's Fame on the screen. The King's Fame, male, level 2, you are waiting for me. If you have the skill, I will not see you anymore. If not, I will see you one time to kill you one time. If you don't go to the resurrection spring right now, kneel down in front of me and apologize, and hand over the weapon you're carrying. Otherwise I have 10,000 ways to make it impossible for you to interfere with the entire apocalypse world in the future. As Zhang Yi watched these messages on the regional channel, he was not amused, but he heard the passers-by around him talking about it, Player A, it is said that the captain of the royal world, the royal fame, in fact, is a broad young man, the family fortune billions, ah, uh, is the richest man in Linhai town. In this game before the money spent $100 million to each 100,000 salaries to hire a thousand professional players to create a powerful team, this early team strength is not bad, yes. In fact, we're all shouted by the whole area, Qingqing this kid is going to be unlucky, even the captain of the king's world dares to mess with, I think he is expected to be killed by the king's world until he deletes his number. With the king of glory's background, I'm afraid that the child's real world will be retaliated against, Hearing the passers-by's comments, Zhang Yi is annoyed, in this life, with Zhang Yi, he will definitely not let Safe Zone 886 repeat the mistakes of the last life, the sins committed by the King of Worlds in the last life, Zhang Yi will make them pay in blood in this life, back in Hope Town, Zhang Yi took Il to find Ling Ling, and the father-daughter duo finally reunited, hugging each other. With tears of joy, while Zhang Yi's ears were ringing, a pleasant system sounded, congratulations, you have completed the Guardian Hidden Quest, you will be rewarded with plus 3000 experience, plus 10 silver coins, plus 120 human prestige, plus 100 level 1 fortification stone, plus 1 deadly strike skill book, plus 1 Guardian armor equipment, plus 8 affinity with the blacksmith shop boss. A golden ray of light poured down from the top of his head, increasing his level to 5, the rewards of hidden quests were really too much higher than normal quests, when he opened his backpack, the first thing that caught his eye was a silver light armor, it looked shiny and beautiful, it must be good equipment, Zhang Yi took it out in his hand, guardian armor, quality, 2 star life force plus 120 additional attribute, agility plus 3 profession restriction, none level requirement, 5 description, this is, the glory of the guardian, symbolizing that the wearer once guarded the people of Hope Town who were shipwrecked out there, May this armor, as you guard the people of Hope Town guard you, worthy of being a hidden mission actually rewarded a two-star equipment. To know, now from the start of the apocalypse game is only more than three hours of time, at this moment, almost more than 90% of the world's players, seven parts of the equipment on the body even half have not come together, while Zhang Yi, but has already received a two-star armor, the basic attributes of this two-star armor were also extremely high. The one-star level 5 armor that could only be purchased at level 5 in the shop added about 50 to 60 lives, and just by increasing the quality. By one level, the basic attributes had doubled, that's still the base stats before the enhancement, when the enhancement is 25 levels, the base stats will be doubled again by 2, 5 times, it's unbelievable, after putting the armor aside, Zhang Yi's gaze shifted to a white book lying quietly in his bag. In the apocalypse world, except for the fact that players could learn a basic skill of their profession every time they changed professions, most of the skills were obtained by relying on skill books, skill books could only be obtained by killing monsters in a field or opening treasure chests after the player reached level 10 and completed the first transfer. This hidden task gave Zhang Yi a privilege and actually rewarded him with a skill book before he had even transferred, although it was. A white skill book of minimum quality, Zhang Yi, who was only at level 5, was satisfied, from the lowest to the highest, the quality of the skill books can be divided into white, green, blue, purple, orange, red, and gold, moreover, the quality of the skill books could not be improved in general, except for certain ones. Thus, Zhang Yi picked up the Deadly Strike skill book, quality, white description, use it to obtain the skill Deadly Strike, effect, stores energy for the weapon, unleashes a fatal attack on the enemy, inflicts 115% physical damage on the enemy, consumes 2 points of energy, the energy consumption depends on the user's level, this is a level 1 consumption, cooldown, 10 seconds. Occupation requirement, assassin, can also be used by players who have not changed occupation, after level 10 change. Occupation, if not assassin occupation, the skill will be automatically returned in the form of a skill book consumption skill slot, one white skills, the effect is definitely all the worst, in addition to boosting 15% damage, this skill has no other characteristics, but it is also better than nothing. 
Also about skills, using zero level as the base, the player level every three levels will automatically get one skill slotted, learning white skill need one skill slotted, according to the quality of the skill every level, the skill slotted consumption increased by one, a gold skill to consume seven skill slots, of course, do not feel that white skills consume fewer skill slots, you can pile unlimited white, a gold skill, is a hundred white skills cannot be compared, you throw a dozen white green skills, is. Not as good as a red or even orange skills to the fierce. The current level has reached level 5 Zhang Yi, only have one skill slot, so use the skill book, if the skill book in a little starlight in the body of Zhang Yi, congratulations on mastering the skill Fatal Strike, opened the skill list and looked at it, his own level 5 to use Fatal Strike, need to consume 5 points of energy, with Zhang Yi's 75 points of energy value, can be used 15 times. Not to mention the whole service, there are definitely players who have acquired skills before level 10. Through special means, at least as the first player to master the skill in safe zone 886, Zhang Yi felt that he was still quite a tyrant, it's a good thing that the dragon skills associated with the dragon bloodline don't need to take up skill slots otherwise the first golden skill, Hell Dragon Flame, would be too much for Zhang Yi to handle. Hidden quest rewards 100 level 1 strengthening stone can synthesize 50 level 2 inch used to strengthen 2 star guardian armor is more than enough, but Zhang Yi is not in a hurry to strengthen, because there is still a spider leader popped out of the 2 star treasure chest, in case the treasure chest open up a 3 star equipment. These 100 level 1 strengthening stone can be synthesized into 25 level 3 strengthening stone directly will be strengthened to 25 level 3 star equipment, I'm not afraid of. 10,000 inch I'm afraid of the unexpected, luck is something that no one can say, knowing that he couldn't continue to trigger quests for IL's father and daughter, Zhang Yi said goodbye to the father and daughter, and then went to the store in Hope Town and spent one silver coin to buy a two-star treasure chest key, a time to witness a miracle. Use the key to open the treasure chest, congratulations on opening the two-star treasure chest and getting silver coins plus 50, I'll be damned, it's actually not a piece of equipment. However, spending one silver coin for 50 was a good deal, and Zhang Yi was satisfied to be able to open 50 silver coins at once, because the world of the apocalypse, the use of gold coins is too much, without this thing. In the world of the apocalypse is difficult to move, for the synthesis of strengthening stones, a large amount of money would be used, coming to the blacksmith shop in the city, with a unit price of 5 copper coins for 2 level 1 strengthening stones to synthesize a level 2 strengthening stone, Zhang Yi spent 125 copper coins to synthesize 50 of those level 1 strengthening stones into 25 level 2 ones, reinforcement successful, congratulations. Your biochemical pants equipment has reached level 25 reinforcement unlocking the exclusive defense consolidation talent. Upgrade successful, congratulations, your guardian armor equipment has reached a 25 upgrade level, opening the exclusive angel guardian talent, the pants that originally added 6 points of defense, after plus 25, the defense bonus reached 21 points, and the open defense consolidation talent added another 10 points of defense, instantly increasing Zhang Yi's defense from 46 points to a whopping 61 points, as for the plus 25 guardian armor, the base health had increased from 120 to 420, and the Additional attribute, 3 points of agility, had also increased to 11 points, Angelic Guardian, the effect was that the equipped person would gain a shield equal to 10% of their maximum health when attacked for 10 seconds, with a 10 second cooldown, equipped with the Guardian's armor, Zhang Yi opened the status bar and looked at it, and boy, did his health increase by 570 points. Looking at his current stats, Zhang Yi realized one thing. In the early stages, his divine strength talent had the greatest advantage, as other players wouldn't waste too many strength stones on low-level equipment in the early stages, in the middle and late stage, equipment molding, after the elimination rate slows down, strengthening to plus 25, although still difficult. The average player full body plus 20 equipment is still relatively easy to strengthen a number of out, at this time, the gap. Between Zhang Yi and other players lies in the extra a few levels of strengthening, at most the talent to take advantage of a little more, can no longer be like now, almost invincible. Therefore, Zhang Yi must use this advantage in the early stage to maximize the strengthening of his own power, widen the gap between himself and the other players, and expand his own advantage infinitely, so that when the late stage comes, they will not be able to catch up with him, when he looked at the time, he realized that it was already 11.50 at night, and there were only 10 minutes left until the end of the last day of the week, in other words, in 10 minutes, the apocalypse world would begin a new prologue, releasing new survival missions for all players, while players who hadn't yet reached a safe zone would be wiped out, 
taking advantage of the fact that there were still 10 minutes left, Zhang Yi, who had only a few potions left in his backpack, went to the pharmacy. At a time when other players were still unable to use even level 2 red potion, Zhang Yi, who had obtained 15 silver coins from the hidden quest and the two-star treasure chest, wasted no time in spending 10 silver coins to buy 100 bottles of level 3 red potion, which restored 300 points of blood in a single session, and another 40 bottles of level 2 blue potion, which restored 40 points of energy in a single session, for two silver coins, the restocking was completed when the time was set to midnight. In the night, dear players, a new week has begun, this week's survival mission has been released, all players can check in the mission interface, and according to the requirements, within this week to complete the survival mission, or will be punished by death O, a new week, congratulations to all players to get the reward resurrection chance plus one, we wish all players a happy game. As this service-wide announcement fell, countless players in the wilderness who hadn't completed last week's survival quests to find a safe zone were suddenly bombarded by purple sky thunder and then disappeared into white light, their deaths didn't draw too much attention, though, open the quest interface and identify the first survival quest of the week, this week's survival quest, extreme hunt, ordinary level background. The safe zone can guarantee your safety for now, but if you want to survive in this world, you must follow the rules to complete the survival quest, Mission Description You need to kill 1000 monsters whose level is higher than your own within this week cumulatively, remaining time of the mission, 7 days. Mission Reward Resurrection Chance plus 1 Failure Penalty Death If there is a resurrection opportunity can be offset death, because today is the first day of service, although the time is now the early morning, you can see, hope that the city streets and alleys are still busy as the daytime, countless players come and go, some take advantage of the midnight task update, finally receive the task. And then happily with other players with a few players teamed up to go out to do the task, some of them took advantage of the midnight quest update to finally get their quests and then happily teamed up with some other players to go out and do the quests, everything was normal and no one had discovered the crisis yet, Zhang Yi, on the other hand, was looking at the bottom right corner of the main interface, the logout option that had been grey since his entry into the game at the beginning. Zhang Yi, who knew what the future would bring, did not give it much thought, the next task was to continue upgrading and get to level 10 early to complete the transfer and get the achievement, so, Zhang Yi went to the town's blacksmith shop with his memory, and from the blacksmith shop's NPC boss, he picked up a quest to collect 100 wolf pelts, collect wolf pelts, normal quest, quest difficulty coefficient. 50 Description, with the outbreak of the doomsday crisis, countless biochemical behemoths. And alien monsters are always coveting the safe zone of the human race, looking forward to the day when they will be able to break into the safe zone and eat all the insides of the human beings inside, as the owner of the blacksmith shop in Hope Town IL has a heavy responsibility to build a large number of powerful armors and weapons for the guards every day so that they have the ability to protect the country. But building this equipment requires a large number of materials. Players are asked to follow the map directions to the dark forest, hunt the demonized wolves within, collect wolf pelts from them and deliver them to IL, quest progress, 0 out of 100, wolf pelt quest reward, plus 2000 experience, plus 250 copper coins, plus 15 level 1 enhancement stones, plus 1 random equipment, human prestige plus 30 time left, one day that's right. Zhang Yi's last hidden quest guardian, the identity of the NPC IL who saved him was actually the owner of the blacksmith shop, I'd heard that IL was the top smith in Hope Town, and even though he broke his hand, it didn't affect his ability to continue smithing, therefore, Zhang Yi had picked up another quest for him, on the surface, it was just an ordinary quest, at most, the difficulty factor was 30 points higher than the last quest Zhang Yi had received, which was to kill his father, but otherwise, there was nothing special about it. Since the quest didn't have any reminders, normal players who encountered this quest would have honestly gone to kill the demon wolves and exploded 100 wolf pelts to return and submit the quest, but Zhang Yi was aware of a special feature of this quest, it could be submitted multiple times. This is also Zhang Yi in the last life of the same security distinction of the player there to learn the opportunity to remember this task seems to be able to repeat the submission of 10 times, in addition. To the first time the reward is normal, after the 9 times to submit the task rewards relative to the first time to reduce a little, but if the player can accumulate the submission of this task for 10 times, will be able to obtain an ultimate prize. 
In his previous life, Zhang Yi didn't find out about this secret until after level 10, so he missed this opportunity because his level was too high to receive this quest, choose this task, because Zhang Yi also lazy back and forth to run the map, hand over the task and change the task, too tedious, this task can let Zhang Yi concentrate on this map in the dark forest brush to a day and a half. The task rewards coupled with the proceeds of brushing monsters, the complete end of the task, should be able to almost reach level 10 inch directly to the transfer of the job. In addition, by completing this quest Zhang Yi's survival quest Extreme Hunting could also be completed at the same time, killing two birds with one stone, after receiving the quest, Zhang Yi left the crowded Hope Town, next to the Resurrection Spring in Hope Town. A pants-wearing male player who looked decent except for being a bit miserable stood there in a huff until a few players with the word king in front of their head IDs rushed over from afar, Captain, are you alright? The return of the king asked worriedly as he looked at the king of glory, who was wearing red pants and tried to stop himself from laughing, good for nothing, when Zhang Yi killed him with a hammer, his level dropped from level 3 to level 2, Qing Qing, if you dare to kill me, I'll make it impossible for you to enter the entire 8th district. According to the map, he arrived at the Dark Forest, which was located south of Hope Town, about half an hour away, under the Shroud of Darkness, this huge forest by a river, with no people around and only countless demon wolves roaming around with blue light emitting from their eyes, seemed particularly eerie and terrifying, after all, this was a level 6 to 8 map, and at this stage, apart from Zhang Yi, there were no other players who dared to come to such a high-level place to practice, A. Eh? Discreet wolf howl came from the forest, causing Zhang Yi, who was stationed outside the dark forest, to feel a slight chill on his back, the sledgehammer fell to the ground, and Zhang Yi stepped into the forest alone, dragging the hammer with him. Under the backdrop of the moonlight, he looked around and saw that the large forest was filled with large grey wolves with grey fur and blue eyes, Zhang Yi randomly captured one of the highest level 8 magic wolves and cast a spell, demonized coyote, normal magic monster, rank, 8 talent. Broken Demon, Demonized Coyote's attack can ignore the target's 20 points of magic defense magic attack, 65 physical defense, 30 magic defense, 22 health, 440 description, originally living in the woods, the wolves were contaminated by the environment and mutated, these enchanted coyotes have strong magic breaking abilities, if you don't have a high enough magic resistance, please try to avoid messing with them good lord, this level 8 coyote actually has 65 points of attack power. If it's a physical monster, it's okay, because Zhang Yi's physical defense reaches 61 points, basically, he won't be threatened by the coyote, what's a headache is that it's a magic type, and Zhang Yi's magic resistance is only 45 points, of course, the strongest part of the enchanted coyote was its magic breaking talent, which was equivalent to Zhang Yi's magic resistance of only 25 points in front of it, this was because Zhang Yi had two pieces of plus 25 defense equipment, namely piranha boots and biochemical pants, and an average player would be bitten to death in front of the level 8 demonic wolf, Zhang Yi looked at his statistics, after adding the 5 points from level 5 to strength, his attack power had reached 78 points, and with the critical injury talent that had 30 points of additional injury, he didn't have too much of a problem dealing with this level 8 demon wolf that had 30 points of defense. However, Zhang Yi is still willing to start from the relatively easy to deal with level 6 demon wolves, after all, it is all about doing the quest of collecting wolf pelts, there are relatively low level opponents not to fight, why must risk to fight the high level it, level 6 demon wolves only have 50 attack power, the talent of breaking magic can only ignore the target's 12 points of magic resistance, comparatively speaking, can pose very little threat to Zhang Yi, so, with a level 6 wolf. Nearby, Zhang Yi carried a sledgehammer and approached the past, as he stepped into the demon wolf's 30 meter effective attack range, the demon wolf let out a howl and spat out a blue magic ball from its mouth, shooting at Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi quickly sidestepped and dodged, then quickly approached the demon wolf and turned his hand to bring down the hammer, deadly strike. Bang, the red light hammer fell on the demon wolf's body, inflicting 97 points of damage on its head, a level 6 demon wolf with only 300 blood, Zhang Yi's hammer fell, taking out almost a third of its blood, and as a level 5 player, with the attack power of the plus 25 weapon and the plus 25 ring, Zhang Yi's damage was simply terrifying. The 11 points of agility attached to the guardian armor made Zhang Yi's speed much faster before this demon wolf reacted, slashing another hammer with his backhand. 88. Without the bonus of the killing strike, Zhang Yi's normal attack, the damage inflicted was only a few points lower, at this time, the demon wolf, whose blood had already dropped by half, retreated and lunged forward, finally biting Zhang Yi as he wished. 
With a sharp pain emanating from his left arm, the attacked Zhang Yi triggered the Guardian Armor's exclusive Angel Guardian talent, manifesting a faint energy shield on his body that not only compensated for the 17 points of damage caused by the Demon Wolf, but also left more than two-thirds of the shield value unbroken, according to the 10% Maximum Qi Blood Commission. The shield possessed 10% of Zhang Yi's maximum qi blood, which was 57 points of blood, immediately after that, Zhang Yi slammed his hammer down again, triggering the lucky strike talent of the lucky ring and dealing 1, 5 times damage, minus 134, the few bars of blood remaining on the demonic wolf's head were instantly emptied, and it fell to the ground with a howl, you have killed a level 6 demonized coyote, experience plus 25. Three attacks and no injuries to kill a level 6 demonized coyote, this efficiency was simply not too high, crouching down next to the corpse of the demon wolf, Zhang Yi harvested not only the three copper coins, but also a grey wolf skin, exactly what he needed to collect for the quest, with the next target in sight, the hunt continued, fatal strike, pulverized attack, and the lucky strike triggered by the third attack were basically three hammers that took care of a level 6 demon wolf, even though, the initial fatal strike had only 9 points more damage than pulverized attack, the role of those 9 points of damage was the most important, since the total blood volume of a level 6 demon wolf was 315 points, if the deadly strike was replaced with a general attack, Zhang Yi's 3 attacks would only deal 310 points of damage, and he would need another hammer to finish the battle. One more hammer, 1000 more hammers, how much time would be wasted, so Zhang Yi would rather spend a little more energy, the explosion rate of the wolf skin was 100%, Zhang Yi's efficiency in collecting it was also extremely high, and his experience bar was rising, when he had killed more than 40 demon wolves in a row, a golden ray of light appeared above his head, and Zhang Yi's level increased to level 6. The 5 points gained were all added to strength, and only then did Zhang Yi change. His target from the level 6 demon wolves to the level 7 demon wolves, because of the survival quest of Extreme Hunt, it was necessary to kill monsters of a higher level than his own. The level 7 Demon Wolf had 50 more points of blood compared to the level 6 Demon Wolf, and the defense was also a few points better, 3 hammers could not handle it, and it took an average of 4 hammers to solve one, but the final experience gain was also 5 points more, and a level 7 Demon Wolf could bring in a gain of 30 experience value, in this way. Starting from less than 1 in the morning and brushing until 8 in the morning, Zhang Yi finally collected a whole thousand wolf pelts. At that time, Zhang Yi's level had increased from the original level 5 to level 9 because he had hunted and killed 1000 demon wolves, unfortunately, the progress of the Limitless Hunt quest was only two-fifths complete, because after reaching level 8, the highest level 8 demon wolves in the dark forest would not allow Zhang Yi to complete the Limitless Hunt quest. Without realizing it, he was brushing all night long, from night to day, the Zhang Yi of his last life had not been so passionate in a long time, at first, Zhang Yi was the only one brushing those demon wolves in the dark forest, but now when he looked around, there were already many players hunting demon wolves in the huge forest, and the originally lonely forest became lively. Seeing the level of these players actually generally have 7 or 8 levels, Zhang Yi cannot help but open the regional level ranking to look at, Zhang Yi froze for a moment his own level 9-10% of the level, actually did not go on the list. But think about it right, after all, he brushed so long in the dark forest are pure brush monsters, did not get a quest reward, other players had completed at least 2 or 3 quests from midnight to 8 o'clock, and with the generous experience rewards from the quests, along with the income from brushing the monsters, their level must have increased faster, Zhang Yi was able to reach level 9 just by brushing the monsters. The momentum was already very strong, it was certain that as long as he went back, to the safe zone and completed the task of collecting wolf pelts, he would immediately rise to the top of the leveling list, and was definitely more than a little ahead of the second place, because Zhang Yi immediately, but to get 10 consecutive quest rewards, in the early stages, the players were chasing each other, and the first 10 players had all reached level 9. What surprised Zhang Yi the most was that 5 of the top 10 players on the ladder were actually players from the king's world. Even the King of Glory, who had been killed by Zhang Yi once before and had lost one level, was able to rank second, you could imagine that if he hadn't been killed and lost a level before, the King of Glory would have reached level 10 by now to complete the transfer, there are thousands of people in the battle team to help leveling together, the speed is fast. The future is also in accordance with the historical process of the last life, according to this trend, the King's world will soon 
become the overlord of the no number 886 safe zone, of course, this was under the premise that Zhang Yi would not make any changes, it should be mentioned that Zhang Yi couldn't help but feel relieved that no one had reached level 10 to complete the transfer, and the achievement for the first transfer was still there, as for the first place Storm Angel, this name seemed to have appeared on the regional chat channel before, this guy was not easy either. However, Zhang Yi has no impression of him, I guess he was a short-lived ghost in his previous life, because King's honor can't see outsiders develop better than him, close the ladder, raising his head, he stretched towards the sun, just at this time, a system sound suddenly fell on Zhang Yi's ears, the system has detected that your fatigue has dropped to 30%, please pay attention to rest, fatigue, is a hidden attribute of players in the apocalypse world, 100% is the best state, every 10. Minutes will automatically consume 1% of fatigue, when fatigue drops to 0%, the player will die. From the opening of the service at 8 p.m., last night until now, it had been almost 12 hours of continuous battle, and it also made Zhang Yi feel really tired, so his intention was exactly to prepare to go back to the safe zone in a while to submit the quests, and after leveling up to level 10 and completing the transfer, he went to take a break and rest and recover from the fatigue. So Zhang Yi crouched down and picked up the loot from the last demon wolf he had just killed, at that moment, a sudden rush of footsteps came from outside the forest, and for some reason, Zhang Yi suddenly had an ominous feeling. When he turned around, he saw a large number of players pouring into the dark forest with great vigor, through the overhead markings, he could see that these teams of players were estimated at 30 to 40 people, all of them reaching as high as level 8 to 9, and their IDs were all prefixed with the word King, King of Kings, just as Zhang Yi thought, the group of King's world players led by a level 9 teenager, King's Glory, who was wearing black armor and holding a silver longbow, glanced at the players in the forest who were brushing the demon wolves for training, and then his eyes rested on Zhang Yi, reaching out to point at Zhang Yi, that's him, give me a siege around Qingqing. As soon as the words fell, more than 30 players behind King's Glory copied their weapons and flanked over from the left and right, immediately surrounding Zhang Yi, they really rushed to their own at this time, only to see the King of Glory look at Zhang Yi, a cold grunt, still in this leveling. Do you know why I'm looking for you? He looked at the equipment on the King of Glory's body, Tisk, the seven-piece set is complete, and it looks like they are not bad equipment, especially the black armor on his body and the silver longbow in his hand, which should be an excellent product at this stage, so, Zhang Yi searched and speculated, sending me equipment. The King of Glory paused, stared at Zhang Yi coldly, and drank, I've come to send you to the Western Paradise. Zhang Yi looked around at the other players in the King's world and said unimpressed, only so many people. I'm afraid it's not enough, Zhang Yi could see that this group of King's world players, except for King's glory, the rest of them were not fully equipped, and Zhang Yi, who had survived eight years in the apocalypse world in his previous life, could even analyze the quality and enhancement level of the equipment from its shine, the plus 25 equipment had a faint layer of golden light on the outside, and the lower the level of enhancement, the fainter the light, the equipment of these ordinary. Members were all one-star goods, and the enhancement level was no more than 10, at this stage, it was considered a medium to high level in the eyes of the level 7 or 8 casual players around them, but in Zhang Yi's eyes, two words to describe it, it was garbage. Only the kingly glory with the best equipment should be above plus 20 inch clearly he had concentrated all the resources of the world of kings into himself, seeing that this Qingqing was surrounded by so many of his own people and could actually say such arrogant words, the king's glory wasn't angry either. Do you know how many people I have in the king's world? Just to deal with you, such a waste, not to use thousands of people, called more than 30 brothers, are considered to look up to you, today you are dead, I will kill you back to level 0, clang, the sledgehammer fell heavily to the ground, and Zhang Yi, holding the handle, looked at the king of glory with a calm face and said, come to kill me, don't say I didn't give you a chance. Could it be that this guy had never heard of king of kings on the official apocalypse forum before entering the game? When the forum was burning, the poster of the post of 100,000 renminbi monthly salary to recruit top professional players for the battle team was King's Glory, so before the game even began, the King's World Battle Team was already burning, and the over 1,000 people under his hand were all professional players from all over the country, therefore, Zhang Yi himself didn't have much of a reaction. And the surrounding casual players who were brushing monsters and practicing in the dark forest saw Zhang. E being surrounded by King's world players, and they began to discuss, Player A, this kid dares to openly provoke the King's world, he's got a lot of guts, Player B, yeah, doesn't he know the status of the King's world? 
not to mention that he will be killed in a while, I'm afraid it will be difficult to survive in the 886 safe zone in the future, player C, we must not be like him in the future to provoke the king of the world otherwise the end will definitely be the same as him, in the middle of the discussion, the king of glory also did not have too much nonsense, left a sentence I let you regret to be a man, then waved his hand and gave an order, give me to hit him, under the command of king's glory, the Group of King's world players surrounding Zhang Yi in all directions had copied their weapons and surrounded Zhang Yi, the surrounding casual players were all staring at this side with a look of amusement, and in their eyes, this guy who had been besieged by the King's world players who had hidden his ID and level already looked like a corpse. Only Zhang Yi himself was standing calmly in his place, not panicking, just waiting, the two people with long swords directly in front of him were the first to come over, brushing two swords that landed on Zhang Yi's left and right shoulders, hitting two damage points on Zhang Yi's head that made the surrounding onlookers suck in their cold breath, dash one, comma dash one, doesn't it break the defense? Is the attack power of the king's world that low? Or is that guy's defense so high? Even the two people who launched the attack were stunned for a while even though they weren't at full strength, their attack power reached more than 50 points and they actually couldn't do any damage to the person in front of them, at the same time, Zhang Yi, who was standing still and deliberately stabbing twice, heard two battle tips, you have been maliciously attacked by the king of players mad god, the other party is grayed out, attacking the other party will not trigger the red name. You have been maliciously attacked by player King Shura, the other party has grey name, attacking the other party will not trigger the red name, finally waited for these two tips of Zhang Yi, swung the hammer in his hand, bang a hammer on the body of the king's mad god, backhand and a hammer blow in the chest of the king's Shura, respectively, in the top of the head of the two burst open a super high damage, minus 118. The king's berserker god, who had just over 260 points of total blood, was drained of his blood by Zhang Yi's two hammers, and before he could react to what was happening, he collapsed to the ground, and in the next second, he turned into a beam of white light and floated away, leaving behind a field of copper coins and potions, as well as a pair of boots, you killed the king's mad god player, but you did not increase your sin value because of the opponent's grey name. The double bonus of Fatal Strike and Lucky Strike caused Zhang Yi's hammer, which had just received a 165% damage bonus, to deal 195 points of damage to the King's Berserker God, causing the casual players surrounding the audience to be dumbfounded for a moment, what kind of damage is that, almost 200, oh my god, if that hammer had just landed on me, I think it would have killed me in a single blow, I know, that kid seems to be the one who triggered the first achievement in Tilting City, it is said that the hammer in his hand is a growable artifact, before using it, the king of the world was beaten to death against the long king of glory, the king of the world this is to take revenge, no wonder the king's world had to come to so many people to deal with someone else, it seems that they had already figured out the other party's strength and knew that he was an expert ah. Even the surrounding king's world players who hadn't approached were looking at each other, this kid's damage is so high, didn't listen to the captain say, his hand that hammer, artifacts, the game is just to be killed and will not really die, and the master said, die once is 10,000 compensation, brethren, kill, help the master to the boy in the hands of artifacts hammers bursting, even if it is a little bit of damage, pile also want to pile him to death, with that, the people from the king's world continued to surround and kill Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi laughed, because even if they stacked him, they couldn't kill themselves, and even their attacks couldn't break the angelic guardian shield that was triggered every 10 seconds, not to mention the 570 blood that was enough for them to stack 570 attacks. With that, Zhang Yi swung his sledgehammer and launched a devastating counterattack into the crowd of King's world that was attacking him, to be honest, this level 1, 1 star hammer was really trashy by now, and half of Zhang Yi's current damage was accumulated with upgrade points, from level 5 to level 9 interval, get 20 points, Zhang Yi all added in the power. The equivalent of 15 star power growth is 30 points of attack power, make Zhang Yi now even if the hands of the hammer is still level 1. The attack power also broke through the triple digits reached 108 points high, is not at this stage of the equipment is not all the level 8 or 9 players, can resist, what Zhang Yi lacked the most at the moment was a handy weapon. Looking at the front of the basic 2 to 3 hammers can be killed under their own a player Zhang Yi, more and more convinced that the hammer in his hand is a growth of extreme artifacts and its so high damage is all due to the hammer's glory of the king, cannot help but lick his lips, he said with a smile, this hammer, I must be burst out, after saying that, he lifted a silver longbow in his hand, which was obviously worth a lot of money, and aimed at Zhang Yi, who was surrounded in front of him, and sent out an arrow, 
from a distance of more than 30 meters, the sharp arrow landed on the hard guardian armor in front of Zhang Yi's chest, and a damage number greater than one finally appeared on Zhang Yi's head, minus 105. The angel shield, which had a remaining shield value of more than 30 points, was immediately shattered, and Zhang Yi also lost an additional 70 points of blood. Seeing the damage he received, Zhang Yi was a bit surprised knowing that he had 61 points of defense, so if you did the math, the current attack power of the king's glory was at least more than 160 points, this attack power, in addition to the full strength points, the bow in the hands of the king's glory, at least a 2 star strengthened plus 20 or more goods. Since Zhang Yi's counterattacks targeted those with grey names, until now, Zhang Yi, who had already killed three king's world players in A. Ro, still had a white name, so the king's glory that had attacked Zhang Yi turned his head ID grey, as for Zhang Yi, his gaze suddenly turned to the king's glory, who was placing hidden arrows in the distance, suddenly, there was a feeling of coldness behind his back, but the bow and arrows in the king of glory's hands continued to greet Zhang Yi. Even Zhang Yi couldn't resist the damage from the King of Glory, and after receiving a few arrows in a row, his bloodstain was cut in half in the blink of an eye, in response to King's Glory's super high damage, the onlooker started talking again, worthy of being the King of the World's Pair of Long, this King's Glory has two brushes, ah, uh, can actually hit such high damage, yes, you see, that bow in his hand is definitely an excellent product, just thought that Qing Qing Kid could. Counterattack a wave, now it seems hopeless, King's Glory will die with a few more arrows, no one paid attention to Qingqing's blood level, the King of Glory has three arrows down to hit him more than 300 blood, he still has half of the blood, and at this time, killed from the siege of Zhang Yi, suddenly the target locked on the other side of the King of Glory, carrying a sledgehammer quickly close to the past. The King of Glory, who was still in the back line, drawing his bow and shooting arrows from afar, saw Zhang Yi running toward him, froze for a moment, and turned his head to run, kiting Zhang Yi as he ran, on the other hand, Zhang Yi was rapidly approaching the King's Glory, jumping horizontally to the left and right to dodge the King's Glory's shots, leaving a trail of misses on his head. Although the long-range attacks had a great advantage in kiting the opponent, it was also easier for the Opponent to use his positioning to dodge, the 11 points attached to the guardian armor, together with the player's original 3 points, gave Zhang Yi a total of 14 points of agility, giving him a lot of room for maneuver, as he approached the king's glory, Zhang Yi took out a bottle of level 3 red potion from his bag and drank it in one gulp, a green recovery value of plus 300 jumped up over his head, and his blood bar instantly returned to full value. In order to deal damage in the early stages, few players would add their precious upgrade points to agility, those players from the king's world in the back simply couldn't catch up with Zhang Yi, and even if they did, they would be killed by a few hammers, and couldn't stop Zhang Yi from getting close to the king's glory at all, and obviously, the king's glory is full strength, to now only initial 3 points of agility attribute, in the speed of a big difference in Zhang Yi, so very quickly. Zhang Yi was caught up, the result of being caught up, is a bang of a hammer to swing down to the ground, unexpectedly, in addition to the attack power, the king's glory is actually a comprehensive development, vitality and defense is not low, so that Zhang Yi can hit more than 110 points of damage to other people hammer down, in the king's glory only hit a 90 points of damage, and the king's glory of the blood bar is only a quarter of the drop. However, the King's Glory panicked because as a long-range output hand, it definitely could not fight Zhang Yi in melee, while the King's Glory hesitated, Zhang Yi hit him with another hammer, dealing 90 damage, the King's Glory quickly drew his bow at point-blank range and shot an arrow at Zhang Yi, then while retreating backwards, he took out a bottle of red potion from his bag, and before he had a chance to use it, he was chased over by Zhang Yi, who smashed his head with a hammer, with a Crunching sound, King's Glory felt only a buzzing in his brain, you have been attacked by player Qingqing, you have lost 297 life points, you are dead, with a thud, King's Glory fell to his knees, and with a heart full of reluctance, he disappeared into a white light in front of Zhang Yi. Last time, it was one hammer, but this time, three hammers were used, and comparatively speaking, the King's Glory's resistance to beating had become much stronger, and Zhang Yi had just struck the final fatal blow, triggering the lucky strike and storming out with 297 points of damage, shocking the entire audience, Zhang Yi looked down at the place where the King's Glory had just died and disappeared, and was pleasantly surprised to see that in the middle of the copper coins and potions. Scattered everywhere, there was also a delicate silver longbow lying quietly, the explosive attack longbow in the hand of the king's glory had actually exploded, a joyous harvest, it seemed that the value of this bow was indeed very high, 
almost at the moment that King's glory hung up and exploded the longbow, the gang of players at the back of King's world was not worried about King's glory being killed, but rather worried about that bow. Don't let him pick up the bow, brothers, quickly go up and grab the bow that the captain exploded, quickly, with a shout from King Supreme, the remaining twenty or so people from the King's world all rushed towards Zhang Yi at the speed of a hundred meter sprint, but they were still one step too slow, it was only when Zhang Yi bent down to pick up the longbow and replaced the hammer in his hand with the longbow without hesitation, completing the equipment on the spot that the King's world. Players who had originally approached him quickly stopped and all of them stared at Zhang Yi holding the silver longbow with fear on their faces, at this time, Zhang Yi did not bother to look at the characteristics of this bow in detail, only knowing that the reason why the king's glory was able to inflict so much damage on himself, who had 61 defense points at that moment, must have all come from this bow. So the attack power of this bow was definitely no less than that of his own hammer. Thus, after equipping his longbow, Zhang Yi, who had instantly transformed from a warrior to an archer, lifted the longbow in his hand and aimed it at the king's world player in front of him who was within his attack range, in the apocalypse world, the basic attack distance of ranged professions was 50 meters, and these people from the king's world were only about 20 to 30 meters away from Zhang Yi. Seeing that Zhang Yi had already pulled back his bowstring, the players from the king's world paused for a moment before continuing to charge at Zhang Yi, Brothers, kill him and take the captain's exploded longbow back from his hands, this group of people was really bold, even though they knew that they couldn't deal any defensive damage to Zhang Yi, they still had to come over and send him to his death, of course, it was also because they thought that this was just a game, and they would rather be killed than be looked down upon by their captain. And besides, the captain had said that. One death would be compensated by $10,000. The words just fell, whoosh of a flying arrow from the hands of Zhang Yi shot out, hit the group of King's world players, the brunt of a hand holding a big knife, and the head ID for the grey level 8 man, minus 216, head full of blood bars were emptied by a hit, the big knife man directly into a white light floated away, leaving a floor of coins and potions, seeing this damage, even Zhang Yi himself was shocked, good guy, change a weapon, damage directly doubled up, looking at the silver longbow. In his hand, Zhang Yi was a bit surprised, it seems that the value of this bow has exceeded his imagination, a level 8 or 9 player, even with the hat and clothes, the two increased life value attributes of equipment protection, one star quality in the case of strengthening the level is not high, at most, only 2 or 300 blood, only killed by Zhang Yi arrow that, even a hat on the head or not. After all, even Zhang Yi didn't have a hat until now, after Zhang Yi killed one of them with an arrow, the rest of them actually continued to rush over without fear, Zhang Yi shook his head, if they knew that this was a real death game, they probably wouldn't have wasted the resurrection opportunity that no amount of money could buy, however, as far as the people of King's world were concerned, they did not deserve Zhang Yi's sympathy, so he continued to draw his bow and shoot at them, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, another three arrows shot out, each landing on three different King's World players, dealing three damage that made the surrounding onlookers suck in their cold breath, minus 248, a lot of lightning bonuses. There were also people who tried to use the S stance to dodge Zhang Yi's attacks, but it was useless in front of Zhang Yi, because the last generation of Zhang Yi is an archer, played eight years of archery, want to show position in front of Zhang Yi, which does not exist, Zhang Yi's attack, can accurately predict the enemy's position, so, in Zhang Yi burst high long range output, the dark forest white light one after another light, all the people hit by Zhang Yi, none of them is not a second. Kill, only the king of the supreme and the return of the king of the two people, more than one arrow, the 30 plus players of the king's world were all wiped out, because of their previous siege on Zhang Yi, they were all grey names, so after killing them, Zhang Yi was still a white name and didn't gain a single sin value. The surrounding casual players who had seen Zhang Yi destroy a team of more than 30 players under the king's world with one person's strength were stunned as they looked at the copper coins, potions, strengthening stones, and equipment scattered all over the area in front of him, this guy's damage is so high, 80% is the opening to get a high level talent that increases damage or something like that, however, I feel that he has completely insulted the world of kings, and if he becomes even more powerful, it will be very difficult for him to gain a foothold in the 886th safe zone, or even the entire 8th district, in the future, even though the people around them were drooling and looking at the coins and equipment scattered on the ground, they did not dare to pick them up either, afraid to grab the loot and be killed by this tilting city with a single arrow, and by that time, they had also become part of the loot. 
Ignoring the chatter of the people around him, after the end of the battle, Zhang Yi had time to rest his eyes on the silver exquisite longbow in his hand, silver moon bow plus 25, quality, 2 star grade, 8 physical attack power, plus 105, 75 additional attribute, strength plus 14, 10 exclusive talent, armor breaking. The equipment's attack can ignore the target's 35 points of physical defense occupation restriction, archer, uncommutated can also be equipped with description, it is said that this is the Elder blacksmith of the human race in the night of the full moon with rare silvery and white or to create a superb weapon, absorb the moonlight of the silvery moonbow, has a very strong killing power, good guy, actually is a two-star level eight, no wonder the king's fame, who had previously equipped this silver moon bow, had such a high damage, previously, he had also thought that this weapon must be plus twenty or higher, but Zhang Yi did not think that it was actually fully reinforced. This king's glory, he was really willing to invest, to upgrade a 2 star equipment to plus 25, it would take at least 4 to 500 level 2 enhancement stones, equivalent to nearly a thousand level 1 enhancement stones ah, crazy, to invest so much in a piece of equipment that will quickly change in the early stages of level 8, the thoughts of the rich, Zhang Yi does not understand, however, the king's glory wanted to collect strengthening stones, it seemed very easy, more than a thousand. People under his hand, each one contributing one, there would be a thousand of them, when he opened the status bar and looked at it, Zhang Yi found that after equipping the silver moon bow, his attack power had reached 216 points, no wonder that right now, one arrow after another was almost always 216 damage, in front of the talent of breaking armor. The gang of king's glory players was almost equivalent to having no defense, and all that Zhang Yi had dealt was real damage. Put away the silver moon bow, is ready to go to clean up the loot, the ear suddenly came around a loose player's words, everyone quickly look at the regional channel, the king's glory and put the word out, Zhang Yi also casually opened the regional chat interface, and indeed saw the king's glory in it, crazy scream, Qing Qing Yu, killed me twice, give me back the silver moon bow, otherwise I will not let you go, in the future, let you crawl away in the apocalypse world, Qing Qing, give me. Back my silver moon bow, I can give you a chance to change your ways, damn you, Qing Qing, are you dead? Seeing this unbearable rant on the chat channel, not only did Zhang Yi not get angry, he was even a bit amused, so Zhang Yi finally spoke into the chat channel and attached the icon of the silver moon bow, Qing Qing, male, level 9 player, thanks for the weapon sent by big brother, I tried it, very good with the silver moon bow, when Qing Qing sent the picture of the silver moon bow attached to the message. The chat channel in Area 886 immediately exploded, the King of Glory had just finished. Editing a message, and before he sent it, he suddenly received a system prompt, the system has detected that you have maliciously swiped the screen, and there are obvious dirty words, you have been banned by the system for one hour, fuck, the King of Glory is furious, just when the King of Kings returned to the King, all of them from the resurrection source died. See all the teammates, the King of Glory more angry, so many people cannot beat one, at your level, even dare to call themselves professional players. I open 100,000 monthly salary, you just invited this garbage. At this time, the return of the king quickly said, Captain calm down, especially because this guy's attributes are too high ah, uh, in addition to attack power, his defense and blood volume are also super high, haven't you noticed? I'm sure he's definitely plus 25, the king of glory is full of gas. I have a team of 1000 people working on me all night long, and I barely get plus 25, what does he have? He alone can get tens of thousands of strengthening stones to strengthen the whole body. What now? King Returns lowered his head, he has already killed you twice in a row, exploded your two pieces of equipment, and this thing, has already let everyone know, King Glory gritted his teeth and said, the dropped level can still be trained up, the early two-star equipment is not good to fight, especially the weapon, no matter what, the silver moon bow must be given back to me, it is not good to explode anything, the best in my hand to explode out, really bad luck, Qing Qing, you give me two. Remember, within three days, I will not kill you to delete the number to withdraw from the service, I live eat shit, Zhang Yi, who had killed the captain of the king's world twice in a row and was already in the 886 safe zone, also ignored the chatter of the bystanders, just to make him a little curious, how did the people of the king's world know that they were in the dark forest? In the end, Zhang Yi found the answer in the chat logs of the regional chat channel more than 20 minutes ago, it turned out that the casual players in the dark forest could not resist the temptation of the king's glory's $100,000 bounty, and revealed their own position, this king of glory is really rich. 
Zhang Yi didn't care and spent several minutes picking up all the things that had just exploded from the deaths of more than 30 people from the king's world and counting them, since. They were all grey names, grey name death burst 100% from the body of a piece of equipment, so a total of 35 pieces of equipment harvested all between 1 to 8 levels, improvement of 10 levels below the 1 star goods. Now Zhang Yi really do not see these 1 star equipment, because before in the dark forest brush and all night, a thousand magic wolves have given Zhang Yi exploded 7 or 8 pieces of 6 to 8 level 1 star equipment, all are unidentified state, and the king of the world's players popped out of the equipment, belongs to all the way to the goods, Zhang Yi intends to go back to the safe zone, set up a stall to sell all of them, because at this stage, although these equipment are not useful to himself, but there are a lot of other players need, equipment, silver moon bow is Zhang Yi's biggest harvest, this piece of equipment is enough to prove that the 30 people just did not kill in vain. Aside from that, Zhang Yi was more interested in the coins and strengthening stones that they produced, a total of 2000 coins were harvested, the equivalent of 20 silver coins, as for the enhancement stones, more than 60 of them were popped out, looking at the time, it was just 8 o'clock, Zhang Yi yawned and headed back to Hope Town leaving behind a group of casual players in the dark forest who still had palpitations in their hearts as they watched Zhang Yi's back and thought about the scene where he had just slaughtered more than 30 people from the king's world, after returning to the safe zone, Zhang Yi first found the NPC boss of the blacksmith shop, IL, a dialogue is triggered, young warrior, I didn't expect you to help me hunt so many wolf pelts, I'm really grateful to you. Upon receiving the 100 wolf pelts that Zhang Yi exchanged, IL said excitedly, at the same time, Zhang Yi's ears rang with a pleasant tone, congratulations on completing the quest to collect wolf pelts, you have been rewarded with plus 2000 experience, plus 250 copper coins, plus 15 level 1 strengthening stone, plus 36 human prestige, and you have been equipped with a plus 1 wolf pelt, your intimacy with the blacksmith has exceeded 10 points, your intimacy level has been raised to level 1, and you have been granted a privilege. You can enjoy a 5% discount when forging equipment at the blacksmith's shop in the future, the next upgrade will require you to increase your intimacy to 50 points. The intimacy level is set by Apocalypse to enrich the gameplay, players can get the intimacy with the NPC by completing the tasks, and the intimacy can be upgraded when the intimacy reaches a certain level so that players can enjoy the benefits, the NPCs can be roughly divided into commoners, blacksmith bosses, innkeepers, shopkeepers, appraisal institute bosses, guards, city lords, city mayors, etc., and the intimacy levels are divided into several major categories, NPCs can be classified by Profession as commoners, blacksmiths, innkeepers, shopkeepers, valuers, guards, mayors, and so on, for example, players in the safe zone by doing quests with the shopkeeper between the intimacy level reached 2 and so after level 30 to the capital city, and the capital city shopkeeper between the intimacy level 2 in the store to buy potions and equipment, these things can get a 10% discount. The higher the intimacy level, the greater the discount can be obtained, in addition, the player also has a chance to pass a very high intimacy level, from the NPC body to collect the hidden quests, back to the topic, even with the 2000 experience points rewarded by the quest, Zhang Yi was still unable to upgrade, as the 8000 experience points required to go from level 9 to level 10 was simply too much, as for the wolfskin coat, it was a level 9, 1 star floor stall item, and Zhang Yi, who had a 2 star guardian armor, couldn't even look at it, after submitting the quest, I'll no longer take care of Zhang Yi, general players at this time surely head off to find the nearest NPC can get the task, I'll take the initiative to find Zhang Yi, I still have a surplus of wolf pelts here, do you still need them? Just as Zhang Yi's words fell, Ayel suddenly burst out in surprise, really, warrior, how many wolf pelts do you have left, 100. I do, so Zhang Yi took out another 100 wolf pelts and gave them to Emo Li, Congratulations on completing the quest to collect wolf pelts for the second time, you will be rewarded with plus 2000 experience, plus 50 copper coins, and plus 2 intimacy with the blacksmith boss, submitting the quest again will drastically reduce the rewards. Zhang Yi took out another 100 wolf pelts and continued to submit, and so on and so forth, until he handed over all 1000 wolf pelts in his bag in 10 installments, and IL. Smiled so much that his mouth couldn't even close, young warrior, you really surprised me, I didn't expect you to collect so many wolf pelts for me, I don't know how to thank you. Zhang Yi was not polite, then make me some equipment, 
in his last life, the player who completed this quest 10 times would receive the ultimate reward of having the owner of this blacksmith's shop create a piece of excellent equipment for him, moreover, it seemed that only the first player to complete this quest 10 times in a row was qualified to make such a request, and all the others could only silently accept a rare piece of equipment as a reward from IL, as expected, IL did not refuse. Zhang Yi's request, no problem, warrior, what kind of equipment shall I make for you? Zhang Yi thought for a moment and said, you build me a magic staff, from the first moment he obtained divine strengthening, a divine talent, Zhang Yi had an idea, in this life, he was going to take a special path and play the profession that was spurned by countless players in the previous life and was known as the most trashy in the apocalypse world, the imperial beast master. In apocalypse world, player professions are divided into seven categories, warrior, assassin, knight, mage, archer, priest, and beast master, those who have played the game know the characteristics of each of these professions, the only one that is different is the beast master, because the beast master profession is more special, he can summon beasts to fight for himself, the summoned beasts are not limited to the type, can summon a thick skinned tank beasts in front of the anti-injury, can summon the output of the mage class beasts in the back of the table with their own output, can summon the milkmaid class beasts to their own or their teammates to treat, and even late senior beast master, can rely on the strength of a person to form an A-team with milk, meat and output. Doesn't it look like this profession is very strong, almost equal to having this profession, you have all the professions in the apocalypse world. That's right, in the last life is because of the apocalypse official perfect description of the profession of the royal beast master, lulled, so that countless players into the pit, only to later realize that the royal beast master this profession is more than just a pit, is simply a god pit, the pit of those who chose the profession of the players, sleep at night when they climbed out of bed to sit down and cry. Because the beast master and the traditional summoner are different, the beast. Master summoned from the Beast Master has an independent training system, and the Beast Master's own attributes have nothing to do with the Beast Master's strength, in other words, no matter what kind of magical beasts you cultivate, from the moment you cultivate them, you have to give them half of your own resources. The same as the player, it must wear equipment, through the skill book to learn skills, upgrading must consume the player's experience, it is equivalent to you use a number of resources, at the same time playing two characters, in the equipment strengthening and skills above, was a sinkhole, many players later even their own cannot afford to raise, where to find energy and resources to raise the beast. Unless the family has a mine, the beast master itself is equivalent to a mage, but in order to balance the profession, the beast master's own attribute growth is the lowest of the seven professions, skill damage is also extremely low, with a real violent mage, there is no comparison. Therefore, in the last generation, those players who chose the beast master profession, when they discovered the pit of this profession, but there was no way to change it, they planned to directly give up the ability to summon magical beasts and play this profession as a mage, because the beast master's development was too slow, this leads to, the beast master this profession eliminated more and more quickly, countless players become excluded object, the big battles are not accepted by them. Beast Master Profession Players, no one is willing to team up with the Beast Master, waiting for the Beast Master, only the demise, later, 100 players inside, can see a Beast Master is good, of course, in fact, this profession itself is a very strong profession, as long as the resources keep up, the Royal Beast Master cultivated from the powerful magical beasts, definitely not weaker than a player's strength. The Imperial Beast Masters who survived the last life were all relatively strong, and they could easily summon a magical beast with a combat power that could crush the high-level players on the capital city's list, knowing that this profession was a pitfall, the reason why Zhang Yi still chose this profession was because the god tier improvement could make up for the pitfall in this aspect of equipment improvement. And Zhang Yi had enough resources to train himself and his summoned beasts. Since the beast master used magic staffs as weapons, Zhang Yi asked Il to help him make a staff, Illinois agreed without hesitation, Warrior, for the sake of collecting so many wolf pelts for me, I promise to do my best to create a wonderful wand for you. After a pause, Il continued, however, it takes time to make a weapon, especially the better the weapon, the longer it takes, why don't you come and pick it up around 6 o'clock tonight? Zhang Yi nodded, fine, please trouble Master Il, after submitting this quest to collect wolf pelts 10 times in a row, the accumulated 20,000 experience points made Zhang Yi successfully level up to level 10, and the experience value was already full, so before the transfer was completed, the player's level could not exceed level 10. Thus, after saying goodbye to NPC IL, Zhang Yi arrived at the mentor hall in the center of Hope Town, as the first player to enter the mentor hall, many players. Passing by the hall's entrance looked at Zhang Yi with envy. 
Mentor Hall, seven dressed in different costumes mentor in it, just waiting for Zhang Yi stepped into the hall, each issued an invitation, dressed in golden armor hand holding a long sword, stout body warrior mentor. Young man, join our warrior profession, you can have a good body like me, do not worry about the little fan girls around you around and around, dressed in white robes. The appearance of gentle inner fanatic magician tutor, with me behind to learn powerful magic, there is no enemy. Is a powerful blizzard cannot be killed, if there is, then too, without waiting for the seven tutors to finish introducing themselves, Zhang Yi went straight to the imperial beast master tutor, hello teacher, I want to become an imperial beast master. The remaining six tutors exchanged astonished glances as Zhang Yi did not even look at them, the selected Imperial Beast Master tutor then nodded, fine, I will grant you the qualification to become an Imperial Beast Master, as soon as the words were spoken, the Beast Master mentor reached out and waved his hand in front of Zhang Yi, an array of golden light poured down on Zhang Yi's head, Beast Master. Congratulations to you for being the first player to complete the transfer in Safe Zone 886. The system will make a regional announcement, please choose to reveal or hide your ID, this time, Zhang Yi did not hesitate to choose to reveal it, 886 Safe Zone Regional Announcement, congratulations to player Qingcheng for successfully transferring to the Beastmaster profession, as the first player to complete the transfer in Safe Zone 886. He will receive the following rewards Human Race Prestige plus 1200, Gold Coins plus 1, 1. Just like the previous quest completion reward for triggering the hidden quest, with the 20% reputation gain bonus for the human camp, Zhang Yi once again received a whopping 1200 reputation points, as well as a generous reward of one whole gold coin, it was true that completing achievements was the fastest way to gain prestige and money, the game had started. But in the time it took to complete an all-nighter, Zhang Yi's prestige had already reached 2, 700 points, while other players only had a Handful of silver coins, Zhang Yi already had two gold coins, after the transfer was completed, Zhang Yi, who already had a full experience bar, was also immediately promoted to level 11. At the same time, with the system's regional announcement, the chat channel of the no number 886 safe zone, once again lively, on the other hand, only from the hope of the city of an NPC on the body to receive the task, ready to go out to brush the level first leveled up to level 10 to complete the transfer, so that then go to look for the city of glory to take revenge on the king of glory. Heard floating in the air to come from the regional announcement, the heart a burst of cursing, fuck, if you have not been killed twice in a row and lost two levels in a row, the first person to level up to 10 in 886 is definitely me, and at that time, the king's glory next to the king's return said, Captain, he turned out to be the imperial beast master, before this apocalypse opened, it was called a RMB profession on the forums, and you have to rely on money to smash it in order to develop it. The king of glory let out a cold grunt, that boy looks like a poor man, definitely not a rich man, he can afford to play Royal Beastmaster. Royal Beastmaster this profession without money smashing is a garbage, attribute growth is low to death, body bones then the priest is still brittle, ha ha ha, let's see how you can use the Beastmaster's trash profession against me, Mentor Hall, after the transfer was completed, the Beastmaster's mentor gave Zhang Yi six magical beast eggs, corresponding to the six categories of warrior, tank, mage, archer, helper, assassin, from which Zhang Yi can choose any one to open, you can get a Corresponding category of primary magical beasts, unexpectedly, Zhang Yi directly skipped this part and did not choose any of the six magical beast eggs, even the beast master's tutor was a bit surprised, warrior, the beast is the soul of the beast master, without the beast to help the beast master, it will be difficult to advance in the apocalypse world. Zhang Yi remained firm in his decision, thank you, but I don't need these beasts, because Zhang Yi knows, just completed the transfer of the royal beast master to get the tutor to give the primary beast, RD quality qualification 50 or less can be called garbage beast, said that can assist the royal beast master, in fact, it is completely dragging the foot, Zhang Yi does not want to let such a garbage beast to share their own resources, Zhang Yi also made a good intention, in the rise to Level 30 before, do not use magic beasts, unless in the process can get a high quality magic beasts, otherwise, Zhang Yi will be all the resources are used to strengthen their own strength, such as their own strength up, and then settle down to engage in magic beasts. Of course, another factor why Zhang Yi made this decision was because somewhere there was an excellent quality magical beast waiting for him to capture, in comparison, these low ranked magical beasts couldn't even enter the eyes of Zhang Yi who had been reborn and returned from 8 years of the apocalypse, however, if he wanted to obtain this extremely high-level magic beast, Zhang Yi's current ability was not enough. And he would have to wait for some time, Zhang Yi continued to initiate a 
Conversation with the Imperial Beast Master Tutor to learn the basic skills, each player would be offered three white basic skill books for purchase upon transfer, the three white Imperial Beast Master skill books placed in front of Zhang Yi, one was the control department's freezing technique, 70% damage factor with a freezing effect that lasted for 1-5 seconds with a 12 second cooldown. The second book was a defense-based magic shield, which applied a shield of 80% magic attack power to itself. For 5 seconds with a 20 second cooldown. There was also a book with a pure output system of fireball magic, 110% damage factor, 5 second cooldown, the selling price of all three books was 10 silver coins, to put it bluntly, the imperial beastmaster was a mage, except that all aspects of attribute growth and skill damage were much lower than the mage who had a white quality fireball art with a damage factor of 130%. Zhang Yi took the output route, so out of the three skill books, he chose Fireball without hesitation, spending the ten silver coins that not everyone could afford to consume at this stage, after obtaining the skill book, he immediately used it to learn Fireball art. Using the Fireball art at Zhang Yi's level 11 inch the single consumption reached seven energy points, at that moment, two consecutive and somewhat heartbreaking system beeps rang out from Zhang Yi's ears, due to the mismatch between your profession and equipment, the Silver Moon Bao has been automatically unloaded into your backpack, due to the incompatibility between your profession and skills. Deadly Strike has been automatically converted to a skill book and placed in your backpack, of course. Zhang Yi had already thought of this problem, once he switched to Royal Beast Master, he would no longer be able to use the superb Silver Moon Bao he had just obtained, as well as the Deadly Strike skill, Fatal Strike is a small matter, because it is only a white skill, the most heartbreaking thing is that the Silver Moon Bao, which can be called an excellent product in the early stage, Zhang Yi also did this for the sake of the big picture. After all, the experience of his previous life had taught Zhang Yi that in this post-apocalyptic world, there was no one to trust but himself. However, the truth was that there were many situations where even if you were personally strong, you still needed to have teammates by your side, in situations where you couldn't rely on other players, you could only rely on the Imperial Beastmaster's magic beasts, luckily, the Guardian Armor, which had no professional requirements, could still be used next. Even though an Imperial Beastmaster wearing armor would look a bit strange, in addition, Zhang Yi's attribute growth changes were not. Small, the basic attribute growth of the Imperial Beast Master of the first round, Intelligence Growth, 9 stars, Stamina Growth, 7 stars, Agility Growth, 6 stars, Physical Strength Growth, 7 stars, Imperial Beast Master's Professional Talent, every 3 points of intelligence increases the energy value by an additional 5 points. The Imperial Beast Master's attribute growth was indeed very low, but even a priest's growth was higher than an imperial beast master's, and compared to a first level mage, the gap was obvious, the first tier magician's intelligence growth reached 12 stars, his endurance, strength, and agility growth were also 2 stars higher than the imperial beast master's, and his total growth was 9 stars higher than the imperial beast master's. However, this was for other first tier beast masters, Zhang Yi, who Possessed the Dragon Bloodline bonus, would have to add an additional 5 stars to the 4 attribute increases, making Zhang Yi's intelligence increase 14 stars, which was 2 stars higher than the first tier mage's intelligence increase. Not only the Imperial Beastmaster, the attribute growth of the 7 professions would basically be reduced after switching to another profession, but as compensation, the system would give 30 free attribute points to each player who switched to another profession. Together with the attribute shuffle, Zhang Yi now had 80 free attribute points. Zhang Yi made a decision that other players wouldn't dare think about after the first round of shuffling points, he added all 80 attribute points to intelligence, normally, players, even mages, would add a bit of physical attribute to ensure their survival, and with the vitality bonus provided by the level 5 2-star guardian armor, Zhang Yi did not immediately consider adding physical strength, after completing the addition, Zhang Yi opened the status bar, Qingcheng, level, 11 profession, first turn imperial beastmaster race, Human Resurrection, 3 Talents, Divine Strength, Divine Talent Intelligence, 89 Stamina, 7 Agility, 17 Physical Strength, 7 Magic Attack, 157 Physical Defense, 67 Magical Defense, 60 Health, 504 Energy, 222. The Imperial Beast Master who had already completed his first round was just beginning to gain strength, and the difference between his attributes and those before the transfer wasn't that great, especially since he hadn't even equipped a weapon yet, Zhang Yi's attack had already reached 157 points, and if he were to equip a weapon like the Silver Moon Bao, it would be nothing short of amazing. 
Before Moli made the staff, he hadn't been able to find a decent weapon for a while, so he had no choice but to open his backpack, and from the 40 to 50 pieces of level 1 to 8 1 star equipment in his bag, he found a level 7 trash staff with 14 points of extra magic attack, and then used 25 level 1 enhancement stones to instantly turn the trash into an excellent product. Flame staff plus 25, quality, 1 star level, 7 magic attack power, plus 49 inch 35 exclusive talent, burning, the wielder's attack can ignite the enemy, causing the enemy to gain 25% of the wielder's attack power per second of burning damage for 3 seconds, mage, priest, royal beastmaster description, this is no ordinary staff, it is second to none, after equipping the flame staff, Zhang Yi's magic attack reaches 206 points, compared to before unloading the silver moon bow, it had only reduced his attack. Power by 10 points, after finishing the equipping, Zhang Yi went to the city's evaluation office and evaluated all the equipment that had exploded in the dark forest, one star equipment within the 10th level, the appraisal fee is not too expensive, on average, a piece of equipment only costs 20 copper coins. After that, Zhang Yi suppressed his sleep, grabbed a backpack full of equipment, and went to the busiest street in Hope Town, it was past 8 o'clock in the morning, and it was at this time that some players who had stayed up all night and were ready to go straight to work offline discovered the game's abnormality, what's going on, why can't I go offline? As a cry came from the crowd, other players in the neighborhood also opened the game interface one by one, and sure enough, all of them found that the logout button in the bottom right corner was not responding when pressed, why is this happening? Is there a bug in the game? I have to go to work at 9 o'clock, ah, uh, I got stuck in the game, done, how can I explain to the management ah? Uh? Officials come out to explain, ah, uh, this is what happened. The crowd was in chaos. All of this is in Zhang Yi's expectations, because the last life, they are also up to this time to discover the problem of not being able to log out, this was a real death game world, I don't know who heard the scream, and then someone in the crowd said, don't scare people, this is real, I have a friend who hung up in front of me a couple of times to use up his resurrection chances, and then when he hung up again outside just now, he didn't resurrect, he's really dead, right after that. Someone else said, and you found them, the NPCs in this world, doesn't that feel a little familiar? They are all real people. I saw my mom this morning when I got my quest, I thought I was hallucinating, what the hell is going on here? Just when everyone panicked, Zhang Yi wasn't panicked, he picked a good spot on the street, spent 10 coins to apply for a 10-minute stall from the system, and set up a stall when the players were most scared, the more they panicked, the better Zhang Yi's equipment would sell, this fact was really hard to accept, and most players preferred to believe that it was a game bug and that they would be able to go offline and return to the real world once the Sky Luck group fixed the bug. So, those players who believed in the latter gradually calmed down and even got a little excited, Great, now there's an excuse not to go to work, our boss plays this game too, he must be stuck in it too, ha ha ha. Not long ago, Zhang Yi's stall in front of a lot of players, of course, most of them are rushing to the stall owner, because Zhang Yi deliberately showed the ID of his head, a large LV-11 first turn beast master. Ching Cheng, especially eye-catching, the players around Zhang Yi started. Talking about him, a bearded uncle with a large sword in his hand, isn't that the big celebrity in our 886 district, the Qingqing who killed the king's world captain king's glory twice? Yes, the first time I saw him in person, it turns out that Qingqing is still such a young brother, he really is young and talented, the players scrambled to grab the equipment, since Zhang Yi had marked all the equipment on the stall, there was no need for Zhang Yi to do anything, he just sat behind the stall and watched the players in front of him take the money to buy the equipment and then collect the money, predictably. These level 5 or above 1 star junked equipment were full of lure 4. These new players, so at less than half the price of the shop each piece of 50 to 100 copper coin, the shop quickly sold out of more than 40 pieces of equipment, a total harvest of 35 silver coin, if this equipment was thrown directly into the system shop, it was estimated that the final profit would not exceed 5 silver coins. It was a pity that the equipment that had been strengthened with the divine strengthening talent had been set by the system to be untradeable, otherwise the plus 25 level 1 hammer in Zhang Yi's bag would have been worth at least a few gold coins right now, the design department of the Celestial Fortune Group must have considered various factors when designing this divine level talent. How could they let players use this talent to upgrade any piece of trash equipment into a superb product and then sell it at a high price to make money in such a cycle? Therefore, they had made an entire setting above divine buffing that would bind the equipment that used its ability for as long as it lasted. 
Fortunately, the other piece of divine equipment in Zhang Yi's bag, which had been strengthened to level 25, was not bound to Zhang Yi because it had not been strengthened by divine strengthening, therefore, Zhang Yi took that piece of equipment out, when the two-star level 8 silver moon bow, which emitted a golden light and was reinforced with plus 25, appeared on Zhang Yi's stall. The players gathered around the side of the stall instantly boiled over, I strengthened a level 25 equipment, and it's still a two-star quality weapon, geez, I don't even have a plus 10 equipment yet, how did I strengthen it to level 25, how many strengthening stones did I have to use? Silver Moon Bao, isn't this the weapon that Qingqing sent the artwork for on the regional chat channel earlier? It seems to have been exploded by the king's honor, with plus 105 attack power and a 35 armor breaking talent, this equipment was simply unbeatable. Zhang Yi shouted as he heard a murmur of voices from the surrounding players, the auction will now begin, starting at one silver coin, with Zhang Yi's words, the surrounding players fell like crazy, scrambling to be the first to shout the price, I'm out of five silver coins, sell me sell me, you think you're going to buy five silver coins for a plus 25 two-star weapon. I offer 20 silver coins, I offer 30 inch can immediately with friends along with the money, 50, 70, a moment of effort, the price of the silver moon bow has been speculated to 3 gold coins, especially because the current game is only 12 hours, players have not saved a lot of gold, most players have only 10 or 20 silver coin, the current price of more than 1 gold, basically have a team of players, can team up a couple of guys, hardly collect such a large amount of cash. The price was set at 3 gold coins, and no one raised the price again because no one could afford to raise it, Zhang Yi frowned slightly, 3 gold coins, even if he took the silver moon bow and disassembled it, he would not sell it for just that amount of money, it would be cheaper for others, because when the equipment is decomposed, half of the strengthening stones can be returned. The king of glory strengthened the silver moon bow to level 25, spent at least 4 to 500 level 2. Strengthening stones, after decomposition, Zhang Yi can still get more than 200 level 2 strengthening stones, which is no more than a few gold coins of incense. Just as Zhang Yi was about to close the stall and stop selling, a voice suddenly rang out, I'll pay 20 gold coins, the surrounding players followed the voice and saw a male player in silver armor, who looked to be about 26 or 27 years old, exuding an air of success between his steps, and a few players who appeared to be his teammates walking over. At first glance, Zhang Yi saw the somewhat familiar ID above his head, Storm Angel, wasn't this the guy who had been shouting on the regional channel earlier to buy Zhang Yi's hidden quest? Moreover, he was still the second ranked player in safe zone 886, just behind Zhang Yi, this really is a family, the Storm Angel is followed by several level 9 players who are better equipped, and their head IDs are all preceded by the word Storm, when the surrounding casual players saw the second ranked player in the heavenly ranking, they took the initiative to get out of the way. Storm Angel crouched down in front of Zhang Yi's stall, looked at the magnificent longbow on the stall, and said. To Zhang Yi, 20 gold, will you sell it? Zhang Yi said without hesitation, 100 inch no second price, the words just fell, and the surrounding area resounded with a sound of sucking cool air, 100 gold coins, this guy is going to want money crazy right. Yes, before the apocalypse official statement of RMB and gold recharge ratio of 10,000 to 1, and then the best weapons can sell 1 million? Not to mention that this is only a level 8 2 star weapon, use a day or two to change, however, this storm angel didn't think like the people around him. If I can get 100 gold coins now, I will never begrudge it, after a pause, the storm angel said, how about we exchange cash, wait for the official to fix the logout bug, I will go offline and give you 1 million cash, this storm angel is truly a gold master. The surrounding players all cast envious glances at Zhang Yi, 1 million, many people cannot earn so much money in their lives, this 2 star level 8 longbow, in fact, is not worth money, it is the most valuable place is to strengthen the 25 level, the game in the early stage of the shortage of resources, a lot of things, money cannot be bought, with this bow, then. In the early stage of the considerable distance between themselves and other players, unexpectedly, just when all the players. Around thought that Zhang Yi would definitely agree, Zhang Yi actually rejected the Storm Angel, I only need gold, not money, but I really can't get that many gold coins, Storm Angel looked at the Silver Moon Bow, gritted his teeth, and took out a green book from his pocket, or else, I'll add this to it, do you think it's okay? Zhang Yi looked at the book, Lightning Chain, Skill Book, Quality, Green Description, 
after using it, you can acquire the lightning chain skill, cast a spell to summon lightning to attack the enemy, and the lightning will perform a catapult attack between two other enemies within 50 meters of the enemy's circumference, dealing 90% magic damage to up to three targets at once. And when the target is reduced by one for each target, the damage of the skill is increased by 20%, cooldown 12 seconds. Consumes 10 Energy Profession, Mage, Imperial Beast Master, when used by Imperial Beast Master, the initial damage is reduced to 80% consumption skill slot, 2 it's actually a green group attack skill. To be honest, Zhang Yi's heart was moved when he saw this skill book, mage group attack skills were quite rare, and from the sad expression on Storm Angel's face, one could tell that he had paid blood money, in fact, the value of this green mage group attack skill book was no less than the Silver Moon Bow, because while equipment would expire with leveling up, skills would not, and a good skill could even be used for life, however, as an old bird, Zhang Yi did not show his liking for this. Skill book from his face, and said with hesitation, that 30 gold coins, in addition to 100 level 1 enhancement stones, Zhang Yi has already done the other side does not agree directly take the silver moon bow for lightning chain can be intended, did not expect the storm angel only hesitated for a moment, and then nodded, no problem. I'll immediately make the I'll immediately let the brothers in the team collect the money, give me 10 minutes. There's no need to be in such a hurry, I can give you 3 hours, seeing Zhang Yi put away the silver moon bow, Storm Angel was confused, what do you mean? Even after 3 hours, I'll still be here at 11 o'clock on the dot, and we'll trade again on the same terms, Storm Angel didn't understand, why? Because I'm going to sleep, after saying that, Zhang Yi stood up, put his stall away, patted his butt, and walked out of the crowd, leaving only a few of the stunned Storm clan behind, Captain, why did he wait three hours to trade? Storm Angel frowned, I don't know, but for the sake of this equipment, let's wait, go out and practice first, and come back at 11 o'clock sharp to trade with him, the fatigue level had dropped to 28%, and even though he could go for another 4 hours without resting, since there was still an important thing to do in the afternoon, Zhang Yi planned to save his stamina until then. As for why he had to wait until he was asleep before dealing with the Storm Angel. Of course, it was because Zhang Yi didn't want others to level up too fast while he was sleeping, if he gave this plus 25 Silver Moon Bow with explosive attack power to the Storm Angel right now, by the time Zhang Yi slept for a few hours and got up, this guy might be at level 15, as for recovering from fatigue, players could choose to rest in 1 star to 5 star rooms in the end to recover, the lower the star level, the slower the rate of fatigue recovery, resting in a 1 star room will recover 5% of fatigue per hour, and so on, resting in a 5 star room will recover 25% of fatigue per hour, in addition, resting in a higher star room will cost more depending on the level of the player staying there. Based on the hourly rate, at Zhang Yi's current level, staying in a 1-star room would only cost him 5 copper coins per hour, while staying in a 2-star room would cost him 30 copper coins per hour, and staying in a 5-star room would cost him as much as 20 silver coins per hour, this was simply not something an ordinary player could afford, however, for our landlord, Zhang, who had almost 3 gold coins at the moment and could get a huge sum of 30 gold coins in a few hours, this amount of spending was nothing, so Zhang Yi checked into a 5-star room with the NPC boss lady, and when he got to the room, Zhang Yi fell asleep, when he woke up at 11 o'clock, Zhang Yi realized that his fatigue level had recovered to 100%. After paying the room fee of 60 silver coins, Zhang Yi, who had regained his physical strength, left the hotel, he casually opened the ladder and looked at it, and found that during the few hours he had rested, other players had been desperately trying to climb the ladder, and Zhang Yi, who was originally the first on the ladder of the no number 886 safe zone, had dropped dozens of ranks in the blink of an eye, and the first one was already at level 12, the first converted archer, Storm Angel. Fortunately, Zhang Yi's foundation was solid enough before he went to bed, and now he was not far behind, and after three hours of inactivity, he was still able to rank 42nd on the ladder, Zhang Yi frowned slightly as he looked at the players on the ranking list who were chasing him very closely, aren't you all asleep? Waiting for sudden death. Probably not realizing the seriousness of the problem, Zhang Yi felt that around 12 o'clock, there would be a large number of players who would suddenly hang up and not know how they died, looking at the time, he found that it was already 11.06, and the time he had agreed with Storm Angel had already elapsed by 6 minutes, so Zhang Yi quickly arrived at the place where he had agreed to make a deal with Storm Angel earlier. However, when he arrived at the street where he had set up his stall, in the morning, he did not find Storm Angel's figure, Zhang Yi frowned, gone so soon. Forget it, let's talk about it when we return at night, 
since he still had important matters to attend to, Zhang Yi wasted no time and went to the shop in the city and ruthlessly spent one gold coin to buy a magic scroll, which was a very rare prop in the apocalypse world and was usually used only once. Rare scrolls of higher quality can only be obtained from treasure chests or quests, as well as high-level elite monsters and lord monster bosses, the quality of the scroll is categorized according to the player's talent, common, high quality, rare, epic, legendary, and divine, one gold coin a scroll, heartbreak is heartbreak, but cannot give up the child set not to get the wolf, this scroll, Zhang Yi is next to go to do a big job of a necessary prop, when this big job is done, Zhang Yi can. Finally get the income, the value of the scroll will be a hundred times, or even a thousand times more, as soon as he thought of this, Zhang Yi couldn't help but feel a little excited, in his last life, he was killed by other players before him, and he received a super reward that made countless players blush, and this super reward included an excellent magic beast. So Zhang Yi carried this scrying scroll in his pocket, opened the minimap, memorized a location on the map in the south of Hope City, marked it, and then rushed to the marked location, just as Zhang Yi was about to leave Hope Town, he suddenly saw a large group of players swarming towards the outside of the town, Zhang Yi casually pulled one of them down and asked, Brothers, what's going on? The level 10 mage little brother who was pulled down by Zhang Yi hurriedly said to Zhang Yi, Look at the regional chat channel, I heard that the king's world fought with the storm clan, right in the forest in front of us, a lot of people died and a lot of things exploded, so go get the equipment. Open the area chat interface, see inside the message as of more than half an hour ago, sure enough, the king of the world and the storm family people inside the quarrel, the king of the glory, male, level 10 archer, storm family trash give me get out of the storm angel, I heard that you from the hands of the pouring city to buy my burst out of the silver moon bow. Storm angel, male, level 12 archer, can you speak? Why do your words smell like shit? King's glory. You're such a piece of trash that you're qualified to use the silver moon bow that I spent more than 500 level 2 improvement stones to upgrade to the full level. This is my property, you have half an hour to come back to the safe zone and return the silver moon bow to me, or I'll make your entire storm clan suffer in the 886 safe zone, storm dragon king, male, level 11 warrior, with your quality, you deserve to be killed twice in seconds by people who dump on you, and you deserve to have your equipment explode. The silver moon bow is what our captain paid for, not to mention the moment it exploded, it's no longer yours, what qualifications do you have to let our captain give it back to you? Looking at the quarreling chat channel, Zhang Yi once again looked at the silver moon bow in his bag and fell into a deep thought, so, what exactly are these two items quarreling over? Storm Angel and King's Glory, these two actually both chose archery, and both obviously chose this profession for Silver Moon Bow, in Storm Angel's opinion, the Silver Moon Bow was already within his reach, so he definitely wanted to play archer, otherwise it would be a waste of time to prepare to spend 30 gold coins and a green skill book to buy the Silver Moon Bow, the King of Glory, on the other hand, was confident that he could retrieve the Silver Moon Bow from Qingqing's hands, so he also played archer. It seemed like there was a good show to watch this time, with that, Zhang Yi closed the chat channel and rushed towards the goblin forest along with the scattered people around him, since the place Zhang Yi was supposed to go to passed by the goblin forest, it happened to be on the way, a few minutes after arriving at the goblin forest, only to see the goblins outside have long been surrounded by merry casual players, while inside the forest, is far from the sound of a fierce battle, Zhang Yi. Squeezed into the crowd and looked over to see hundreds of players from the two major clans fighting in the goblin forest, countless flying arrows mixed with magic balls were flying around in the forest, and the swords and daggers and the players' feverish screams of killing were echoing in the forest, which was constantly flashing with white light, and players were dying in the battle all the time. On the ground, everywhere the players after the death of the burst out of the money and equipment, at this moment, no one to pick up these things, let them accumulate more and more, Zhang Yi casually asked an onlooker beside him, Brothers, how is the battle situation? This person pointed to the forest before him and said, Look, not just knowing that the king of the world must be a wild man, the king of the world is a thousand-man team, the storm family seems to be a total of only three or four hundred men, the number gap is too big, is not a competitor, the words just fell, next to another magician player is also followed by a sigh, storm family to be finished, is that so? After finishing this sentence, Zhang Yi suddenly stepped out of the crowd and approached the goblin forest in front of him. Seeing this, the casual players in the back cast mocking glances at Zhang Yi, what did this kid want to do? Pick something up or kill someone? Pick something up, or do you think a beastmaster with such low growth can kill someone in the early stages? 
He dared to go in, not afraid of being messed up by the arrow seconds, there are always a few for the sake of a little interest in life do not want the guy, right now there are several people who go in to pick things up directly killed, this kid actually dared to go in, ignoring the comments of the people behind me, until Zhang Yi will be the top of the head of the original hidden ID appeared. LV11 a turn of the Imperial Beast Master, changing this line of white fonts only to let the gang of players behind the whispering in a burst of dumbfounded. It's really him, a few hours ago, he was ranked number one in our district, seeing Zhang Yi approaching the goblin forest with a magic staff in his hand, the crowd behind him started talking again, looks like he's not going to take anything, this is a fight, cowardly, worthy of being the biggest celebrity in our district 886, which side do you think he's helping? It must be the Storm Clan side, doesn't he know that he has a grudge against the King's World side? Why would he help King's World? That's not necessarily the case, maybe people have figured out that with this opportunity to help the king's world to win the king's world's forgiveness, after all, it can be seen that the king's world is the biggest overlord of our 886 district. Just as the crowd was discussing, Zhang Yi, who had already stepped into the effective attack range of the two player factions in the forest raised the flaming staff in his right hand, causing a burst of red light to converge at the top of the staff, which was clearly the precursor to the release of the Beastmaster's primary skill, the fireball spell, Zhang Yi's profession was not looked upon favorably by the crowd, Qing Qing. How could he choose the Beastmaster profession? The Beastmaster's growth was so low, his skill damage was low, and he still didn't have the artifact hammer in his hand, so how much damage could he do? It was just the damage of an ordinary person, without that artifact hammer, he was no longer invincible, as soon as the chatter of the onlookers in the back line died down, Zhang Yi was seen waving his staff and throwing a flaming spell ball towards the forest with a clatter. The fireball spell hit a full-blooded king's world level 11 gray name mage player within 50 meters, causing a high damage minus 374 blast to explode above his head, the full-blooded king's world mage's bar was instantly drained, and he fell to the ground, turning into a white light and flying away, kill in seconds, you killed the king's run player, and due to the opponent's gray name, you did not gain any sin value, with a 14 star intelligence growth, which was 2 stars higher than that of a first. Level Wizard, along with 80 points of full intelligence plus, and a level 7 staff that had been strengthened to 25, Zhang Yi, who had a magic attack power of 206 points, and 17 points of agility attribute, the blast damage he dealt with his fireball spell was simply not something that a level 10 to 11 player would be able to withstand at the moment, unless they were a full power plus knight. Obviously, the seconded mage was also a full intelligence addition, and with the damage Zhang Yi had just dealt, it was more than enough to second him twice, as Zhang Yi began to kill a full-blooded mage from the king's world, the casual players who had stayed outside the forest to watch the battle were stunned, in this melee, all the players had spiked up damage figures generally in 50 or 60 points, peak 80 or 90, or even a more than 3-digit damage or not, on the other hand. Zhang Yi's this damage simply can be used to describe the perverse but Zhang Yi himself on this damage is not very satisfied, because the weapon and ring parts are still garbage 1 star quality, Zhang Yi's current attack power, all rely on more than 80 points of intelligence and 2 level 25 enhancement pile up. Both the weapon and the ring are in dire need of replacement, after killing one of King's World's players with a fireball spell, Zhang Yi moved on to his next target and unleashed a push attack spell that dealt 175 points of damage, once again killing one of King's World's level 11 bloody priests, Zhang Yi specializes in picking these gray names, and brittle mage shooter profession to fight. By virtue of their own ultra-high damage, as long as it is not full-blooded, the blood level is still. More than two-thirds, most of the direct one-strike kills, because often fragile back row occupation, more focus on performance, very few will be added to the physical strength, a normal 10 to 11 level 1 turn mage priest gunner, blood is also in 2 or 300 or so, even if Zhang Yi cannot be killed in one blow, triggered by the flame staff of the burning talent, but also in 3 seconds, to 40 or 50 points per second of burning damage, burn to death the enemy alive. From the time Zhang Yi entered the battlefield just half a minute before and after, more than five people had died at his hands one after the other, and his explosive output quickly drew the attention of several head players from the King's World, the level 11 assassin King Supreme, who was swinging his dagger to slay a storm player, was stunned for a moment when he saw Zhang Yi killing at the edge of the forest, and shouted, Qing Qing. On the other hand, King's glory's gaze followed King's. Supreme to Zhang Yi, and he couldn't help but be annoyed, damn, it's that brat again, I'm worried about finding him, but he actually sent himself to the door in search of death, 
as soon as the words were out, one of the king's juniors beside him said in surprise, but captain, his damage is so high a uh, royal beast master, how can he have such high damage? Actually, when the king's glory saw Zhang Yi's damage, he was also a little shocked, but he quickly understood, this bastard is definitely a full intelligence plus, definitely brittle, watch me shoot him with an arrow, with that, king's glory shifted his target, drew his bow, and shot an archer's primary skill, fire arrow, at Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi, who had just killed the sixth person in the king's world with a general attack, was hit by a flaming arrow, but it triggered the piranha boots. Infinite dodge talent and a big miss appeared on his head, originally, Zhang Yi was still searching for King's Glory's figure in the crowd, but now, King's Glory's attack directly exposed himself. As a result, Zhang Yi's eyes were fixed on King's Glory's body, and he waved his staff, throwing a fireball spell that had just completed its cooldown at King's Glory, who was about 40 meters away, the hot fireball hit the King's Glory's body and exploded above his head, causing a high amount of damage, minus 145, Comparatively speaking, the defense of the king's glory was much higher than the others. And the shoes and pants on his body, the two pieces of equipment that increased his defense, must both be plus 20 or higher. While the fireball spell hit the king's glory, it triggered the burning talent of the flame staff, causing 32 points of scorching damage to jump over the king's glory's head every one second. His blood volume was also frighteningly high. Based on the percentage, the total qi blood was at least over 700, which was even higher than the qi blood of Zhang Yi, who possessed a level 25 two-star strengthened guardian armor. It could be seen that in addition to the equipment bonus of strengthened 20 or more, the king's honor must have added many points to his physical strength, and it was estimated that he had been frightened by Zhang Yi's seconds twice before, after being attacked by Zhang Yi, King's Glory gave an order, and several warriors and assassins from the surrounding king's world broke away from the battlefield and rushed toward Zhang Yi in the periphery. Zhang Yi did not panic, targeting the other parties. More brittle assassins to attack, a few consecutive push attack spells went down, and before the group of melee players from the king's world approached, he had already killed a level 10 assassin among them, at this time, a few storm clan players also rushed over and froze, half hijacking the few king's world players who were approaching Zhang Yi. Storm clan players, were they protecting themselves? Zhang Yi was inexplicably moved, at this time, the storm angel ran over to Zhang Yi's side and excitedly said, Brother Qing Cheng, why are you here? You even helped us fight the people from the king's world, Storm Angel was even more moved than Zhang Yi, on the other hand, Zhang Yi took out the silver moon bow from his bag and said, I have come to send you some equipment, seeing Zhang Yi's hand, which he had coveted for a long time, to strengthen the level 25 two-star silver moon bow, it is for this bow to change the archery profession of the Storm Angel, immediately from the bag out of a green skill book with 100 level 1 enhancement stones, plus 30 gold coins, placed on the trade bar, you want something, I'm all ready. Zhang Yi smiled, happy trading, after saying that, Zhang Yi placed the silver moon bow on it, the transaction is successful, congratulations, you have gained plus 30 gold coins, plus 100 level 1 strengthening stones, and the skill book lightning chain plus 1, after completing the transaction, Storm Angel couldn't wait to equip the silver moon bow. So he turned around and shot a fire arrow at a level 11 warrior who was taking the brunt of the several king's world players who had chased him out of the forest from behind, minus 376 strike, the warrior's attack and defense were balanced, and that 348 points of damage didn't kill the warrior, but it immediately reduced his blood to less than one-fifth, in addition, the archer's fire arrow had taken burning damage, the same effect as the burning talent of Zhang Yi's flame staff, and caused 10% of the original damage, or 35 points of burning damage, to this king's world warrior for 5 seconds. As a result, that king's world warrior player, who had not been killed by the storm angel's arrow in one second, was severely burned before he had a chance to take medicine, looking at the damage he had just inflicted, the storm angel couldn't believe his eyes, I'm leaving, this damage was too terrifying, before, storm angel could only deal 70 to 80 damage at the most, and after switching to the silver moon bow, the damage was instantly doubled and more, the damage was really high. So high that Zhang Yi regretted selling the bow to storm angel, Storm Angel, who was in a state of excitement, held the Silver Moon Bow, which had a 35-point armor-breaking talent effect, and frenetically shot at the King's World players in the forest. At this moment, looking at the whole field of King's World players, no one can resist the damage of Storm Angel, basically one arrow can incapacitate a full-blooded player, and then make up for one arrow to kill, if you hit a lightning bolt, it is a direct hit seconds. 35 points of armor-breaking effect, even the knights in front of the Storm Angel are all fragile skin, 
after all, the Storm Angel was originally the first person in the 886 area level list, and is the captain of the storm. Family has a remarkable strength, get this pre-silver moon bow can be said to be artifacts, it is simply like a tiger with wings, Zhang Yi, on the other hand, learned the lightning chain immediately after obtaining it, congratulations on mastering the new lightning chain skill, the green skill consumed two skill slots, and players would gain one skill slot every three levels, so now at level 11, Zhang Yi, who had three skill slots, had two skill slots that were just right for learning lightning bolt. Excluding the one skill slot occupied by Fireball. After mastering the new skill, Zhang Yi couldn't wait to try it out, selecting a King's World Knight player in front of him who was within his attack range, Zhang Yi swung his staff and unleashed Lightning Chain, a purple bolt of lightning split downward and landed directly on the knight player, immediately after, the bolt of lightning bounced off the knight's body and then attacked the other two King's World players in his vicinity, and a high amount of damage jumped one after another over the Heads of the three of them, dash 136, comma dash 167, comma dash 159, in addition to the first knight who was attacked, the next two who were thrown out by the lightning chain, the remaining blood mage and the archer, were instantly killed within seconds, this group attack skill, combined with Zhang Yi's super high attack power, was simply a blast to use. Thus, Storm Angel used the Silver Moon Bow to save the day, and with Zhang Yi's help, he actually began to lead the Storm Clan players, gradually turning the situation around, the fact that just two people could change the fate of a group battle involving hundreds of people sounded like a fantasy, but in fact, in the early stages of the game, with top-notch equipment, it was really possible for two people to do this, as an archer. Storm Angel was now like a mobile turret, basically two or three arrows would kill one person directly, and under the close protection of a dozen or so Storm Clan senior knight players, King's World players couldn't get close to Storm Angel at all, as Storm Clan and King's World fought fiercely, Zhang Yi silently retreated from the battlefield. As opposed to fighting this nutrient-less group battle, Zhang Yi had something very important to do, the King's World's people, directly to the Storm family on the line, I believe that the Storm Angel, who had been supported by the divine power of the Silver Moon Bow, would not be able to set the King's World's players on fire so easily, after leaving the Goblin Forest. Zhang Yi followed the directions on the map and spent a full half hour traveling to a graveyard in the south of Hope City. Looking around, even during the day, the graveyard was eerie as if it was night, as for this graveyard, there were no obvious level and name markings on the map of the apocalypse like there were in other places, and the reason why Zhang Yi was able to find this place was naturally based on his memories from his previous life. The reason he could remember it so clearly after eight years was because this cemetery was very special, and there was a hidden copy of the dragon race buried inside, in the world of the apocalypse, copies can be divided into ordinary copies, hidden copies, and quests, the rarity of the hidden copies is the same as the rarity of the hidden quests, and players can get incomparably rich rewards by passing the hidden copies, Zhang Yi remembers that in his previous life, the person who found end. Cleared the Dragon Race hidden copy was not a player from the 886th security zone, but a powerful team from the 885th zone next door, because the location of that graveyard was right in the middle of zone 885 and zone 886, it was said that the player who cleared this hidden copy in his last life would not only get a super rare magic beast from it, but also a lot of excellent equipment, props, and countless amounts of money, Zhang Yi didn't care about the rest, what Zhang Yi cared about most was. The Magic Beast Therefore, in this life, Zhang Yi must rush in front of the 885 area of this team to take this hidden copy, the copy of the rewards of the super magic beasts, for the body as beast master Zhang Yi, most important, of course, Zhang Yi had no intention of taking this copy, for vague recollection of the last life of this past copy of the war party self-report. They are a hundred people in the copy of the group, and finally died only not more than ten people left, just past the copy, and Zhang Yi did not want to share the rewards of this hidden search with anyone, he wanted to monopolize all the rewards of this hidden copy, therefore, a perfect plan must be formulated in advance, and the purpose of this trip is to first investigate what level this copy belongs to in order to formulate a plan accordingly. Zhang Yi just stepped into the graveyard, a cold system sound from the air down, the system reminds you, you have entered the high-risk map Dragon Emperor Tomb, the map of your death threat more than 1000%, the system suggests that you immediately leave the Dragon Emperor Tomb, wait for a significant increase in the level of exploration again. Zhang Yi knew that this kind of reminder from the system usually appeared when a player was really facing the danger of dying caused by the game world. 
of Apocalypse, such as when a level 50 player entered a level 100 wilderness map, however, Zhang Yi directly ignored the system's warning and went deeper into the Dragon Emperor's tomb, when he opened the map, he noticed that after entering the Dragon Emperor's tomb, an introduction to the Dragon Emperor's tomb appeared at the bottom of the map. The Dragon Race was a powerful race that had survived on Earth for hundreds of millions of years, and its strength surpassed that of the three major races, the human race, the demon race, and the fey race, and it was an extremely mysterious race. It is said that the graveyard is said to be sleeping a supreme dragon king, so it is called the grave of the dragon king, the day of the dragon king's revival, will be the three major races when the time of extinction, because the last life in the apocalypse world survived for eight years, for the afterlife is still mysterious dragon race, Zhang Yi more or less some understanding, the leader of the dragon race is called the emperor. Each dragon emperor is the most powerful existence of the dragon race, and Zhang Yi in his last life before his death, spent a year with more than a hundred top players to collect the dragon blood scroll, is to hunt and kill the dragon race 9 god level dragon emperor to get. After entering the map, Zhang Yi was not attacked by any monsters, as he knew that there was only one monster in this graveyard other than the hidden copy, and that was the hidden copy's caretaker, as he went deeper into the dragon emperor's tomb, Zhang Yi actually found the entrance to the duplicate in the middle of two huge tombs, a white curtain of light. Zhang Yi's heartbeat suddenly quickened as he knew that even after surviving in the apocalypse world for eight years in his previous life, he had never personally encountered a hidden copy, and now, it was only the second day of the apocalypse, after the excitement, the fear came right after, because Zhang Yi knew that it was not so easy to enter the hidden copy through this light curtain, before that, the player had to kill the guardian of the hidden copy of the dragon emperor's tomb. To kill the guardian in his previous life, the area 885 team had tried more than a dozen times over several weeks to use up the three resurrection chances they received from the weekly survival quests, and finally succeeded with great difficulty, this was also what the players from Area 885 had said on the Inter-Area chat channel to show off, the purpose of Zhang Yi's trip was to check out the caretaker's stats, and to understand his stats so that he could know what level of power he needed to reach in order to kill it and enter the Dragon Emperor's tomb replica, so Zhang Yi took out the scrying scroll that he had bought for one gold coin from his bag, and with the scroll in his hand, he approached the entrance of the Dragon Emperor's tomb. As Zhang Yi approached the light screen, a low, hoarse, angry cry suddenly rang out from his ears, those who enter the Dragon Emperor's tomb will die, as soon as the words fell, Zhang Yi saw a red light fly out of one of the two tombs in front of him, so he immediately crushed the scrying scroll in his hand, and in the next moment, the red light flew back into the tomb, a strong red light wave blossomed out from the tomb pile, and in a moment of surprise, Zhang Yi was sent flying by the light wave, and he fell violently to the ground, and he felt that his eyes were darkened, and he lost his senses, you have lost 1538 life points, you are dead, with a twist of his eyes, Zhang Yi realized that he was already in the resurrection fountain of Hope City, as a result of his death, he suffered a level drop penalty, and his level dropped from level 11 back to level 10. The first time he came back from rebirth, he had actually passed it just like that, hurriedly checking the whole body, fortunately, because it is a white name, Zhang Yi died and did not burst out of the equipment, only dropped a dozen silver coins and a few strong stone, the biggest loss, is the chance of resurrection reduced by one time, shocked, Zhang Yi opened the memory interface and looked at it, and thankfully found that he had just gotten what he wanted most before he died, Dragon Emperor. Guardian, Dragon Blood Swordsman, Physical Lord Monster, Level, 30 Talent, Blood Suck, the Dragonblood Fighter is born with a 25% blood suck ability and can convert 25% of the damage dealt by all attacks into his own blood. Anyone who tries to get near the Dragon Emperor's tomb will be decapitated by the Dragon Blood Swordsman, and the Scrying Scroll will take effect. It seemed that this wave of death was no loss, at least the data of the Dragon Emperor's Tomb Guardian had been obtained, and next, Zhang Yi would be able to formulate a plan to attack the hidden copy of the Dragon Emperor's Tomb based on the data of the Dragon Blood Swordsman. One could imagine that the strength of the Dragon Blood Swordsman as the Guardian of the Dragon Emperor's Tomb basically represented the overall strength of this copy as well, the copy monsters in Dragon Emperor's Tomb were definitely all level 30, and except for the copy Guardian boss, the rest of the normal or elite monsters were definitely weaker than the Dragon Blood Swordsman. In other words, as long as Zhang Yi increased his strength to surpass that of the Dragon Blood Swordsman and was able to defeat the Dragon Blood Swordsman, he would basically be able to pass this copy as well, the Dragon Blood Swordsman's attack power had already reached 4 digits so he needed to have at least 4 digit attack power to be able to fight against him, 
it wasn't easy to raise his attack power to four digits. It seemed like he had to work harder, after all, Zhang Yi's current. Attack power was only 206 points, which was still far from his goal, looking at the time, it was already 11.50 minutes past noon, Zhang Yi touched his rumbling stomach and walked into a restaurant in Hope Town, in addition to fatigue, a player's hidden attribute also had a hunger level, people would die from exhaustion and hunger. Just like fatigue, a player's hunger is at its best when it reaches a maximum of 100%, and when it drops to 0%, the player is in danger of dying, except that the rate at which hunger decreases is only half that of fatigue, which decreases by 1% every 10 minutes, and hunger, which only decreases by 1% every 20 minutes. It had been almost 16 hours since the service started at 8pm last night, and Zhang Yi's current hunger level was still 52%, hunger could be restored by eating, and the more. Expensive the food, the more hunger it restored in addition to the better taste, as a big spender with 31 gold coins, when Zhang Yi came to the restaurant, he immediately spent 50 silver coins to order a steak and another 50 silver coins for a bottle of red wine. The time was around 12 o'clock noon, lunch time, and at that moment, there were many other players having lunch in the restaurant, the restaurant in Hope Town had everything from the steak that Zhang Yi was eating for 50 silver coins to the steamed buns that cost only 10 copper coins each, at this stage, the players did not have a lot of money in their hands, so most of them ate a bowl of fried rice and fried noodles for one silver coin, comparatively speaking, fried noodles and the like were the cheapest and cheapest, and the amount of hunger restored was also not small, a bowl of chow mein could restore 10% of the hunger, and a steak could restore 50% of the hunger, apart from that, the difference in taste was indescribable, and when they saw Zhang Yi sitting there alone, eating steak and drinking red wine, the surrounding players who were eating fried rice and nibbling on steamed buns would cast envious glances at Zhang Yi. This kid is actually eating a steak that costs 50 silver coins each. He's floating, do not look, eat your fried rice to go, people have money, this is our envy cannot come, after eating dinner in the afternoon to go out and brush more monsters, some money burst out of the night we also eat some good, while eating a steak, while looking at the 886 safe area of the regional chat channel, while looking at the inside of the mad refreshment chat records. Zhang almost a bite of red wine squirted, close the chat interface, just as Zhang also eat lunch, hungry, and tired, have reached a saturation point, the next step is to go out and do a quest to practice leveling, spend the afternoon time to say, and then wait for the evening to go to get a weapon to find IL, and once again after the strength of soaring, and then go to meet the tomorrow is about to usher in a greater challenge. As far as I can remember, it should be the third day of the service, every cell in every region of the entire apocalypse world would be greeted with a catastrophe, and if they were able to overcome this catastrophe, players would have a chance to rise in overall strength, and on the contrary, the safe zone would be overthrown, and all the players who were part of the same safe zone would die, so before that, Zhang Yi had to work hard to improve his strength and prepare for tomorrow, in Zhang. Yi's opinion, the magic staff that IL was forging was a two-star weapon anyway, and a level 10 plus 2 star weapon with a level 25 enhancement could directly double Zhang Yi's strength. As a reborn person, in Zhang Yi's memory, there were still opportunities in or around the 886 security zone, but many of them had to meet the level standard or strength standard, and with Zhang Yi's current strength as a level 10 first tier beastmaster, many of the opportunities that were close at hand couldn't be used for the time being, therefore, in the afternoon. Zhang Yi honestly collected a 120-point difficulty coefficient on the boss of the appraisal shop in the safe zone, which was about hunting mutant octopus and collecting 200 octopus images as an ordinary quest, after replenishing a large amount of red and blue potions at the shop, Zhang Yi followed the map's directions and arrived outside the safe zone, near a closed middle school built on the outskirts of the city. This middle school was the habitat of the octopus, according to the quest description, after the outbreak of the post-apocalyptic crisis, countless infected and mutated octopuses ran down from the hills behind the school, invaded the school, killed all the students and teachers inside, and fed on their corpses, surviving in this school for a long time. Zhang Yi had just taken the flame staff out of his bag and stepped onto the campus when a pungent smell of blood greeted him, accompanied by a Low hissing sound that rose and fell as he looked around, several level 12 to 15 octopi could be seen all over the large campus, munching on badly decomposed human corpses, emitting a foul stench, and wearing student uniforms. With level 12 to 15 monsters, it seemed that Zhang Yi, who was currently only level 10, could not only complete the quest to collect octopus images by hunting these octopuses, but also complete the survival quest of unlimited hunting at the same time, 
with Zhang Yi's current attributes, he could single-handedly kill a level 12 octopus at level 2 without any pressure, and he could easily kill a level 13 octopus at level 3, but in order to maximize the benefits of the lightning chain skill, which had a damage factor of only 80%, Zhang Yi chose to use a level 12 octopus, the lowest level in the area, as his starting target, a level 12 octopus had an attack power of 120, magic resistance of 50, and air blood of 350, targeting the three closest level 12 octopuses in the area, Zhang Yi swung his staff and a lightning chain swung towards one of them. The purple lightning struck that octopus, bouncing off and attacking the three level 12 octopi at the same time, dealing 125 damage to each of their heads and triggering the burning talent, which would also deal 39 points of scorching damage to them every second. In the next instant, the three attacked octopods screamed strangely and crawled towards Zhang Yi at high speed, without panicking. Zhang Yi stood still and lightly waved his staff, and the three purple spells representing attacks were Hurled at the three octopuses, minus 156. On average, a level 12 octopus was worth 50 experience points, three octopuses, a total of 150 experience points to Zhang Yi, when he went over to the corpses of some octopuses to pick up the loot, he realized that out of three octopuses, only one octopus icon had actually exploded, it seemed that the next battle would be a long one, Zhang Yi who possessed the divine enhancement in the dragon bloodline, had a level 10 attack power that was at least more than twice that of a professional elf. The same level, so the level 12 octopus that other level 10 players could barely handle was like a level 5 or 6 monster in Zhang Yi's hands, unable to take a single hit, those melee octopuses barely had a chance to get close to Zhang Yi before they died right under the flaming staff in Zhang Yi's hand, turning into Zhang Yi's experience. Zhang Yi's explosive power stunned the other players who were also brushing the octopi in this school, a level 11 warrior who had managed to swing his sword and hack a level 12 octopus to death, with only half of his own blood left, said, fuck me, how did the beastmaster's damage get so high? Killing an octopus with two swings is too fake, a level 10 priest girl casting spells to heal her teammates, isn't that little brother Qin Cheng? Wow, this is the first time I've seen little brother Qin Cheng in person, he's so handsome and powerful, as soon as the priestess finished speaking, her teammate, a level 11 assassin male, shouted, your sister is milking me, right after that, there was a scream, and the level 11 assassin man did not wait for the priest girl to heal, and died under the claws of the level 13 octopus. On this side, Zhang Yi would pick up the loot from the octopus killed in front of him, while continuously casting spells to kill the octopus in the surrounding area, such an easy combat mode that drew the envious glances of many players in the surrounding area, Originally, the speed of brushing monsters was already fast enough, and halfway through the battle, Zhang Yi triggered the 1 in a thousand chance golden skill Hell Dragon Flame while blasting an octopus with a fireball spell, with a deafening dragon roar, a hot dragon flame poured down into the floating air, instantly covering all the octopuses within a 100 meter radius around Zhang Yi, and a real damage channel of 315 points jumped up from the tops of the heads of several dozen octopuses within range. Accompanied by a continuous burning damage of 69 points per second, all the octopi touched by the Hell Dragon Flame were instantly incinerated, Zhang Yi's experience bar skyrocketed at a rate that could be seen with the naked eye, while the casual players in the area were left dazed, what was that flame? Who summoned it? Directly killing so many monsters in a matter of seconds, geez, no one understood what had just happened, while Zhang Yi, the trigger of the Hell Dragon Flame, acted as if nothing had happened, cleaning up the loot while continuing to brush the octopus bugs. The octopus illustration popping rate, which remained at 50%, could pop out one for every two octopuses, and with Zhang Yi's speed of brushing the monsters, he had already killed more than 400 octopuses at less than 3 to 0 0 p.m., completing the quest, however, looking at the time is still early, Zhang Yi also did not rush back to submit the task, continue to brush the octopus here. One after another killed more than a hundred octopus, a pleasant system sound from the air down, congratulations on. Completing this week's ordinary survival task infinite hunting, get reward resurrection chance plus one, survival task has been upgraded, advanced task, elite, please complete the task within this week. Advanced mission, the indicator is that the player must complete at least three missions with a difficulty of more than 200 points within this week, today is only Monday, there's no rush, so, continue brushing until after 5 o'clock in the evening, used up all the blue potions in the bag, a golden light shone down from the top of your head, congratulations on leveling up to 13, gained 5 free attribute points. The next upgrade will require 33,000 experience points, having finally leveled up to 
13-inch Zhang Yi sighed in relief and rushed back to the safe zone before it got dark, on his way back to the safe zone, Zhang Yi opened his backpack and counted his earnings. In the afternoon, he had probably killed more than 800 octopus bugs, making a total of more than 4,000 copper coins, which was equivalent to 40 silver coins, and more than 70 level 1 improvement stones were exploded, together with the 30 that were opened from a 1-star treasure chest, making a total of 100 improvement stones. The other thing is the level 12 to 15 one-star equipment of each profession, a total of 9 pieces, all of which are of unidentified status, on top of that, there were 2 skill. Books, one for a warrior and one for an archer, as well as an assassin's white deadly strike, which for Zhang Yi, who was a beast master, were all stall goods. Upon returning to Hope Town, Zhang Yi's first task was to find Amo Li, the head of the appraisal institute, and submit the quest. Congratulations on completing the task of collecting octopus illustrations, you will be rewarded with plus 12,000 experience, plus 30 silver coins, plus 30 level 1 fortifying stone, plus 48 human prestige, and the equipment chain of eternity plus 1, attribute, intelligence plus 6 profession restriction, mage, beast master, priest level requirement, 13 description. This is a necklace that symbolizes eternity, and it's actually a 2-star piece of equipment, and it was the necklace equipment that Zhang Yi needed right now. The additional six points of intelligence surprised Zhang Yi, who was an Imperial Beastmaster. Because after the 10th level transfer, as players control more and more skills, the consumption of energy is also more and more large, do not look at the current Zhang Yi only two skills, consumption is not much, the current more than 200 energy is enough to use, once the skills and then a few more, will find that the consumption of energy is really huge, without a good necklace equipment, which can give the player a high energy bonus, it is easy to appear to play no energy to play. Skill Situation this is one of the most taboo things for mage players who rely on their skills to eat, Zhang Yi, who possessed divine strength, the first thing he thought of every time he got new equipment was to strengthen it, top tier, top tier, top tier, even trashy equipment can be upgraded to the top level with divine strengthening, not to mention 2 star equipment, which is relatively rare at this stage. However, in order to strengthen 2 star equipment, level 2 improvement stones are required, and Zhang Yi's bag is full of level 1 improvement stones, so he will have to go to the blacksmith's shop to synthesize improvement stones, before that, Zhang Yi wanted to appraise the various pieces of equipment he had obtained in the afternoon, so as not to have to run back and forth, at this stage. The market value of 1 star level 12 to 15 equipment was not low, and after appraising and selling them, Zhang Yi could make a lot of extra money from them, Thus, the previous 8 pieces of equipment spent a total of 30 silver coins to complete the appraisal, while the last remaining level 14 mage pants, the boss's appraisal of the price actually reached 50 silver coins, instead of being shocked, Zhang Yi was somewhat pleased. Because in the apocalypse world, players in the equipment appraisal, there is a small probability of triggering the senior appraisal, the same value of equipment senior appraisal cost for the ordinary appraisal of 10 to 50 times senior appraisal is equivalent to a gamble, a certain probability of being able to improve the quality of equipment. There is a certain probability that the equipment quality will be reduced instead, Zhang Yi thought, one star equipment is even worse, it is impossible to fall to zero stars, so, Without hesitation, he spent 50 silver coins for the advanced evaluation, the boss of the evaluation office reached out and waved his hand over the black pants, and a golden light flashed, evaluation successful, congratulations on the quality of your 1 star equipment, mage pants upgraded to 2 star, character explosion, ah, uh, actually reborn again. This life triggered the advanced evaluation for the first time, and succeeded in raising the star. Because Zhang Yi also knew more about it, in the evaluation of equipment, only 1% chance of triggering advanced evaluation, and advanced evaluation, and only 10% chance of increasing the equipment attributes and equipment quality, the other 40% chance of staying the same, even 50% chance of decreasing the equipment quality, it was really the emperor possessed this time. Getting two pieces of two star equipment in one go, this surprise came too suddenly, looking at his backpack, through the quest. Rewards, the proceeds from brushing monsters, and the 100 strengthening stones obtained from the Storm Angel, the number of tier 1 strengthening stones in Zhang Yi's body at this moment had reached 390. With a synthesis rate of 2,1 inch he was able to obtain nearly 200 level 2 strengthening stones, which was enough to strengthen all of his 2 star equipment to the highest plus 25, of course, it was more than enough to strengthen the eternal chain and the mage trousers he had just obtained. At this moment, even if Zhang Yi wanted to strengthen his entire body, he didn't have the capital to do so. Because counting these two pieces of equipment, there were only three pieces of two-star quality equipment on. 
Zhang Yi's body in seven parts, unexpectedly, Zhang Yi, who lacked the strengthening stone in his previous life actually had more than enough of these things in this life, so Zhang Yi came to the blacksmith's shop, this is also an annoying thing, players who want to synthesize the strengthening stone must also come to the forge, in the blacksmith's shop, Il, who had broken his right arm, was still there, using his left hand to do his best to make equipment, the crisp sound was clearly audible. While his daughter, Ling Ling, surrounded him, the father-daughter duo had a happy smile on their faces. And it could be seen that the equipment Il was building was none other than a metal staff that was promised to be customized for Zhang Yi, from the looks of it, it was no ordinary item, even though Zhang Yi had saved Il's life earlier through a hidden quest, it did not prevent him from charging Zhang Yi for the expenses he needed to synthesize the strength stones here, however. Since Zhang Yi's affinity level with the owner of the blacksmith shop had already reached level 1, he would receive a 5% discount on all purchases from the blacksmith shop, the one-star equipment had already entered the phase of elimination, and would soon usher in the two-star era for everyone, for Zhang Yi, he could enter the two-star era earlier compared to the civilian players, so the next step was that he no longer needed the level 1 enhancement stones. Therefore, Zhang Yi simply synthesized all 390 level 1 strengthening stones to get 195 level 2 strengthening stones, with a synthesis unit price of 5 copper coins, the original cost of 975 copper coins. After the 95% discount, Zhang Yi paid 926 copper coins to Il, having obtained enough level 2 strengthening stones. Zhang Yi couldn't wait to strengthen the yet to be equipped chain of eternity in wizard's trousers in his bag, infinite triggered divine strengthening, reinforcement successful. Congratulations, your equipment chain of eternity reinforcement level has reached plus 8, reinforcement successful, congratulations, your equipment chain of eternity reinforcement level has reached plus 15, reinforcement successful, congratulations, your equipment chain of eternity reinforcement level has reached plus 25, open exclusive talent skill reinforcement. Reinforcement successful, congratulations your equipment wizard's trousers reinforcement level reached plus 25, opens exclusive talent damage reduction. With the plus 25 chain of eternity, the base energy attribute had increased from 60 points to 210 points, and the additional intelligence had increased from 6 points to 21 points. Not counting Zhang Yi's 14 star intelligence increase, 21 points of intelligence also brought an additional 29 points of attack power and 35 points of energy bonus, this was secondary, the most important thing was the exclusive skill enhancement, invincible, skill enhancement talent opened at level 25, it could increase the equipped person's skill damage by 20% and cut the group's skill damage bonus in half, this talent, just to make up for the shortcomings of the low skill damage of the Imperial Beast Master profession, is equivalent to the fact that after having this talent, Zhang Yi's fireball damage factor reached 130%, which is 5% higher than the mages. Fireball damage factor. As for the mage's trousers, after the top level is strengthened, the attributes are also heavenly, mage's trousers, plus 25, quality, 2 star grade, 14 physical defense, plus 70, 50 magic defense, plus 56, 40 additional attribute, stamina plus 21, 15 talent, wound reduction each time the equipment is damaged. The equipment reduces the damage by 25 points, legal profession general 70 points of defense, the attributes of this pair of pants alone it was even higher than Zhang Yi's current total of 67 points of defense, plus 25 points of damage reduction, simply invincible, equipped with these pants, who can beat Zhang Yi, unfortunately, since Zhang Yi was only at level 13, he couldn't use these level 14 pants so he temporarily put them in his backpack and equipped the chain of eternity on his body, and the maximum energy value skyrocketed to 482, almost catching up with Zhang Yi's 504 blood. With the issue of equipment resolved, Zhang Yi shifted his gaze to Il, who was forging equipment at full power, and initiated a dialogue, how long will it take to make my staff? As soon as the words were out of his mouth, Il suddenly put down his hammer, picked up the silver staff on the forging table, and said to Zhang Yi, it's done, Zhang Yi froze for a moment, is it so hasty? While Il looked at the staff in his hand, which always felt like something was missing, and said with some regret, it's good, but unfortunately it's not perfect enough, if you want it now, I can give it to you right away, Illinois said, but if you find an energy crystal for me, I can make it more perfect, this means that there is a follow-up improvement. Zhang Yi burst out laughing, no problem, I can find an energy crystal for you, and please continue to forge this weapon more perfectly for me, energy crystals are a very rare forging tool in the apocalypse world, and when used in equipment forging, they can make the forged equipment of higher quality, 
however energy crystals are very rare and it is very difficult for the average player to get them, since IL said that. It meant that this staff still had upgrade ability and he knew where to get. Energy crystals, then Zhang Yi couldn't be in a hurry and would rather spend some effort and energy for IL to make it more perfect. So IL nodded and said to Zhang Yi, Okay, then go to the undead capital and help me find a piece of first order energy crystal, I only know that there are a large number of energy crystals buried in that place, but I don't know exactly where they are, undead capital. Zhang Yi opened the map and searched for the undead capital based on the name, and found that it was a level 15 to 30 map, the map introduction said that the undead capital was divided into three tiers, with each tier corresponding to a different level of monsters, and the lowest tier, the first tier, had monsters as high as level 15 to 20, it didn't look like it would be easy to find an energy crystal, however, Zhang Yi had heard of the undead capital as a place in his previous life. To the best of his recollection, although this map was dangerous and the undead monsters in it had a high level of combat power that was tougher than normal monsters, he had heard that it also contained countless treasures and was called the treasure city of the novice zone by the players of his previous life, in addition to the high star treasure chests. The monsters in the undead capital could also drop extremely rare equipment sets, countless players had lost their lives there, and some had made a fortune, Zhang Yi said to Il, okay, wait for me when I return the energy crystals, at that moment, Il suddenly said warrior, since you are planning to go to the undead capital, I have something to ask you, Zhang Yi was stunned for a moment, this was the rhythm of triggering a hidden quest. Since Ayer had spoken to this extent, it was obvious that there was a quest that could be entrusted to the player, but there was no question mark hanging over his head, so Zhang Yi asked, what is it? The undead in the undead capital have a lot of materials that can be used to forge equipment, can you go to the undead capital and hunt those undead to help me get some materials back? Just as Il's words had fallen, Zhang Yi's ears actually heard a system prompt that made his heart beat faster, congratulations, you have triggered the guardian advancement hidden quest acquire rare materials, do you accept the quest? This task requires a lot of time and energy to complete, if you are not a very patient person, please do not accept this task, once the task fails, you will be severely punished, it really is a hidden task. And it was also the guardian progression hidden task that Zhang Yi had completed earlier, this was definitely an unexpected gain that was not within Zhang Yi's expectations, because in his previous life, this advanced hidden quest had not been unearthed by players, even those who had completed the guardian hidden quest, because of this quest, the level of concealment was too high. If Zhang Yi had simply decided not to obtain the energy crystals and brought the staff from IL directly, he would definitely have missed this hidden quest, advanced hidden quests were worth more than hidden quests, after the excitement, Zhang Yi where to hesitate, immediately received the task, such a once in a lifetime opportunity, fools will not give up, the next moment, the system sound fell, congratulations on receiving the advancement hidden mission to obtain rare materials, you can see the details in the mission interface. Quickly open the quest interface to obtain rare materials, advanced hidden quest, quest difficulty factor, for 40 description, it is said that the undead in the undead capital have a large amount of rare materials that can be used for equipment forging. Please follow the directions on the map to the undead capital and hunt the undead that inhabit it to obtain the three rare materials of energy crystals, divine bones, and undead knowledge from them, quest progress, first order energy crystals 0 slash 10. All monsters in the undead capital have a certain chance of dropping them, divine bones 0 slash 1000, monsters of the skeletal system in the undead capital have a certain chance of dropping them, undead knowledge 0 slash 1000, monsters of the undead system in the undead capital have a certain chance of dropping them quest reward, unknown remaining time, 7 days. Failure to collect enough materials to deliver to forge master IL within the allotted time will result in mission failure, this is a big challenge for Zhang Yi, who only completed a mission with a difficulty factor of 120 last time, this is a big challenge for Zhang Yi, who only completed a mission with a difficulty factor of 120 last time. With so many energy crystals and some investment in other more easily obtainable materials, one could make a 4-star equipment at the blacksmith's shop at. This stage, the rewards were sure to exceed the value of 10 first-order energy crystals by far, the good thing was that the time for the quest was very sufficient, with one week and seven days to collect these materials, it should still be no problem. Of course, this is actually just Zhang Yi's personal thoughts, advanced hidden tasks may not be as easy to complete as he imagined, after receiving the task, Zhang Yi said goodbye to the IR, after receiving the mission, Zhang Yi said goodbye to IL, looking at the time, it was only 6 o'clock in the evening, and Zhang Yi was in no hurry to go out and complete the mission right away. 
as there were still some things in his bag that needed to be taken care of, at that time, many players were busy. Doing quests and killing monsters in the field all day long, and they would return to the safe zone one after another, so at that moment, Hope Town was bustling with people coming and going, many players set up stalls on the street and auctioned off their unwanted equipment or skill books from outside monsters. Zhang Yi also casually picked a crowded spot, set up a stall, took out the one-star equipment in his bag, along with three white skill books, and then lit the ID on his head, relying on Qingqing's reputation, he sold all these things in a matter of moments, with a cumulative profit of two gold coins, of course, in order to be able to sell so much money, he mainly relied on these three skill books. Even though they were of white quality, in the early stages of the game, when all players only had one transfer bonus skill to start with, they were all very valuable things, after dealing with their own things, Zhang Yi also strolled through other people's stalls, thought to casually stroll, can see good things at the right price to buy, even if, did not expect to really let Zhang Yi saw a good thing, Intermediate Fireball Art, Magician, Beast Master Green Skill Book. Intermediate Fireball, the skill effect is no different from the Wizard's and Beast Master's Fireball, both are pure output skills, except that the damage coefficient has been increased by 15% compared to the primary Fireball, Fireball is the core of the Mage's profession, a single output skill, the growth to the late single point of the lethal ability is especially powerful, and its most important feature is that the cooldown time is only 5 seconds, nearly equivalent to every 2 or 3. Attacks, one can unleash a Fireball art, so Zhang Yi crouched down in front of a fat mage who only had this book on the stall and asked, how can I sell this book? 10 gold coins, thanks for the counteroffer. As the other party's words were falling, Zhang Yi raised his head and shifted his gaze from above the skill book to the stall owner, while the fat stall owner whose ID was called Fatty Mansion also happened to meet Zhang Yi's gaze, and the two stared at each other for a second and pointed at each other with a dumbfounded expression on their face, it's you. It can't be a coincidence that I actually met the fat guy who brought Zhang Yi the god grade talent card, Zhang Yi was a bit surprised. The fat man immediately said excitedly, I fuck, you put my god level, fat people words have not finished, Zhang Yi reached out and blocked his mouth. Letting people know that they have a 1 in a billion god level talent in them is not a good thing for Zhang Yi, fatty was so angry that he was about to cry, you're giving me back my god level talent, it's already happened, let's not talk about these useless things, Zhang Yi pointed at the green intermediate fireball skill book and said to fatty, do you know why there are so few people at your stall? Because you are looting, this book is worth at most 5 gold coins, so I'll buy it for 10 gold coins to compensate you, a few gold coins and you want to compensate me? Fatty is being unreasonable, a god-grade talent is worth a few gold coins. I want 50 gold coins, I let you take one step, and you're still getting ahead of yourself. Zhang Yi frowned slightly, we didn't buy and sell by force, did we? You sold it to me voluntarily, so it's only your greed for money that has anything to do with me. The fat man gritted his teeth, just want to control Zhang Yi to ask for money, I don't care, other people 10 gold coins, if you want to buy my book, you have to spend 50 gold coins, the fat guy, get out, Zhang Yi couldn't stand it, forget it, keep it and take it to your coffin, from the fact that fatty himself was a level 14 magician, but he didn't want to use this skill book and put it up for sale, it could be seen that he was a person who valued money as much as his life, however, as Zhang. He said, the value of this intermediate fireball skill book was only worth 5 gold coins, spending 10 gold coins was for the sake of this divine talent card, so there was no need for Zhang Yi to feel sorry for him, and he got up and left immediately, the fat mansion stared at the back of Zhang Yi's departure, hiding his head ID, leaving only a level 13 beastmaster logo, and gritted its teeth in anger, if it weren't for you, the divine talent would be mine, so what's wrong with compensating me for? My loss. Bastard, I will definitely not let you have a good time, after saying that, the fat mansion also did not set up a stall, put the stall away, quietly follow the front of the Zhang Yi, while opening the friends list, from there to find a friend, send a private message, boss, I'm being bullied, you quickly come to help me take revenge, I'll wait for you in the hope of the city outside the south gate, come quickly, before leaving the safe zone. Zhang Yi went to the pharmacy and spent 5 gold coins. To buy a big bag of red and blue potions, of which the blue potions were 70% and the red potions were only 30%, on this trip, Zhang Yi had already prepared himself for an all-night brush in the undead capital, so he needed to be well prepared in terms of potions so as not to waste time running back and forth. 
After stocking up, Zhang Yi followed the directions on the map and rushed to the undead capital in the south of Hope City, briefly analyzing the development trend of Area 886. Zhang Yi opened the regional rank list and looked at it and seemed to have made an important discovery. 1. Storm Angel, male, level 15 Archer 2, Storm Dragon King, male, level 14 Warrior 3, and Mushy, female, level 14 Wizard 4, King Supreme, male, level 14 Assassin 5, Tomato, male, level 14 Knight 6, Storm Fantasy, female. Level 14 Wizard Now the rank list of District 886 inch actually almost all of them were dominated by the Storm family, had greatly changed the course of history in the past life ah. At this time in the previous generation, there were almost 5 out of 10 people on the rank list who were all from the King's World, but now, the only person from the King's World in the top 10 was the King Supreme, who was ranked 4th, as far as Zhang Yi was concerned, this was a good thing, being suppressed by the Storm Clan players, the King's World couldn't stand up and be as arrogant as he had been in his previous life. And after getting the Silver Moon Bow, Storm Angel is simply like playing Chicken Blood, level all the way up, actually rose to level 15 to go, is also a long time to dominate the 886 area of the first place in the sky list, no one can surpass him, Storm Angel, a bit uncomplicated. In comparison, Zhang Yi felt a little ashamed that as a reincarnated human with divine talent and a dragon bloodline, he had actually messed himself up so badly that he couldn't even break into the top 100 of the regional rankings, of course, if it wasn't for the fact that the dragon blood swordsman had lost one level in one second, Zhang Yi would have at least made it into the top 10. Let alone the top of the heavenly ranking, like Storm Angel and King of Glory, they have a bunch of people under their hands to help them level up, so Zhang Yi can't compare to them in terms of leveling speed, even if he takes shortcuts, well, it seems that he has to work harder, even though his level doesn't mean anything, he can't be too far behind others, after closing the rankings, Zhang Yi continued to rush towards the undead capital on his own. Not long after leaving the safe zone, he vaguely felt a chill coming from behind him, and Zhang Yi turned around to find that Fatty Mansion had actually followed him out at some point, at his side, there were two other people, a warrior and an assassin, with the same level as Fatty at level 14, obviously with Fatty is a gang, and the three of them are not the same way, but is targeting Zhang Yi, when he saw a few people following him. Zhang Yi stopped and asked, why are you following me? What do you think? Fatty now drank to the person who took away his god level talent, just incomparable resentment, to Zhang Yi, all the money and equipment on your body all to me, between the two of us even too clear. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if I can do that, Zhang Yi was somewhat amused, do I owe you anything? Won't you give it to me? Then I will have to rob it myself, said, the fat man's eyes a cold, take out the magic wand to the side of the two people ordered, kill him, burst out of the things shared equally. As soon as the words fell, the two warriors and assassins beside the fat man copied their swords and blades, and without saying a word, directly attacked and killed Zhang Yi, since I can't get the divine talent back, I'll destroy it the level 14 warrior and the level 14 assassin, the identical looking twin brothers, the doppelganger and the doppelganger duo, quickly closed in on Zhang Yi. The level 14 magician Fatty Mansion, who was casting spells in the rear formation, looked at Zhang Yi. With a dead man's gaze, as if Zhang Yi, who was nothing more than a level 13 imperial beast master, was already a corpse in his eyes, not only did the three of them look at Zhang Yi like that, but because it was on the main road, there were a lot of players passing by in the surrounding area who saw this 1v1 battle, and they all looked at Zhang Yi with the same dead man's gaze. Since Zhang Yi had hidden his ID, the surrounding players almost didn't recognize him, Fatty Mansion waved his staff and shot a fireball spell at Zhang Yi, who was more than 30 meters away and within his attack range, the fireball flew over the heads of Doppelganger and Doppelganger, arriving first and landing on Zhang Yi's chest, inflicting more than 80 points of damage on his head, the damage is good, it seems to be a pure explosive mage with full intelligence, Zhang Yi now 60 points of. Magic defense has not been able to resist the damage of more than 10 level mage players, but the equivalent of ordinary players, such a defense has been very high, the fat mansion obviously some surprise, did not expect their own a fireball art down, only hit such a point of damage, he expected the damage, at least more than triple digits. After being attacked by Fat Mansion, Zhang Yi still stood there, waiting for the lookalike and the lookalike to get close, respectively, with the charge chop and stab to launch an attack against Zhang Yi, you were attacked by the lookalike player, losing 41 life points, your opponent's name has been grayed out, you have been attacked by doppelganger and have lost 59 life points, your opponent is grayed out. Looking at Zhang Yi's blood gauge above his head, the round of attacks from the 
three opponents had only drained a third of his blood, standing right in front of Zhang Yi, Dapo Lingyun and Dapo World glanced at each other and looked at each other in dismay, this guy's defense was so high, in Dapo Lingyun's opinion, they were both percentage sure that they could directly kill this 13 mile royal beast master with one round of fire attacks, and such a result was beyond imagination. In fact, even though Zhang Yi was not satisfied with his current 67 points of physical defense, he had to admit that his defense was comparable to that of a knight of the same level, it was important to know that Zhang Yi's profession was the most brittle of the seven professions of the apocalypse, with a basic endurance growth of only seven stars of Imperial Beastmaster, which was the most shocking part. If he had equipped the mage's trousers, I'm afraid that the three attacks he had just received would only have been able to deal one point of mandatory damage to Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi, who deliberately stood still and waited to be hit, saw all three of his opponent's IDs turn grey before he slowly drew out his flame staff, and at the same time, the originally calm eyes suddenly blossomed with a streak of murderous intent, causing the doppelganger and doppelganger duo to feel a wave of inexplicable awe, locking the assassin Dopian, Zhang Yi stepped back a step to open the distance at the same time, swinging the flame staff, a general attack mana ball bombarded. Dopian's chest, by virtue of 17 points of agility attribute, turn his hand and another general attack on his second consecutive attacks, minus 218, level assassin. The warrior beside him, Dapo Lingyun, saw his brother being killed in a matter of seconds and was stunned for a while, Zhang Yi was nonchalant and took advantage of Dapo Lingyun's dazed state, turning his hand to hit Dapo Lingyun with a fireball spell, instantly hitting the top of his head and almost scaring the fat magician Fatty Mansion behind him with a minus 734 blast at around level 14. Except for knights, there were no other professions that could have more than 600 points of health for a player, so there was no suspense, not even a chance to trigger the flame staff talent, solo step was directly killed by Zhang Yi in one hit, even though it was a general attack, Dapo Lingyun and the others were completely unable to withstand the damage caused by Zhang Yi's 249 points of attack power, combined with the 20% deepening of the skill damage caused by the fireball spell and the skill enhancement. As well as the bonus of the lucky strike, this fireball spell with a damage coefficient of 180% that Zhang Yi had just cast had inflicted damage that had set a new record for the highest damage in history. Two successive white lights flashed as Doppelganger and Doppelganger Lingyun were both killed by Zhang Yi in a matter of seconds without any resistance, and a ground full of potions and silver coins as well as two pieces of equipment burst out after flying away as a white light, the fat mansion at the back of the line was so scared that it hurriedly took a few steps back, its face full of disbelief, how could a beast master have such a high damage? How was that possible? Joking aside, Zhang Yi was a super beast master who had all the intelligence points and had an intelligence growth of up to 14 stars, which was even more powerful than a mage, although his level was only 13, with the addition of a reinforced level 25 suit, Zhang Yi's strength had already reached the level of a level 20 player, having killed two people in a row. Zhang Yi looked at the only remaining fatty mansion and said do you know who I am? Fatty swallowed and unconsciously looked at the top of Zhang Yi's head, but saw the other side to hide the ID, at this time, Zhang Yi opened the settings and showed the ID above his head, level 13 first turn beast master, Qin Cheng, not only the Fatty Mansion, but also the passers-by watching from the surrounding area were stunned to see this name, which had appeared countless times on the regional chat channels and regional system announcements since last night, I'm going to go, this deep. Rooted Kid is actually the guy from Qingcheng who triggered the system announcement twice in a row, killed the King's World Captain twice in seconds, King's Glory, and was shouted at by the entire King's Glory region. By deliberately revealing his identity in front of Fatty, Zhang Yi's purpose was to ask Fatty to take this information that he possessed a god-level talent back to the safe zone to spread it, and when the people of King's World knew about it, they would surely try to find Zhang Yi's trouble, because Zhang Yi knew that if he couldn't get King's Glory, he would destroy it because Zhang Yi is really lazy to find the people of the king's world. He just waits for them to come to find him, then. Come one inch kill one, come a group, kill a group, the Zhang Yi of this world would definitely not be afraid of the king's world, and the fat man would never dream that the person in front of him was actually the big red man in the 886 safe zone that almost everyone knows, who triggered system announcements twice in a row, and is said to have an artifact hammer in his hand at the beginning of the game, hammering a little friend so that the captain of the 1000 player king's world king's glory team is both hated and feared by this guy, Qing Cheng. If he had known that this guy was Qing Cheng, he wouldn't have dared to come to Zhang Yi's trouble if he had received 10 guts from Fatty Mansion, 
you must know, this guy is one person alone to challenge the king of the world more than 30 people, and then killed them all, by the 886 area players privately called the existence of the bug ah. Even the more than 30 professional players of the king's world were not Zhang Yi's opponents, so with only the three of them, they were thinking of killing Zhang Yi. Fertile Mansion is a little afraid, backward backward, the rear suddenly rushed to a group of players, when he saw the group of players at the head of a silver armor, level as high as 15 young archer man, fatty mansion as if to see the hope and immediately become confident again, boss, you finally came, with that, fatty shifted his gaze to Zhang Yi and said arrogantly, Ching Ching, you're dead. Looking around, Zhang Yi was furious, it turns out that the boss in the mouth of the fatty mansion is actually the storm angel, that's right, behind the fatty mansion is rushing over to the group of about a dozen levels generally reach level 14, the whole body is fully equipped, looks like the strength of the players, it is the storm family people, and that the leader, level 15 silver armor archer, is the storm angel. The silver longbow he was holding was still the silver moon bow that Zhang Yi had sold to him. The arrival of the Storm Clan brought a sigh of relief from the surrounding passersby, good lord, the backer behind that fat guy was actually the Storm family, the Storm family's momentum is not small uh, only with today's one day time to overtake the king of the world, and that Storm Angel, or our 886 area of the first heaven list of experts. Even the captain of the Storm family has personally come over, now that Qing Cheng is even more powerful, he is also dead, it felt like Storm Angel could kill Qing Qing single-handedly, not to mention that he had brought so many elite players from the Storm Clan with him, the people who were talking obviously didn't know what had happened in the Goblin Forest earlier, on his way to the Fatty Mansion, Storm Angel, who had not yet noticed Zhang Yi across the street, asked Fatty Mansion, what's going on? Pointing at Zhang Yi, he said to Storm Angel, boss, this is the guy who bullied me and killed Ling Yun and the world. If you had been one step behind, even I would have lost my life at his hands, oh, what kind of person is so arrogant? At the sound of his words, Storm Angel followed the direction of Fatty Mansion's finger and looked at Zhang Yi, immediately, Storm Angel froze for a long time before he opened his mouth and said coldly, even my brother dared to move in search of death, with Storm Angel, the first person at the 886th level of the going to heaven ranking, and the huge Storm family behind him, Fatty House's legs shook with triumph. Ching Ching, do you hear me, I'm Storm Angel's brother, if you dare to bully the first person in the heavenly rankings good brother, you're a dead man. I never thought, the words just fell out, suddenly a sharp arrow shot out from the side of Storm Angel's hand, piercing the fat house's head, you were attacked by the player Storm Angel, loss of 378 points of life force, you have died, the fat mansion with a smug face incredulously looked at the Storm Angel beside him who was drawing the bow, and said in shock boss, put down the longbow in your hand. The storm angel with an expressionless face said to the fat mansion, sorry, the brother I'm talking about is not you, it's him, storm angel held out his hand and pointed at Zhang Yi, the next moment, fatty mansion, who had been killed by storm angel in a single blow, fell to the ground with a face full of disbelief and flew away as a white light, this scene stunned the surrounding onlookers. Countless passers-by in the neighborhood cast envious glances at Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi also casually replied, thank you, brother, but on the other hand, was Storm Angel's damage really that high now? To be honest, the damage he had just dealt to Fatty had shocked Zhang Yi, 378, which was non-bludgeoning damage, was even higher than the damage Zhang Yi had dealt to Doppelganger with Fireball combined with Lucky Strike, excluding the bludgeoning part of the damage, in this case, if the skill bonus was removed and the damage was calculated, Storm Angel's attack power must have exceeded 300 plus, which was even higher than Zhang Yi's, just because Zhang Yi had given Storm Angel a two-star bow, did it directly allow him to take off in the early stages? It was conceivable that in addition to the weapon, the ring in the Storm Angel's hand must also be an enhanced advanced extreme, and he was far ahead of Zhang Yi in terms of equipment, just as Zhang Yi was thinking, the Storm Angel had already arrived before Zhang Yi without knowing when, thank you for being willing to sell me the Silver Moon bow earlier, thanks to this bow, I was able to develop so quickly in the early stages. Zhang Yi nodded, thank you for helping me solve a problem just now. However, Storm Angel was a bit embarrassed. I thought you were going to say that I robbed you of your head, with your power, killing him is just a matter of a wave of your hand, right? The storm angel suddenly handed something to Zhang Yi in front of him, I apologize for taking your head, but the things he put out should be yours as well, when Zhang Yi looked at what the storm angel handed over, he was surprised to see it was a green skill book, intermediate fireball, good guy, 
before Zhang Yi wanted to spend 10 gold coins on the fatty mansion, he did not buy the intermediate fireball skill, but with the death of the fatty mansion just now, it actually popped out, obviously. But Zhang Yi suppressed his inner feelings and calmly said to Storm Angel, this is, what does it mean? It's for you, Storm Angel said, aren't you a beast royalist? It just so happens that you can use this skill, what price? Zhang Yi asked deliberately, Storm Angel laughed, I don't want your money, I said, except for me, the person who killed him is you, this thing should be exploded by you, so it belongs to you, Zhang Yi was not polite and grabbed the skill book in Storm Angel's hand, thank you, I will consider selling it to you the first time if I have a good equipment or skill book behind me, Storm Angel said happily, fine, as long as I need it, the price is no problem, after a short while, Storm Angel then, said to Zhang Yi, brother, add a friend, good contact in the future. The best friend words, there is no need for it, I like this person like to be alone, do not like to make friends, Zhang Yi said, the safe zone is as large, in the future, the low heads see the heads, there are many opportunities for meeting, then Storm Angel is a little sorry, Zhang Yi waved his hand, I still have something to do, take a step first, thank you for the skill book ah, see you later, after saying that, Zhang Yi turned around and left, it is because the last life was a good brother. With eight years of friendship Mu Chen and Lin Roa betrayed, making this life of Zhang Yi, do not dare to easily believe in anyone, but also do not dare to easily make friends. With Zhang Yi just left, this side, Stormy Angel side, a look smaller than the Stormy Angel two or three years old, dressed in green magic robes, regardless of body appearance our very charming 14 level magician woman Stormy Imagination, said to the Stormy Angel, husband, this person is not very interesting ah, uh, why do you want to give him a skill book for nothing? However, Storm Angel shook his head as if he could see through everything, don't you see? This person is not ordinary, he should be a hidden big brother, maybe behind a super team like our Storm family as a backup, otherwise, with him alone, it is impossible to develop so smoothly in the early stage. That's why we have to have a good relationship with him, and we definitely can't let the people of King's World find a way to turn enemies into friends with Qing Qing. besides, a green skill book is just a green skill book do you know how much that bow he sold me affected me? Storm Angel looked at the Silver Moon bow in his hand and was still a bit excited at the moment, I believe that the backer behind him will secretly fight for him to get better equipment, and if there are good equipment that he can't use, he can sell them to me, which is also an important channel for me to improve my strength, Storm Fantasy nodded, still, husband, you are thoughtful. At the same time, at the Resurrection Spring in Hope Town, the Fat Wizard Fatty Mansion, who had used up one resurrection chance to come back to life, opened his friends list with a confused face, found Storm Angel, and angrily sent a message over, what do you mean? Storm Angel sent a message back in a second, whoever moves my brother will be killed, Storm Angel sent a second message, if you dare to target Qing Qing in the future, I will make you regret it, seeing this message, the fat mansion angry nostrils smoke, just edited a message with insults, ready to send to the storm angel, but received a system prompt, the other party has pulled you black, the message cannot be sent, fuck. Fat mansion cursed, son of a bitch, you all do not die. On this side, as he continued to rush towards the undead capital, Zhang Yi looked at the intermediate fireball in his hand and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief, 10 gold coins that you don't want to sell, you have to give it to me for free, why bother? After saying that, Zhang Yi did not hesitate to cover the fireball art in the skill list with the intermediate fireball art to complete the learning, since there weren't enough skill slots and since players couldn't have two of the same skill at the same time in the apocalypse world, they could only resort to overriding or extracting the low-level skill and filling in the high-level skill, however. The cost of extracting a skill was quite high unless it was a very rare skill, such as a white. Skill like elemental fireball technique, there was no need to spend a few gold coins to extract it. Zhang Yi, who was currently at level 13, had four skill slots, just enough to hold two green quality skills, intermediate fireball technique and lightning chain, the intermediate fireball technique that worked on the imperial beast master had a damage factor of 125%, and combined with the skill enhancement bonus of the chain of eternity talent, it was equivalent to one of Zhang Yi's fireball techniques that had reached 145% damage, combined with lucky strike, 195% damage, it was simply terrifying. And the consumption of the intermediate fireball spell was definitely a bit higher than the primary one inch the energy value for a single use had increased from 7 to 9 points, and the cooldown time was still the same at 5 seconds, it took him more than 20 minutes to reach the undead capital, from a distance, it was a city surrounded on all sides by a fence tens of meters high, a desolate view, 
countless crows hovering over the city beyond the height of the fence and those towering skyscrapers. In the city, the damage level visually estimated to be at least 70%, according to the detailed introduction on the map, the capital of the undead was one of the first human capitals to be attacked when the alien races began invading Earth through wormholes more than a decade ago, and was originally called Cloud City. In that week-long battle, Cloud City's millions of humans were slaughtered by the alien race's advance force, and the Great Cloud City was reduced to a dead city, after the breakthrough of Cloud City, the aliens considered Cloud City as one of their bases after the invasion of Earth, and the leader of the alien advance force, Rocky, unleashed the power of alienation. Alienating the millions of corpses in the city into skeletons and undead to guard the base, the undead capital, on their behalf. Since the lowest level monster in the undead capital was only level 15 inch and the average level of players at that time was probably around level 13, the undead capital could already be classified as one of the suitable places for leveling, therefore, it could be seen that quite a few players were entering the undead capital at the moment, most of them were in groups of 3 or 5, and very few of them were alone, except for Zhang Yi. So Zhang Yi also joined the other players and moved closer to the undead capital, Around them, the casual players who were rushing towards the undead capital were all talking and laughing with some excitement, Player A, I heard that there are countless high star treasure chests buried in the undead capital, and there is still a chance that the said equipment will burst out, then we can make a fortune in the undead capital today, Player D. Don't think too easily, I've heard that the monsters in the undead city are more powerful than the wild monsters of the same level, don't hang inside is good. In fact, some players have even copied it and put it on the door of the undead capital, as if they had some business sense, you only need two gold coins to join the team, three short of two there are two famous team with district list 125 rank 14 magician and district list 99 rank 14 knight with fly, sister also have, hit the thing roll distribution, come two lying, straight open. Looking at the doorway of the undead are pulling people to say that the few players with flying, John E cannot help but shake his head on them, for fear of entering the undead are also difficult to protect themselves, but also want to take people. I'm afraid they do not know how fierce the skeletons and undead monsters are in the undead capital, moreover, at the entrance to the undead capital, there was a mysterious NPC wearing a black robe with a blue card undead merchant, yellow, floating above its head, the undead capital also had a more attractive place, which was that players could pick up the corresponding quests on this map, in addition to brushing treasures. They could also get quest rewards, the best of both worlds, and the NPC. Who could trigger the quest was this undead merchant Elo, according to the rules, each player could only receive a quest from AI Lua once a day, and the difficulty of the quest could be chosen by the player, and it was limited to be completed within the same day, or else they would also be severely punished, at that moment, AI Luo's surroundings had long been crowded with players, all of them vying to be the first to receive the quests. As a result, Zhang Yi also approached AI Luo and initiated a dialogue, Oh Hope City Adventurer, are you ready to enter this undead capital full of crises? I am ready, with Zhang Yi's words, AI Luo nodded, then come and get your quest, of course, you can choose to enter the undead capital directly, but that will greatly reduce your earnings, there was only one quest that could be picked up from AI Luo, undead overdrive, however, this task can be differentiated according to the level of difficulty, level 1 undead overdrive difficulty factor of 100, suitable for the first time to practice the undead capital of the new players, the task is not very. Difficult is the need for players to enter the undead capital according to the provisions of hunting and kill a certain level of a certain range of a certain number of skeletons and the undead. Each time the level of the task is increased by 1 inch the difficulty factor increases by 100, and the corresponding level of skeletons and undead to be killed also increases, the time is already 7 pm, there are still 5 hours to refresh today's quests, so the players who receive quests do not dare to receive too high a level, for fear of not being able to complete it in 5 hours. Most of them choose the 1 to 2 level difficulty of undead overdose, 1 level difficulty of undead overdose is Required to hunt and kill level 15 to 16 skeleton warriors, skeleton shooters, undead mages and undead killers each 60, however, this level 1 difficulty quest was a bit much for Zhang Yi, who was only level 13 but had the strength of a level 20 player. Moreover, Zhang Yi's second survival quest advanced quest was to complete 3 quests with a difficulty factor of more than or up to 200 points, and the level 2 undead overdrive was just up to the mark, so Zhang Yi claimed a level 2, you have completed the quest Undead Overdrive, Level 2 Difficulty, you can view the details in the quest interface, Undead Overdrive, Level 2 Difficulty, Quest Difficulty.
200 Description, after the alien advance force massacred the city, Cloud City was reduced to an undead capital, while the millions of human beings who tragically died in Cloud City had their souls immortalized and turned into skeletons and undead under the alien leader Loki's alienation, stationing the undead capital for the alien race, players are invited to enter the undead capital and transcend the souls of these deceased humans. Mission Progress, Skeleton Warrior 0-90 Inch Skeleton Archer 0-90 Undead Mage 0-90 Undead Slayer 0-90 Note, the target killed cannot be lower than level 17 mission base reward, experience plus 42,000, silver coin plus 60, level 2 enhancement stone plus 15, human race prestige plus 50, random equipment plus 1. A certain chance of obtaining rare undead suit equipment penalty for failure, level minus 1, lose 10% of the money on your body and wait one day before you can receive the undead overwatch quest again, remaining. Time. Complete within today a total of 360 skeletons and undead above level 17 need to be killed, Zhang Yi didn't dare to be slow, holding the flame staff, together with the surrounding crowd, he stepped into the undead capital. When you entered the city, you could see that there were already many players killing the skeleton monsters that could be found all over the city, the fireballs of the mages and the flying arrows of the archers were flying in the sky, and every now and then, they were accompanied by one or two screams of pain, and then the white light would light up, the spitting of the players followed. A level 14 warrior player who had just run back from the front, still covered in blood, was rolling and crawling, holy shit, your mother's skeleton is so powerful, 17 level skeletons are as perverted as the level 20 monsters outside, I'm scared, I won't fight anymore, warrior another teammate, task not to do. Warrior, do some and stay, if more people hang, I rather die on the task penalty, at least do not waste the resurrection chance, but also do not drop equipment. The casual player brushing the level 15 skeleton warrior, luckily, I led a level 1 difficulty, level 15 skeleton fight is bad enough, luckily did not lead the advanced, luckily, luckily, looking around the players to play the skeleton play passion, Zhang Yi also began to look for their own objectives, obviously, the players who claimed the level 1 difficulty of undead overdrive were the most numerous. And when he passed through the area of level 15 to 16 skeleton monsters and came to the area of Level 17 to 18 inch he found that the players who brushed the high-level skeletons here were few and far between, when he looked around, the streets and alleys of the undead capital were filled with skeleton monsters dragging rusty iron swords in their hands or carrying skeleton longbows without a trace of flesh on their bodies. The skeletons in this area were all level 17 to 18 inch and those who fought them were some level 14 players, the level difference was too great, so these players fought quite hard even if they were in a group of 3 or 4, there were always white lights around them, and Zhang Yi even saw a team of 4 players get wiped out by a level 17 elite skeleton warrior who had just been refreshed, when that team was destroyed. The elite skeleton warrior still had two thirds of its blood left, but the other players around him did not dare to continue, after all, they had just seen with their own eyes how that four-player team used their own lives as a proxy to drain only one-third of the elite skeleton warrior's blood. On the other hand, Zhang Yi, who had just arrived at this high-level area, fixed his gaze on this roaring, snarling, extremely arrogant elite skeleton warrior, good man, a direct elite opening, then come on, after saying that, while the other players around him only dared to watch with dry eyes, Zhang Yi carried his flame staff and approached the boastful skeleton general in front of him, at this moment, the surrounding players were talking about it, a level 13 beast master, is he trying to take on that level 17 elite skeleton single-handedly? What a newborn calf that isn't afraid of tigers, haha, <laughs> he's a dead man, he doesn't even have a teammate, and he's also a low-level royal beast master with poor attribute growth, do you think he can resist the skeleton general a few times? Can't you see that the team you just destroyed are all level 14 fully equipped warriors and knights and other frontline professions? Not even a few of them could withstand the skeleton general's two or three attacks, so this guy, at most, one slash, and he would be directly dispatched, no one was optimistic about Zhang Yi, in fact, if Zhang Yi, as a passerby, had seen a level 13 beastmaster with a one-star staff in his hand and not even a hat trying to take on a level 17 elite monster single-handedly, he would have thought that the other party was definitely out of their minds, at that moment, Zhang Yi, who had already stepped into the skeleton general's 50-meter effective attack range, stopped, raised the staff in his hand, and quickly cast a fireball spell to blast the skeleton general who was holding a machete and roaring loudly in front of him. The hot fireball precisely hit the skeleton general's body, and the next moment, the top of his head immediately jumped a blood-red amount of damage, minus 218, 
this more than 200 points of damage undoubtedly left the surrounding countless players watching the show shocked, after all, from the hands of a level 13 beastmaster to hit out this kind of damage, and even in a level above his 4 level of elite monsters, it is truly unbelievable, however, the crowd was still not optimistic about Zhang Yi. Even if the damage was higher, with him alone, he could not possibly be a match for the skeleton general, the only one who didn't think so was Zhang Yi himself, he had even killed all 9 god level dragon emperors of the dragon clan, so a mere level 17 elite monster was really not in Zhang Yi's sights. Another pulse attack unleashed a purple mana ball that blasted the skeleton general's body, dealing 150 points of damage, the initial fireball spell had already triggered the flame staff's burn talent, only to see 38 points of scorch damage appear on the skeleton general's head every second, the attacked skeleton general let out a few growls before picking up his machete and charging towards Zhang Yi. Here it comes, here it comes, everyone prepare to see this guy get slashed in seconds, the staff in his hand seems to have a high damage and burning effect, wait for him to get killed, in a while the staff will come out, we agreed who got it to Hua. Ignoring the surrounding onlookers, Zhang Yi continued to swing his staff before the skeleton general approached him, and after the lightning chain, he threw several attack spells, dealing a series of damage to the skeleton general's head, minus 270 lightning chain single damage plus lucky strike, minus 150, minus 300 lightning, minus 225 lucky strike. Minus 38 Scorch, minus 38 Scorch, a series of ultra-high damage, making the skeleton general's blood bar above his head, when he managed to get within 40 to 50 meters of. Zhang Yi had already been depleted from two-thirds to only one-third, fuck me, this is too perverse, a sound of cold air being sucked in came from the surroundings. Zhang Yi is the timing, in the skeleton leader launched charge chopping moment, give up the opportunity to launch another attack, the body to the right to jump away, and the skeleton leader brushed past, miss, backhand a fireball art welcomed the past, and then actually once again by the position to avoid the skeleton chief's blade slicing attack, this scene, once again shocked the surrounding players, this guy, actually still in operation flow, it wasn't easy for French professions to dodge. Enemy attacks by maneuvering and 17 points of agility was like a godsend for Zhang Yi, each time, Zhang Yi took the opportunity to dodge the skeleton general's attacks and launch counterattacks to continuously consume the skeleton general's blood, however, it was impossible to dodge 100% of the enemy's attacks with his maneuvers. After two misses, the skeleton general's greatsword finally sliced through Zhang Yi's guardian armor on his chest, minus 228, triggered by the attack, the angelic shield, which had a shield value of 50 points, was shattered, and Zhang Yi also took an additional 178 points of damage, and the blood bar on his head, which was full, immediately dropped by a third. That skeleton general's damage was actually that high, no wonder the four-man team in front of him had been decimated, however, Zhang Yi. Relying on his exquisite positioning accumulated over 8 years in his previous life and the high attribute bonus from the 4 improved level 25 divine clothes on his body, at the cost of consuming a bottle of level 3 red potion, circled for more than a dozen rounds, and defeated him by himself. Congratulations, you have killed the level 17 elite monster skeleton general, experience value plus 5000, human prestige plus 12, with an involuntary roar, the skeleton general collapsed to the ground with a bang, and from his corpse, a bunch of coins, strengthening stones, equipment, skill books, and even a golden treasure chest rattled out, it's a big explosion this time. Zhang Yi has not yet begun to pick up the booty, suddenly an uproar in all directions, looked up, only to see Justin Zhang Yi. Picked out the skeleton commander, just on the edge to watch the players, now have to Zhang Yi dashed across, obviously, they were all rushing towards the skeleton general's loot, everyone, hurry up, the skeleton general has exploded so many good things, we can't let that bastard beastmaster take it all by himself, let's grab the stuff, I don't know who shouted, but players from all directions rushed over like crazy. Zhang Yi could not help but laugh, trash. Even a trash can single-handedly kill a level 17 elite skeleton general, while you only have the ability to look at it from the side, doesn't that mean you're not even as good as a trash? He wanted to snatch something from Zhang Yi's hands, but there was nothing there, while crouching down, Zhang Yi opened his settings and turned on the ID display function, and when the ID with the four words Pouring City appeared on his head, the large group of players who were approaching from all directions at a rapid pace stopped, and one by one, they looked at the ID on Zhang Yi's head, their jaws dropping, Zhang Yi since the first to enter the safe zone, triggering the regional. 
announcement since the fire, and then to kill twice in a row the King of the World Team Captain King Glory was seen by many players, and was named by the King Glory in the regional channel shouting, a battle to become famous, pouring the city of this name in the 886 safe zone is already known to everyone. However, the fire is only this ID, people only know Qingqing, but do not know Zhang Yi, so as long as Zhang Yi to hide the ID, 886 area more than 99% of the players and it rubbed shoulders, will not recognize Zhang Yi is Qingqing too, when Qingqing's ID appeared in everyone's eyes. The surrounding players thought of the rumor that this person had once single-handedly killed more than 30 professional players in the king's world with his own strength, so there was no one who dared to go and snatch things from Qingqing again, thus, Zhang Yi did it all by himself, in total, there were 12 silver coins, 8 level 2 improvement stones, 2 pieces of equipment, and an archery skill book, the 2 pieces of equipment were at level 17, although one of them was also a 2 star item, but unfortunately, it was not something that Zhang Yi could equip, as it was a knight's helmet and an assassin's robe, which was also a 1 star item. These things he couldn't use were all thrown into his bag, waiting to be taken back to the safe zone to be auctioned off, Zhang Yi's gaze rested on the only remaining treasure chest, which was Zhang Yi's last hope, it was a two-star treasure chest, fortunately, Zhang Yi had prepared himself for the fear of finding treasure chests in the wild or something, so before coming out, he had already bought several two-star keys and three-star keys from the shop. So Zhang Yi touched a two-star key and opened the treasure chest with a hint of anticipation, it was a silver grey ring, and when he picked it up, Zhang Yi was instantly delighted, a silver bone ring, quality, 2 star attack power, 35 additional attribute, physical strength plus 5 profession restriction, mage, royal beast master, priest level requirement, 14 description, this is a ring made by grinding the bones of the skeleton general, and it is said that whoever wears this ring can receive the true legacy of the skeleton general and Become as powerful as him, a powerful two-star mage ring that increases attack power, this is quite strong. In the world of the apocalypse, only the equipment directly dropped by monsters needed to be appraised in order to be worn, while treasure chests opened or quests completed did not need to be appraised, and the level of the equipment obtained from the former was based on the level of the monster that dropped it, the level of the equipment obtained from the latter is based on the level of the first player to obtain it. And there will be a difference of up to one or two levels, it could be seen that. The basic attributes of this ring before it was strengthened already exceeded the 32 points of attack power bonus from the strengthened level 25 luck ring that Zhang Yi was currently wearing, and when it was strengthened to the highest level, the increase in attack power would be downright frightening, the additional 5 points of physical strength, which could reach 18 points after strengthening, could also drastically increase Zhang Yi's survivability. Indeed, it is a surprising gain for Zhang Yi now that he lacks such a magnificent ring, Unfortunately, like the wizard's trousers, it was a level 14 equipment, and Zhang Yi, who was still at level 13, could not use it yet, after combining the silver bone ring with the mage pants, Zhang Yi opened the status bar, looked at it, and found that after the skeleton general's 5000 experience points, his current experience was 23230-33000, and he was still 10,000 experience points short of level 14, so... With the ring and pants as his targets, Zhang Yi stepped over the corpse of the skeleton general, carried the flame staff, and went to the place where the level 17 to 18 skeleton warriors and skeleton archers were densely concentrated in front of him. Even the level 17 elite skeleton general had been killed by Zhang Yi alone, so dealing with these ordinary skeleton warriors and skeleton archers would certainly not be a problem for Zhang Yi, it was just that these skeleton lineage monsters had a rather tricky talent, the skeleton warrior had an innate physique talent that could give it up to 30% damage reduction, while the skeleton archer had an innate berserker talent that could give it 20% damage deepening and 20% attack speed bonus, it was a pity that Zhang Yi's current level was four levels lower than the Skeleton Warrior, which was beyond the effective probing range of the elemental scrying technique, and except for the talent, Zhang Yi could not see any data, it was just a matter of suffocating the battle, with his flame staff in hand, Zhang Yi quickly zeroed in on his target and unleashed a fireball spell at a nearby level 17 Skeleton Archer. The blood bar above the skeleton archer's head was instantly reduced by one-third, the skeleton archer immediately retaliated by drawing the bow in his hand, and a sharp arrow flew out, since natural berserker gave the skeleton archer a 20% attack speed bonus, Zhang Yi's positioning was very weak in the face of the opponent's super-fast attack speed, and he failed to dodge successfully and was hit by the skeleton archer's arrow in the shoulder, with the addition of natural berserk, the Skeleton Archer's damage was almost as high as that of an elite skeleton general, 
Zhang Yi then threw a chain of lightning, along with a punch that triggered a lucky strike, killing the skeleton archer in three hits. In the process, Zhang Yi was also hit twice losing more than 300 points of blood, and if the skeleton archer hit him again, he would die, no wonder the surrounding players, even if they teamed up, it was hard to beat these level 17 skeletons, one was too fleshy and the other was too ferocious, it was really hard to beat them, a skeleton archer brought Zhang Yi a harvest of 100 experience points. In addition to 9 copper coins, at the end of the battle, Zhang Yi took out a bottle of red pill. From his bag and swallowed it to replenish the blood he had just lost, after that, every time he killed a skeleton archer, Zhang Yi would have to consume an average of one bottle of red pill, and he would also have to use blue pill in between, which was also not something the average player could afford to consume. After all, a bottle of level 3 red pill costs 10 copper coins, and a skeleton monster costing 9 copper coins or less is simply not enough for Zhang Yi, however, Zhang Yi, who had a huge amount of 31 gold coins, did not care, as long as these high-level skeletons could give him more experience and he could also complete the undead overwhelming quest, that would be fine. He chose to start with Skeleton Archer because Skeleton Archer's blood and defense are relatively low compared to Skeleton. Warrior, and it's faster to fight Skeleton Archer, Zhang Yi is now in a hurry to level up to 14, and when he's leveled up to 14 he'll change into the wizard's trousers and the silver bone ring, and he'll be able to fight the skeletons like his father fights his son, until then, Zhang Yi doesn't dare to use lightning chain to deal with multiple targets at once, because the damage of the skeleton archer is too high. And if he is surrounded by three skeleton archer, Zhang Yi will be killed in seconds. Zhang Yi's side is still good, look around, the other players do not have to strengthen the 25th level of God's Dress bonus, there is no Dragon Blood attribute bonus, to deal with these high-ranking skeletons is very tiring, not to mention that the task, but also cannot stand the task of failure of heavy punishment, do not dare to give up this task easily, just want to cry without tears. Compared to the other players around him, Zhang Yi had a much easier time fighting these skeleton monsters. However, for Zhang Yi himself, he felt that the battle was very exhausting, in the process of hunting these skeletons, Zhang Yi was doing two quests at the same time, the undead overwhelming quest was relatively simple, kill one and the progress would be plus one, however, the hidden quest was a bit tricky, Zhang Yi killed five skeleton archers in a row before he finally popped out a piece of god bone. And for this quest, a total of 1000 god bones had to be collected, ignoring that for the time being, the main focus was still on getting to level 14, just as Zhang Yi killed the 31st skeleton archer with a fireball spell, a violent dragon roar came from the floating air, hell dragon flame, the hot dragon flames poured down from above his head, instantly covering all the skeleton warriors and skeleton archers within a radius of 100 meters around Zhang Yi, the skeletons in the sea of fire had. 375 points of high white real damage leaping up over their heads, accompanied by 75 points of burning damage every second. In a matter of moments, countless skeleton archers around Zhang Yi were instantly drained of half of their blood by the initial damage of Hell Dragon Flame, and then as they approached Zhang Yi, they were burned alive by the 5 second scorching damage, killing them one by one. You have killed a level 17 skeleton archer, experience value plus 100. The total blood of the level 17 skeleton archer was 700 out of the total blood, just reaching the threshold to be directly burned by the hell dragon. Flame, as a result, the hell dragon flame that had lasted for 5 seconds came to a halt, and a total of 42 level 17 skeleton archers in all directions were directly killed in a matter of seconds, while there were still more than 50 level 18 skeleton archers or thicker skinned skeleton warriors that were reduced to a trace of blood and continued to approach Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi quickly waved his staff, a general attack to take away a blood, completely do not give those skeletons close to their own opportunity to borrow the player's attack distance than the monster slightly longer advantage, first hand will be those skeleton archers shot outside their effective attack range, and then directly with the general attack to kill those skeleton warriors, with a wave of the hand, is more than a hundred points of experience, in the blink of an eye, Zhang Yi's. Experience bar reached full value, the top of the head of a beam of golden light sprinkled down, congratulations on the rise to level 14, the surrounding players have long been in a burst of dumbfounded, just who did not think, just now that the dragon flame was triggered by Zhang Yi, player A, damn, just who used the magic scroll. Player A, damn it, who just used a magic scroll. This scroll costs at least 100 gold coins, right? Ignoring the comments of the players around him, Zhang Yi, 
who had triggered the Hell Dragon Flame once and instantly leveled up to level 14 in a matter of seconds, couldn't wait to take out the Silver Bone Ring and the Mage's Trousers from his bag to complete his equipment, and then used the 25 level 2 Strengthening Stones to strengthen the Silver Bone Ring that hadn't been strengthened yet. Congratulations on your equipment, the Silver Bone Ring, reaching a level 25 level of strength, and unlocking the exclusive talent of Advanced Serious Injury, Strengthening the level 25 silver bone ring directly increased the attack power from 35 points to 123 points and advanced heavy wound was nostalgic because this talent was exactly the upgraded version of the heavy wound talent that Zhang Yi had previously opened when he strengthened his first weapon, the sledgehammer. With the enhanced heavy wound, the equipper could increase the damage of each attack by an additional 50 points. When he opened the status bar and looked at it under the powerful addition of the Silver Bone Ring, Zhang Yi's attack power instantly skyrocketed from 249 points to 340 points, his defense power also broke through the triple digits to 131 points under the addition of the 2-star level 14 mage trousers. The 18 points of physical strength attached to the Silver Bone Ring even increased Zhang Yi's life value a tribute to 720 points, after the equipment replacement was completed, a skeleton. Warrior who had previously been crippled by Hell Dragon Flame, and who had not yet had a chance to be blown away by Zhang Yi, approached with a large iron sword and slashed at Zhang Yi's body, inflicting a painful minus 71 damage, compared to before, the damage was directly reduced by a big half, Zhang Yi turned his hand and blasted out a fireball spell, minus 438. This level 18 skeleton warrior was directly blasted to death, turning into 120 points of experience that was absorbed by Zhang Yi. The next moment, several arrows flew from all directions and shot at Zhang Yi's body, causing more than 90 points of damage, compared to the previous arrow's damage of more than 180 points, Zhang Yi's damage from the skeleton archer was now directly reduced by half, Zhang Yi nonchalantly attacked a couple of level 18 skeleton archer and took them all down, this is the feeling Zhang Yi wants, what kind of operation, what kind of position, Zhang Yi just wants to say, I just want to accumulate. The attributes, and then stand up and jerk, after equipping two two-star silver bone rings and level 25 reinforced mage pants, Zhang Yi could easily deal more than 300 damage to those skeletons with a single attack, basically killing a level 18 skeleton in two or three tries, which simply stunned the other players around him who were struggling to brush the skeletons. This Qingcheng is getting more and more terrifying, one after another, players came over to try to team up with Qingcheng, whose combat power was off the charts and who was killing skeletons like chickens, a wearing naval exposed leather armor, body hot archer girl, deliberately walked up to Zhang Yi in front of twisting slender waist, expression charming and enchanting to Zhang Yi said, Qingcheng little brother, team up. Zhang Yi revealed the nature of the straight man, get out of the way, you blocked me brush the monster, I also thought that the archer girl is just not pretty enough, the body is not hot enough, Zhang Yi was ignored, next to another body is also super sexy, long legs, small waist, melon faced all kinds of girls very confidently walked to the side of Zhang Yi, smiled at Zhang Yi said, little brother, you see how I am. Zhang Yi really looked at the girl, you look good when you smile, hearing Zhang Yi praising himself, the sexy beauty immediately smiled proudly and said really? As soon as the words came out, I heard Zhang Yi add, like a big fool in spring, roll, the two girls froze, they didn't know why Zhang Yi had suddenly become so fierce, it was because they didn't know what Zhang Yi had gone through, in his previous life, having been betrayed by Lin Ruo, whom he had loved for eight years, Zhang Yi didn't know what trust was, and now he couldn't trust anyone, and all the people who tried to get close to him must be because he was profitable. Especially women, of course, there was another point, because even now, Zhang Yi didn't want to team up with others, because if the players teamed up to brush the monsters, the experience would be shared equally, with Zhang Yi's current strength, solo brushing was completely stress-free, so why should he bring a liability and end up sharing his experience with her? The two girls didn't make fun of each other anymore and walked away after being rebuked by Zhang Yi, and after that, no one around dared to approach Zhang Yi again, Zhang Yi didn't even care about such a beautiful and sexy girl that other men couldn't wait to kneel down and lick her, and even scolded him, so if their big men wanted to find Zhang Yi to form a team, they were afraid that they would be beaten up. So Zhang Yi continued to brush by himself. Before, he only dared to deal with one skeleton at a time, but after his defensive power increased, Zhang Yi had now swelled up and dared to deal with several skeletons at the same time, a lightning chain split from the air, hitting a skeleton warrior dozens of meters away in front of him, and then catapulting the other two level 18 and level 17 skeleton warriors in its vicinity, dash 295. 
comma dash 295, comma dash 316, comma dash 111 scorch, and while the hatred was being attracted, the three skeleton warriors, whose blood had already been reduced by a third, drew their great swords and closed in on Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi, on the other hand, took advantage of the fact that before they approached, he quickly swung his flaming staff and fireball spells along with his attacks continued to greet the three skeleton warriors, creating a path of more than 300 points of super high damage on their heads. Before they had time to get close, the three skeleton warriors, with a total of only about a thousand blood points, fell to the fierce bombardment of Zhang Yi's output turret, turning into a pile of experience and coins and scattering to the ground, not in a hurry to pick up the loot, Zhang Yi continued to attack the other skeletons around him, until the loot piled up on the ground around him couldn't walk anymore, Zhang Yi just stopped and started cleaning up the loot, if he didn't pick up. These things, if he didn't pick them up for more than an hour, they would be recycled by the system, it took Zhang Yi several minutes to pick up all the items that had fallen from the countless skeleton warriors and skeleton archers he had killed in the past hour or so. When he opened the quest interface and looked at it, he saw that the progress of both the skeleton warriors and the skeleton archers had reached 100%, this efficiency, it was just like being hanged, meanwhile, Zhang Yi had hunted and killed more than 200 skeleton monsters and had only exploded more than 40 god bones which was a hundred thousand miles short of the one thousand god bones that needed to be collected for the hidden quest to obtain rare materials, there was no rush for the hidden quest, after all, there was a week's time there, now it was better to hurry and solve this quest of undead overdrive, as this quest had to be completed within today, thus, Zhang Yi passed through the realm of the level 17 to 18 skeletons and moved on to the more advanced and mysterious depths of the undead capital, leaving only a few casual players here with shocked and envious eyes. How did he manage to do so much damage as a beast master? He killed a level 18 skeleton warrior with only 3 or 2 hits, that's too damn scary, a level 14 warrior player exclaimed, I have to kill a level 17 skeleton warrior for half a day, or team up with teammates, this guy kills high level skeletons with the same thing he kills chickens with, after that, another archer sighed, if only I had that much damage, I would also like to try to be an output turret feeling ah. Uh. At this time, a priest sister said with a face full of envy, I want to have such a powerful boyfriend to protect me ah, uh, straight through the field of level 17 to 18, on the way, all the attempts to block Zhang Yi's skeleton warrior and skeleton archer, all under Zhang Yi's high output, turned into experience and money, was in Zhang Yi's pocket. The undead capital was divided into three levels, each of which was clearly divided into the skeleton domain and the undead domain, after passing through the skeleton domain in front of him, Zhang Yi arrived at the other half of the undead capital, the undead domain, it was still the same post-apocalyptic street scene, still the same desolation, but what was different was that there were no more skeletons in this area now, and those wandering aimlessly in the streets were all humanoid monsters, whose bodies appeared in a translucent state, some holding staffs in their hands, and some holding short swords in their hands, they were the undead mages and undead slayers, the targets Zhang Yi needed to hunt next. Level 17 to 18 undead mages and undead slayers were about the same strength as skeleton warrior skeleton archers, so they posed no threat to Zhang Yi, basically they could kill one in two or three seconds without any pressure, thus, Zhang Yi spent another hour or so dissolving 90 undead mages and 90 undead killers, bringing all four levels of undead overdrive to 100%. It was time to go out and submit the quest, and the time was now only 2100 hours, it took Zhang Yi only 2 hours to complete the 200. Difficulty level 2 undead overdrive, his efficiency was beyond expectations, however, Zhang Yi didn't want to hand in the quest and return to the city right now, because there was still one important task he hadn't completed when he came to the undead capital this time, and that was the energy crystals. IL side needed a first order energy crystal to continue to help Zhang Yi build weapons, and Zhang Yi had been in the undead capital for two hours, and the god's bones and the undead knowledge had each exploded more than 40 times, but he hadn't received a single crystal, he thought that energy crystals were difficult to obtain, but Zhang Yi hadn't expected it to be this difficult, with three hours to go, he would have to brush again, but he would have to brush to a first order energy crystal. Tonight, or else he would be late, and I fear that tomorrow, before the disaster that hit the safety zone, Zhang Yi wouldn't be able to get the excellent weapons built by IL, Zhang Yi still expected to use the weapon created by IL to fight this disaster, knowing that relying on the plus 25 silver bone ring alone would not be enough. So Zhang Yi continued to brush the undead, and then, from 9 o'clock at night until 11.30 at night, he actually didn't produce a single energy crystal, However, during that time, Zhang Yi did harvest two pieces of equipment from the rare undead set, 
but it was a pity that the ones that popped up from the ordinary monsters were of one star quality, and they were not something that Zhang Yi could use. One is the undead battle armor of the warrior set, and the other is the undead necklace. Of the assassin set, the undead sets of the seven professions had different set bonus effects such as the warrior set, which increased the blood drawing ability, and the assassin set, which increased movement speed. Mage and Beast Master Undead set, can get casting speed bonus, 2 sets of plus 5% casting speed, 3 sets of 10%, put together the Undead set Mage 7 sets, you can get up to 50% casting speed of the huge increase, if you have the chance to brush a set of Mage High Star Undead set, it is also very good, as for the energy crystals, Zhang Yi gave up because if he didn't go out and submit the quest, the Undead Overdrive quest would expire and fail, so Zhang Yi went outside the Undead capital and Submitted his quest to the undead merchant Elo, who was standing outside the city gates, young adventurer, I didn't expect you to complete the quest so quickly, what an amazing strength, please accept your due reward. Just as A.I. Luo's words fell, a pleasant system sound fell from Zhang Yi's ears, congratulations, you have completed the quest Undead Overdrive, level 2 difficulty, get rewarded with plus 42,000 experience, silver coins plus 60, level 2 fortification stone plus 15, human prestige plus 60, get equipment magic cap plus 1, get special reward first order energy crystal plus 1. Current level 15, damn. When Zhang Yi heard the system announce the quest reward, he almost spat out a mouthful of blood, after spending the whole night brushing the skeletons and undead without brushing them out, the quest actually rewarded Zhang Yi directly with a first order energy crystal, however, it was a good thing, otherwise Zhang Yi would have planned to go back to the safe zone to rest and come back tomorrow. As for the equipment rewards, did not get the undead suit, a little pity, but the hat is also exactly what Zhang Yi now need equipment, because until now, Zhang Yi head is empty, hat parts equipment has not been, opened the backpack and saw that just rewarded the black mage hat, or a level 15 2 star, but because of the law profession life is low, so the base only attached 130 points of life value, and 6 points of endurance, this is if you want to do the same level of knight armor, at least must. Be attached to the base of life of 250, so Zhang Yi took out 25 level 2 strengthening stones from his bag, and with the addition of Ding Ding Divine Strengthening, another strengthened level 25 divine armor arrived, the magic hat. This is a magical hat, as long as you wear it, it can make you magical, wearing this hat, looking a little more composed Zhang Yi, opened the streamlined status bar to look at it, Qin Qing, level 15, first turn imperial beast master, magical attack power, 340 physical defense, 156 magic defense, 135 life points, 1275 energy points, 590 experience points, 14, 270 slash 45,000 prestige, 28, 12 special status, dragon bloodline LV1 description, imperial beast master who has already completed his first round. His strength is just beginning, and that chi and blood, it's simply invincible, if you look at the entire security area, it is estimated that the blood limit of more than 500, in addition to the warriors and knights are very small, and as the beast master Zhang Yi, the total blood has actually exceeded 4 figures. At this stage, even level 15 knights with 3 body and 2 stamina were only at the level of Zhang Yi, this was because it was impossible for their equipment to reach the point of level 15 2 star, and it was also impossible for their improvement level to exceed level 15, the current Zhang Yi, who had power and defense, was simply a combination of a mage and a tank, when Ao makes his weapon, Zhang Yi's strength will be increased by another level, not to mention the 886 safe zone, Zhang Yi feels that he is invincible in the entire 8th zone, looking at the time, it was half past 11, although the undead overwatch quest would be updated in just half an hour, so he could get the quest and continue to the undead capital to clean up the skeletons and undead. But Zhang Yi pound he did not intend to brush all night like last night, because from midday to now, nearly 12 hours of consuming, Zhang Yi Pound's tiredness has dropped to 30%, coupled with some mental tiredness, at this moment, need to rest again, so, while there were still players who were rushing to the undead capital one after the other, ready to practice leveling for the night, Zhang Yi left the undead capital and rushed to Hope Town, on his way back to Hope Town, Zhang Yi casually opened the ladder, and looked at it, realizing that through a night of furious brushing in the undead capital, he had successfully entered the top 10 of the heavenly ranking in area 886 at 32% of his current level 15, and was currently ranked 5th, in this way, it was actually quite easy for Zhang Yi to fight his way to the top, as long as he had the idea. 
However, Zhang Yi's pursuit of the first place wasn't very big, as the first place in the heavenly ranking wouldn't bring any benefits, the first place was still held by the level 16 12% Storm Angel, but his level was about to be caught up by the second place, it seemed that his fatigue level had reached the upper limit and he had taken a rest, otherwise, with his leveling speed, it would not have been possible for him to level up from level 15 70% to 16 12% in just one night, after closing the Ladder, Zhang Yi casually opened the regional chat channel again, and found that the more time passed, the more players realized that the current situation, I'm afraid it wasn't as simple as Heavenly Fortune Group having a bug in the logout settings of the Apocalypse game, looking at the chats, Zhang Yi had no feelings. However, he knew that the people of King's World would soon begin to fully implement their plan to overrun Hope Town, and Zhang Yi had only slowed down their plan so far, without completely changing the course of history, he closed the chat channel and continued to hurry, along the way, a number of players could also be seen practicing with those level 10 to 15 biochemical monsters by the side of the road. Having begun to suspect that this was a real post-apocalyptic world, the players had begun to desperately practice leveling to increase their strength to ensure that they would be able to survive in this world in the future, however, as Zhang Yi passed through an intersection, he suddenly heard what sounded like an argument coming from the right side of the intersection. What do you want? Get out of the way, when he looked in the direction of the source of the sound, he saw a large group of players forming a circle, surrounding a few other players, and all of them had their swords drawn in an aggressive manner, Zhang Yi understood the situation at a glance, it was 80% that the side of the majority of the players wanted to kill people to get rid of them. This kind of thing was not strange to Zhang Yi who had survived for 8 years in the apocalypse world in his previous life. After all, besides fighting monsters and doing quests, killing other players was also a way to make money, and the effect was even greater than the former, what made Zhang Yi a little surprised was that the group of players in the outer circle who committed the murder all had the word king on their head IDs, and they were actually players from the king's world. The king's world had really begun to implement the plan to completely invade Hope Town. Because Zhang Yi remembered that in his previous life, the king's world had done just that half a day earlier than in this life, and they had been killing other casual players in the field since around noon, looting their resources, and strengthening themselves while making countless casual players afraid of the king's world and gradually not daring to rebel against them. On this side, the four players surrounded by 15 or 16 king's world players, three men and one woman, were knights. Assassins, archers, and priests, and their levels were all at the mid-level of level 14, and the king's world players surrounding them had also all reached level 14, and there was even one level 15. Level 15 Assassin King Slayer, anyone who could reach level 15 in the current rankings could at least be included in the top 100 of area 886 inch and Zhang Yi could even be ranked 5th with his level 15 32%, the highest ranked King Killer God seemed to be the leader of this group of King World players, playing with a blood colored dagger in his hand that seemed to be worth a lot of money, at least a 2 star item, the King Killing God looked up and down at the people in front of him with a flippant look on his face, and said, turn over all the valuable things you are carrying, equipment, money, and spirit stones. As soon as these words fell, among the four young players surrounded by them, a young knight in black armor with a head ID named Guan Yun Chang stared at the surrounding group of King's World players with a torch-like gaze and said, you don't want to use resources on your own to do quests and fight monsters to explode them? What kind of skill is it to steal from others? You are wrong, the King Slayer God smiled faintly, Stealing from others is considered a true skill, after all, everyone fights monsters and explodes them, after saying that, another assassin youth Lu Xian de beside the knight youth Guan Yin Chang said, you guys are doing this, are not afraid of corrupting the reputation of your king's world. At least a thousand man battle team, actually bullying civilian players and extorting resources from them, how much is reputation worth in this post-apocalyptic world? The king's slayer was unimpressed, life is the most important thing, isn't it? This isn't a game world anymore, if you want to live, hand over all the resources on your body otherwise don't blame us for being rude to you, equipment resources, what to hand over, is really a dead end, for people, looks the oldest, there are 24 or 25 years old archer man Ching Fong firmly said, no way, unless out of our dead bodies step over, toast to refuse to eat a punishment wine. King Killer God let out a cold grunt, good, then kill you guys and burst equipment from. You, brothers, kill this woman also kill together, no need to pity, with the king killing God's command, the dozen or so players from the surrounding king's world surrounded them and killed them towards Qingfeng. 
It's hard to beat four hands with two fists, how could four people beat a dozen people so quickly, Qin Feng and the others were defeated, and all four of them were crippled, with just a few of you trash, you still dare to fight with us kings of the world and seek death, the king slayer held a dagger in his hand and closed in on the bloodied four, on the other hand, Qin Feng and the others were all gritting their teeth, but inside, they were incomparably terrified that only death awaited them. At this very moment, next to the killing god, a warrior's little brother hurriedly said to the killing god, boss, people are coming from over there, turning back to look, really see the road that end, address simply bizarre mage man, towards this side approached over. Looking at this lone person approaching over, head wearing a mage hat, hand holding a magic staff, but the body is wearing armor of the man, the king kills the god slightly frowned, this is your mother, what is this stuff, wearing armor of the mage. Next to him, the level 14 warrior little brother King God War is a little worried, boss, that thing seems to come from a bad place ah, maybe it's one of your teammates. The King God of Killers looked back at Qin Feng several times, and then shifted his gaze to the mage approaching in front of him, saying unimpressed, so what, he's alone, but he's only here to give away one more head, Zhang Yi, who had hidden his ID and only revealed a level 15 Royal Beastmaster logo, held his flame staff in his hand and slowly approached without saying a word. At this time, the level 14 warrior King God Warrior stepped out of the formation and shouted at Zhang Yi, what's going on? Zhang Yi didn't say anything and just continued to approach, when the King God Warrior saw that the other party didn't even bother to pay attention to him, he was furious, isn't it a higher level, a beast master who's so grey? The King Killer God at the back calmly said to the King Divine Battle, can you handle it? He said that, the King God said, boss, don't you believe in me? If I can't even kill a beast master in a beginner's armor, what kind of face do I have to stay in the king's world as a professional player? Obviously, there was only one way for a mage to be able to wear armor, and that was that the armor Zhang Yi was currently wearing belonged to the novice equipment below level 10, as only the novice equipment was not restricted to professions. As a level 15 royal beast master, he was actually still wearing rookie equipment that was below level 10, which showed how much this royal beast master, whose attribute growth was already low, could destroy his stats, with a clatter, he drew a silver light longsword from his waist, pointed it directly at Zhang Yi, and said with a contemptuous smile, if you don't summon a magic beast again, you won't even have a chance to fight a magic beast, after speaking, Zhang Yi spoke and lightly spat out. Three words, no need, kid, you're dead. Zhang Yi's insolent attitude completely enraged the king's divine battle, and with its long sword in hand, the king's divine battle charged at Zhang Yi. At the same time, the back of the king's god of killers and king's world players have been to look at Zhang Yi with sympathetic eyes, in their view, as an attribute growth of the whole day Kai 7 profession's lowest and low skill damage of the royal beast master, but also at this time the body is still wearing the level 10 or below the rookie clothing Zhang Yi, as long as the king's god of war a charge chop close to the past, will undoubtedly die. Even the four players who had been targeted. By the king of kings looked at Zhang Yi with worried eyes, however, in their eyes, they were not only worried, but also puzzled, looking at the 22-year-old knight youth, Guan Yun Chang was puzzled, who is he, and why is he here to help us? The assassin youth Lu Xianda was also confused, turning his face to look at the archer Qing Feng next to him, who was a few years older than them, does brother Feng recognize him? Qing Feng said thoughtfully, Look, it seems like they have a grudge against the king's world and are not here for us, after a pause, Qing Feng was worried, but, he came alone to find the king's world, this is not to send death. How do you think, yes, or a royal beast master, Guan Yun Long sighed, thought it was a big brother of any party, it feels like he's going to be sent directly, three seconds of silence, unknown good brother all the way to the good, this side, Zhang Yi calmly looked at the front, from their own attack range is getting closer and closer to the king's divine battle. In the hands of the staff has been in the beginning of the accumulation of magic, finally, the king's warrior stepped into Zhang Yi's. Effective attack range of 50 inch directly opened the charge chop and confidently charged at Zhang Yi. Just when everyone in the back line thought that Zhang Yi would definitely die if the king's divine battle approached him, Zhang Yi waved his staff and a fireball spell was cast, the hot fireball shot straight at the king's divine battle, which was still 40 meters away, instantly bringing up a red damage number above its head that was unusually conspicuous in the darkness of the night, minus 427. Apart from the king's divine war himself, the group of king's world players behind him, as well as Guan Yunchang and the others, were all stunned, 
as for the king's divine battle, because he was a bit excited at the moment, he hadn't even noticed how much damage that trash beast master he hadn't put in his eyes had just done to himself with that fireball spell, and he was still smothering his head as he rushed towards Zhang Yi. As the king's divine warrior continued to approach, a 115 point scorch damage jumped up on his head every second, and Zhang Yi stopped trying to mop it up, calmly watching as the king's divine warrior quickly approached, as a result, before he could run in front of Zhang Yi, the bar of blood on his head was cleared by the 345 points of scorch damage that lasted for 3 seconds. The king's divine warrior, who had traveled a long way to kneel in front of Zhang Yi just to perform this great salute, had not yet reacted to what was happening, and was transformed into a beam of white light right in front of Zhang Yi with a rattle, with a single fireball spell, he had killed a level 14 warrior. Since the king's divine warrior had maliciously attacked Guan Yun Chang and the others earlier, resulting in a grey name, after killing the king's divine warrior, the ID on Zhang Yi's head that had been hidden didn't turn red and was forced to appear, at the back of the formation, the rest of the king's world players were all stunned, Guan Yun Chang and Lu Xuanda, who had thought that Zhang Yi would be killed in a matter of seconds, were all stunned. Holy shit, is that brother hanged? A fireball dealt 400 damage. While the gang of King's world players were shocked, they were even more angry, that guy killed the boss, brothers, kill him. Right, that staff in his hand is definitely an excellent product, maybe it's a three-star weapon, otherwise it's impossible for Kong to deal such high damage, everyone get together and explode that staff in his hand, the words just fell, against the Zhang Yi lightly said. Come on, you guys together, Zhang Yi this kind of arrogant flames, so that the king of the world players cannot stand, the next moment. More than a dozen people all copied the guy, towards the Zhang Yi attack and kill, Zhang Yi. Didn't panic and stood still, lightly raising his flame staff, targeting a level 14 assassin who was taking the brunt of the other side, and releasing a lightning chain, purple lightning bolts fell from the sky, hitting the assassin and then creating a catapult that simultaneously hit the other two warriors in the back with minus 628 blast, minus 291, minus 302. White light flashed. The level 14 crispy assassin charging forward was instantly killed by a blast damage, while the two warriors in the back were also knocked down by a third of their blood, immediately after, Zhang Yi unleashed two consecutive push attacks, blasting one of the fighters to death, in the first five seconds, he had taken out two of the opponents one by one, a scene that stunned Guan Yun Chang and the others in the back, at this time. The attacks of several mage archer players from the king's world also came from afar, and a fireball spell and a fire arrow or ice arrow that had a slowing effect all landed on Zhang Yi's body in unison. The opponent's three mages and two archers, five attacks falling at the same time, successively triggered the Piranha Boots infinite dodge talent, causing Zhang Yi's head to jump up two misses, plus three low to almost ignorable damage, dash 45, comma dash 28, comma dash 39, the attacks triggered the guardian armor talent of Angel's Guardian. The attacks of the other party's three people stacked up to a total of 112 damage, and even Zhang Yi's body even Zhang Yi's angel shield, which had a shield value of 128 points, did not break, damn it, even though his attack power is high, how come his defense power is so high, it's too perverse, doesn't that mean he has all the good equipment? Don't be afraid, we have so many people to fight him, even if his equipment is good again can't be our opponent, continue to kill. In the midst of his words, the group of melee players from King's World continued to approach Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi, on the other hand, continued to stand in place, waving his staff, a push attack spellball combined with a 5 second fireball spell burst down, sending a trail of ultra high damage at the group of King's World players in front of him, dash 289, comma dash 318, comma dash 714 bludgeon. Minus 446, scorch, minus 119 scorch, minus 107 scorch, minus 112 scorch, a white light flashed one after another, and before the people. From the king's world could even get close to them, a third of them had already been blown to death by Zhang Yi, the remaining people close to come over when, also have blood, relying on their own blood high defense thick, Zhang Yi move are lazy, directly standing there to let the king of the world's fighters and knights to fight, save the time to position all used for the output, the staff each swing, are accompanied by a white light of light. Finally, Chang Yi's 156 points of defense plus 25 points of damage reduction talent of wizard's trousers, even if it is an assassin with an armor-breaking attack, a knife in Chang Yi's body will not cause 100 points of damage, and its remaining damage is generally in a range of 30 to 40 points to Chang Yi's body of 1275 points of blood, it is just insignificant. As a result, those who were still alive in the king's world were panicked, 
what the hell is this, a mage? This is the first time I've seen a mage who's meatier than a damn knight, shit, how much blood has he got? Half a day of fighting and he only loses this much blood, he still stands here, not moving to give us a fight, damn it, he looks down on us, as the crowd spoke. Another bolt of lightning came down, blasting the three remaining blood players out of the surrounding king's world, in an instant, there was only one person left on the field, a level 14 priest king's milkman, looking around, king's milkman was so scared that his legs were shaking when he realized that all of his teammates had been wiped out, you, what the hell are you? Do you want to know? Good, then let you die to understand, Zhang Yi smiled faintly, then opened the settings and turned on the ID display, when the four white characters of Qingqing appeared on the top of Zhang Yi's head, not only the king's father, but also Guan Yunchang and Qingfeng behind him were stunned. He's actually the top big brother in our 886 region, no wonder he was so powerful, a single person destroyed a team of a dozen people from King's world, and that's without a battle wraith, my mother actually had the opportunity to see the big brother in person, and even by the big brother to save a life, I fucking feel tonight to be excited not to be able to sleep, the last person in the king's world. The king's milkman opened his mouth before he had time to speak was Zhang Yiye. Fireball art blasted more than 400 points of damage to clear the head of the blood bar, sent back to the safe zone resurrection to go, the surroundings suddenly fell into a quiet, Zhang Yi is silently began to pick up the surrounding scattered trophies, from the beginning to the end, did not even look at Guan Yunchang a few people. Because Zhang Yi's intention was not to save them, but just to attack the king's world, in this life, as long as it is the king's world, Zhang Yi will not let go when he meets them, as Zhang Yi tidied up the loot, the few players he had saved in passing cautiously walked over, big brother, thank you, big brother, no thanks, Zhang Yi said casually, and had just finished picking up everything and stood up, ready to turn around and leave and a soft cry suddenly came from his ears, Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi froze, he turned around, how do you know my name? Zhang Yi, who had been looking at the priest girl who had just shouted his name among the four people, was stunned. At the same time, it seemed like it was only now that he finally saw Zhang Yi's face, Guan Yunchang, Lu Xuanda, and Qingfeng's trio, all of whom were also wearing expressions of disbelief as they looked at Zhang Yi, I'm leaving, it's really you, Zhang Yi, the young knight whose ID was Guan Yunchang, who was similar in age to Zhang Yi, excitedly ran up to Zhang Yi and patted his shoulder, saying, Zhang Yida, ha uh ha. -huh. Zhang Yi looked at Guan Yunchang for a long time with no expression before. Revealing a gentle smile, long time no see, I didn't expect it to be you, Zhang Yi also did not expect to meet these old friends he had not even met in his previous life. Guan Yunchang, Lu Xuanda, Qing Feng, Ye Ro, no wonder, these IDs are so familiar, there are also these people, look so familiar, perhaps because of the separation of three years, no, is separated by eleven years, Zhang Yi's memories gradually fuzzy, but once again when he saw these people, Zhang Yi in the long lost excitement and feverish mood, immediately surged to the heart, Zhang Yi in front of these people, it is when he was still in high school classmates, classmates, iron cannot be more. Iron Brothers, many of the memories that were about to be forgotten surfaced in Zhang Yi's mind at that moment, back in high school, Linhai City Linhai Middle School Class 305 had a legend called the Three Brothers of the Peach Garden. It was said that the three of them were good brothers who adored each other, no matter what they did, they were all together, skipped classes together, fought together, ate together, played together, slept together in the dormitory, and shared everything with each other, except for a girlfriend because of that moment, they three only one of the single, and the peach orchard on the oath, friend's wife, cannot be deceived, and that the peach orchard three brothers, of which Zhang Yida, is Zhang. E, there are also two inch Zhang Yida is before the two ID called Guan Yun Chang and Lu Xuan the young players, their respective real names are called Guan Hao and Lu Xing. Thinking about that time, Guan Hao and Lu Xing, really is Zhang Yi's life in the best good brother, even Zhang Yi also remembered, once outside by a group of punks to beat up, Guan Hao in order to protect themselves, but also for their own gang of punks received two knives, in the hospital for half a month, there is also Lu Xing, also to Zhang Yi and Guan Hao fighting, to find who stabbed the thugs, and others with the head of heaven and blood, but also in the office, the two really is Zhang. Yi's pals, the last life of Zhang Yi later did not meet Guan Hao them, perhaps a certain inadvertent action, this life changed some subtle historical process, resulting in Zhang Yi and these good brothers met again. When Guan Hao and Lu Xing saw Zhang Yi, it was like going back to three years ago, each of them stretched out their palms, folded them together and shouted, I don't want to live in the same year and month on the same day, but I want to die in the same year and month on the same day, 
Si Zhang Yi is not moved, Guan Hao smiled awkwardly, and then patted Zhang Yi's shoulders, grumpily said, You kid, three years ago graduation day, how suddenly with the evaporation of the same, so that me and Lu. Xing to find you hard, I, Zhang Yi was about to say something, the eyes accidentally turned to the side of the other two people, ID called Qin Feng Archer, and Pastor Yero Body, Zhang Yi knew that they were siblings, Han Feng and Han Yero. The priest's sister, Yero, had a stunning face, when she was in high school, she was still the recognized school flower of Lin Hai Middle School, and now it seemed that she was getting more and more beautiful, while Yero, since she was the first one to recognize Zhang Yi and called out to him, she never spoke again, but just looked at Zhang Yi calmly with a clear watery gaze from the beginning to the end, after staring at Yero for a second, Zhang Yi looked back as if he was about to flee. Then said to Guan Hao and Lu Xing I still have a task to go back and deliver, so I'll leave first, Zhang Yi, seeing that Zhang Yi had actually turned around and left, Guan Hao and Lu Xing rushed over to Zhang Yi to stop him, what's wrong with you, even though you suddenly disappeared three years ago, why are you still like this now, aren't you treating us like brothers anymore? In the sound of words, Guan Hao asked, three years ago, what happened at the end, why did you disappear without saying a word? Zhang Yi remained silent for a while, don't mention what's in the past, all right, let's not talk about the past, Lu Xing said, it's not easy for the three of us to meet again, you want to leave again? Zhang Yi showed great indifference, I really have a task to immediately go back to submit, good, we are all in the same county, we also happen to be going back together, as Guan Hao's words fell, Zhang Yi said no need, let's go our separate ways. After saying that, Zhang Yi stopped paying attention to Guan Hao and the others and walked away alone, Seeing Zhang Yi go, Guan Hao wanted to go after him, but Lu Xing was a tug, forget it rats, maybe three years of time has passed, has long been things are not the same, he has not us as the former brothers, Guan Hao cannot believe, impossible, how is it impossible? Lu Xing said, you just did not see his strength? He is Qin Qing, the great god player of area 886 who scares everyone in the king's world, you just saw him destroy a team in the king's world by himself, right? We're not even in the same class as him, we're not destined to be good friends like before. At this time, Yero is crouched on the ground, her head buried in tears, this side and Guan Hao have separated, continuing to run to the hope of the city of Zhang Yi, in fact, why would he not want to be like three years ago again, with Guan Hao Lu Xing, they reorganized the three brothers combination, but this life of Zhang Yi, scared, he was scared of treachery, especially by his best brother treachery, in his last life. Not only Mu Chen and Lin Rua, in that before Zhang Yi no friends, ten inside. At least three will be because of some reason to later betray Zhang Yi, or for a piece of high quality equipment, or for money, or for other things that can make a player powerful. Before profit, friendship is worthless, Mu Chen and Lin Rua's betrayal was the last straw that broke the camel's back for Zhang Yi, therefore, Zhang Yi didn't dare give his heart to anyone in this life, which is why he didn't dare recognize Guan Hao and the others now, fearing that Guan Hao and Lu Xing would betray him later, of course, in addition to the reason why Zhang Yi's attitude was so determined right now, there was another reason because of that priest girl, Ye Ro, this girl had. Brought back countless memories for Zhang Yi, but regardless, it had been so long ago that there were some things that shouldn't be remembered, so Zhang Yi tried his best to regain his composure, and then returned to Hope Town, it was already more than 12 o'clock at night, and there were still many players coming and going in Hope Town, and many of them were trying to log out again and again in a restless manner. Zhang Yi, on the other hand, went straight to the blacksmith's shop, found NPC IL forging equipment in the middle of the night, and gave him the first order energy crystals, perhaps anticipating the disaster that would befall Hope Town tomorrow, IL was busy making equipment for the town's guards overnight, upon receiving the energy crystal from Zhang Yi, IL nodded in relief, young adventurer, you really didn't let me down, you actually found an energy crystal, Zhang Yi, on the other hand, pinned his hopes on IL, Master IL, it's up to you next Illinois nodded, don't worry, with this energy crystal, I will definitely create an excellent weapon for you. After a pause, IL said, come get it around noon, it should be almost ready by then, noon, that's fine, I can get this weapon before the catastrophe strikes Hope Town, and I can also use this weapon to fight the catastrophe, to be precise, it was a disaster for other players in Hope Town, but for Zhang Yi, it was a heavenly blessing, thinking about this, Zhang Yi was still a bit inexplicably excited, at that time. I.L. asked Zhang Yi, by the way, I asked you to collect the divine bones and undead. Sense, how are you doing? Zhang Yi looked at the less than 100 divine bones and undead sense that he had collected from his nightly efforts last night in his bag and said awkwardly, 
I will definitely be able to finish collecting them for you within a week. All right, if you bring me what I need, I will give you a generous reward, after saying goodbye to I.L. Zhang Yi, who was a bit tired and whose fatigue level had dropped to more than 20, opened a five-star room in the Hope Town Inn and rested. The next morning, Zhang Yi got up at five o'clock. Other players were struggling throughout the night, so Zhang Yi could not be slowed down. After refilling a large amount of potions at the town's pharmacy, Zhang Yi left Hope Town and returned to the undead capital. The burst rate of both Divine Bones and Undead Sense was about one-fifth, based on last night's rate, it would not be easy to collect 1,000 copies of both Divine Bones and Undead Sense, so it seemed that Zhang Yi would have to spend the next week in the Undead Capital. While other players only dared to collect level 1 and level 2 quests, Zhang Yi directly collected a level 3 Undead Overdrive with a difficulty factor of 300 from the Undead Merchant, AI Luo, who was stationed outside the city, level 3 Undead Overdrive required hunting and killing 150 each of the level 19 to 20 Skeleton Warrior, Skeleton Archer, Undead Mage, and Undead Killer. At this stage, the average player basically had no ability to fight level 19 monsters, so when Zhang Yi entered the Undead Capital, passed through the two low-level areas in front of him, and came to the level 19 to 20 area, he looked around and could not see a single player in the surrounding area, so Zhang Yi took out his flame staff and began to slaughter. With an attack power of 340 and a health value of over 1200 points, Zhang Yi's strength was more than enough to deal with the level 19 to 20 skeletons and undead, thus, after completing the quest and brushing for another two hours, from 5 o'clock in the morning to around 11 o'clock at night, Zhang Yi, who had reached 80% of level 16, saw that time was running out. And only then did he intend to call it a day, after 12 o'clock, he still had one more important thing to do, which was to deal with the inevitable disaster that was about to hit the major safe zones, the undead capital could be divided into three tiers, with levels 15 to 20 being the first tier, levels 21 to 25 being the second tier, and levels 26 to 30 being the third tier. Players who wanted to enter the next level had to complete a challenge from the previous level, and that challenge was to kill two types of skeleton system monsters and two types of undead system monsters, 1000 of each, although Zhang Yi has already passed the first level, now even the highest level 20 skeletons and undead can't satisfy Zhang Yi, but so far, according to the system's automatic statistics, Zhang Yi killed two kinds of skeletons and undead monsters, only 400 each, want to. Complete the first level of the challenge to enter the second level, the cumulative total of 1, 200 skeletons and undead to kill 1, 200 to enter the second level, the undead capital turned out to be a treasure city, and in one morning, Zhang Yi had harvested four one-star treasure chests. The burst rate of the equipment and strengthening stones was also twice that of other maps in the wild, Zhang Yi had received 10 pieces of equipment from the undead capital in one morning, and three of them belonged to the undead set, two of them were opened from the treasure chest, unfortunately, the undead sets that popped up in the undead capital were basically one star, and even though these three undead sets had a pair of mage undead boots that Zhang Yi used, Zhang Yi couldn't look at them because his goal was to get a set of mage two star undead sets in the undead capital, as for these one star, see if you can get a few complete sets out, and then take to auction, the value of the set, can be extraordinary, can really hit a set, even if it is one star, overnight wealth is not a dream. So this pair of undead boots, even though they are better than the cannibal worm boots on Zhang Yi, Zhang Yi does not intend to use them, because once the equipment is strengthened by divine strengthening, it will be directly bound, by the time Zhang Yi was ready to leave at noon, there were only a handful of players left to clean up the monsters in the level 19 to 20 area of the undead capital, and it was still quite a struggle for them to deal with the level 19 to 20 skeletons and undead in groups. Of 3 to 5, these high-level skeletons and undead that could be easily killed with a few general attacks in Zhang Yi's hands were terrifyingly powerful in the eyes of other players at this stage, as he passed through the areas of level 17 to 18 and 15 to 16 and she could see that there were already countless teams of players in the area, killing the low-level skeletons and undead. And the entire map was almost saturated, showing that the undead capital, the treasure city, was still quite popular. Among Players at that time, whoever could collect a complete set of undead sets first would be the big brother, after retiring from the undead capital, Zhang Yi submitted his quest to Elo, congratulations, you have completed the quest Undead Overdrive, level 3 difficulty, gained the reward experience plus 70,000, gold coin plus 1, level 2 fortification stone plus 15, human prestige plus 72. Gained the special reward First Order Energy Crystal plus 1, gained the equipment Undead Robe plus 1, and Affinity with Field Wanderer plus 10. 
The next time you level up, you will need 86,000 experience points, congratulations, your Fieldrunner affinity has increased to level 1 and you have gained the privilege, Fieldrunner quest rewards plus 5%. When Zhang Yi opened the ladder and looked at it, he realized that with a level of 17 and 55%, he was already the top-ranked player in safe zone 886, beating out the second-ranked player, Storm Angel, by a full 40 experience points. As it turned out, it was indeed easy for Zhang Yi to reach the top of the heavenly ranking, as long as he was willing to do so, after all. When other players were still teaming up to share the experience of level 15 and 16 monsters, Zhang Yi was already brushing. Level 18 and 19 monsters by himself to reap all the benefits, and his brushing speed was even several times faster than that of ordinary players, so with this kind of disparity, it was very easy to open up a huge level gap with ordinary players. Zhang Yi, who had regained the top spot on the list, once again attracted the heated discussion of the players in District 886, the King of Glory, who was brushing a level 18 mutated black bear with his teammates, looked at the message on the regional chat channel and gritted his teeth in anger, saying, Qin Cheng, if it weren't for the fact that you killed him twice before and dropped him twice, could the top spot on the heavenly ranking be yours? Then remembered last night team brothers, the king of god where they were in the field by the Qin Cheng group destroyed things, the king of glory even more angry, Qin Cheng, I will make you disappear from this world, at that time, a magician's little brother beside the king of glory said, Captain, now that everyone is going to the undead capital of the treasure city, should we also change our position and go to the undead capital? I have heard that the skeletons and undead monsters in there have super high burst rates, and there is still a chance that they will burst out of the said equipment. The King of Glory seems to have had his plan in mind for a long time, in addition to the high explosion rate, don't you know that the monsters in the undead capital are much more powerful than the same level of monsters in the wild? Why should we risk going in there to kill them? With the king's glory words just fell, next to the little brother thoughtfully said, Captain, you mean the king's glory he he a smile, wait for them to brush another two or three days, the body said almost all brush chi time, we kill the whole team in the undead capital, directly from their body to grab, not from the person to kill, in this way, would not be much easier to get a suit. At the entrance of the undead capital. Hearing the system prompt to get a piece of undead set equipment, Zhang Yi, who couldn't wait to open his backpack, took out a black magic robe inside undead robe, one of the mage undead sets, quality, 2 star level, 17 life force, 150 additional attribute, intelligence plus 7 occupational restriction, mage, imperial beast master description. Undead equipment created by infusing the power of the undead, much stronger than normal equipment, mage undead set bonus, 2 piece set slash spell casting speed plus 5%, 3 piece set slash spell casting speed plus 10%, 4 piece set 20%, 5 piece set 30%, 6 piece set 40%, 7 piece set 50%, good lord, from last night until now, there was finally a 2 star mage undead equipment. And it also had 7 intelligence points attached to it, for Zhang Yi, who was in extreme pursuit of performance, he couldn't be happier, relying on the fact that he had divine strengthening, Zhang Yi didn't hesitate to take out 25 level 2 strengthening stones from his bag, and in the blink of an eye, he strengthened the undead robe to the highest level, plus 25 undead robe, plus 525 health, plus 25 intellect, activate exclusive talent undead bodyguard, the equipped person gains an undead shield every 10. Seconds with 10% shield value of maximum blood and the shield is automatically refreshed every 10 seconds, undead bodyguard could not be said to be similar to the angelic guardian talent of guardian armor, but it was exactly the same, a good defensive talent. Thus, Zhang Yi, who happened to have reached level 17, immediately equipped the undead robe on his body, and it was only then that he remembered that since he had gone from level 13 to level 17, the 20 free attribute points he had accumulated had actually remained untouched, and Zhang Yi had directly added all 20 points to his intelligence, since he was going for performance. He was going for the ultimate, together with the 25 points from the undead robe, the cumulative 45 points of. Intelligence gave Zhang Yi a 63 point bonus to his attack power, and for the plus 25 guardian armor, the plus 25 undead robe was an additional 105 life points, since armor usually had a higher life value, in the same level situation, the base life value of the armor could be twice that of the mage's clothes. It was a pity that the plus 25 guardian armor, which could not be traded because it was bound, could only be taken back for disassembly and still receive 12 level 2 enhancement stones back, energy crystals, Zhang Yi in the undead capital brush a morning burst 1, plus the mission reward has 2, but from the mission needs to collect the target 10, 
but still much worse, after submitting the quest. Zhang Yi left the undead capital, after half an hour of traveling, it was already 23.30 when he returned to Hope Town, there were still 30 minutes to go, there was no rush, let's eat first, the steak he ate last night was not bad in taste, but it was a little too greasy, so Zhang Yi changed to a greasier one and spent one gold coin to order a pot of bullfrogs grilled on charcoal, and with a bottle of red wine, the price of which had increased to 60 silver coins as he leveled up, he sat alone at a table and ate and drank. A warrior uncle eating egg fried rice, damn, this guy is too rich, one meal to eat the money, then my day in the field doing quests fighting monsters earning more, a dry gnaw white steamed bun wizard beauty, this baked bullfrog looks so delicious ah, uh, I also want to eat, full of wine and rice, rushed to 11.55, Zhang Yi with the impression, came to the city of Hope in the police hall, this is the place where the NPC guards of Hope Town live, there is a level 20 NPC guard in armor holding a lance. At the entrance, Zhang Yi's goal is this NPC guard, Mog. At this moment, Mog is also just an ordinary NPC, there is no question mark on his head to trigger the quest, Zhang Yi is not in a hurry, just waiting at the door of the police hall, his eyes from the beginning to the end staring at the NPC guard Mog, staring at Mog feel scalp numb, until the arrival of 12 o'clock, a service-wide announcement of the apocalypse world was suddenly sent down from the floating air. Service-wide announcement, attention all players in apocalypse world, darkness has fallen and the god of death, Golden Skeleton King will invade the major safe zones in 6 hours, so please be prepared to defend your homes. Announcement, all players in all areas of the apocalypse world, please be aware that darkness has fallen and the god of death, Golden Skull King will invade the major safe zones in 6 hours, so please be prepared to defend your homes. Announcement, announcement, cross area chat channel function has been opened, players can consume a certain amount of money to release cross area messages. With the system brushing the entire service announcement three times, the apocalypse world, each major. Service of the various safe zones chat channel, an instant explosion, at the same time just opened the inter-area chat channel, but also immediately by countless players screen, the 8th region inter-area chat channel, Phuket Island, 991, male, level 15 wizard, the god of death. What the hell? What the hell is the golden skeleton king? Have you not read the official announcement of the apocalypse? It has long been said that on the third day of the service, a mandatory boss battle will be initiated in the novice villages of all districts and services, and today is the third day, and the boss battle will begin ah, uh, players from all districts would be able to receive a generous reward, Zhang Yi looked at it and found that the current cost of a cross-region message is 10 silver coins. This group of people who have nothing better to do is really rich, after all, 5 messages can eat a steak. There are actually couples chatting to chat to the cross-region channel, but also people can't help but be convinced, and as the system's announcement has just fallen, only to see that the NPC guard Mog at the entrance of the police hall, a yellow question mark suddenly appeared on top of his head. Refreshed, Zhang Yi immediately walked over to Mog with a hint of excitement, having been reborn and returned to the world, Zhang Yi had the ability to see things before they happened. On the third day of the service, at 6.00 p.m., on the dot, all the safe zones would welcome the invasion of the level 21 star big boss, the Golden Skeleton King, from the undead capital, at which time it would be necessary for the players of each safe zone to individually join hands to fight against the boss. And the death of the boss would be rewarded to the players of the entire safe zone, while the first killer of the boss would be rewarded with an incomparable bounty, in addition, he knew that on the day of the boss battle, at the same time as the entire service announcement was released, a special task would be updated in each safe zone, and if the players in any safe zone completed that task, it would allow the boss to enter the safe zone where the task finisher was previously located, in addition, completing this quest would also weaken the Golden Skeleton King, this would allow players in that safe zone to fight the boss in advance and have a better chance of getting the first kill of the boss than other safe zones, the special mission that would allow the boss Golden Skeleton King to enter the safe zone early was right in front of Zhang Yi, this mission was unique to each safe zone and had a trigger time of only half an hour, after that, the mission would disappear if no one claimed it, in his last life, there was a safe zone player who discovered this quest, and after completing it, he let the boss invade his safe zone in advance, and then he failed to block the boss's invasion, and the whole zone was wiped out by the boss, the first kill of the Golden Skeleton King, Zhang Yi felt compelled to take it because he vaguely remembered that the person who took the first kill of the Skeleton King in his last life would be rewarded with a huge 10,000 reputation from the system. 
Of course, there were other lucrative rewards as well, Zhang Yi's personal strength was no longer strong enough to push the entire safe zone, and what was about to happen was a group battle that all the players in the entire safe zone had to fight together, therefore, it was necessary for the boss to enter Hope Town first, so that Zhang Yi could make the first kill of the Golden Skeleton King. So Zhang Yi came to the NPC guard Mog and initiated a dialogue, Honorable Lord Guard, look at your sad face, what's wrong? Mog sighed and said with a sad face, a disaster is approaching Hope Town, who can stop the Golden Skeleton King? All of us in Hope Town are united, we can definitely do it, Mog shook his head and said, unless we can do something before the Golden Skull King enters Hope Town, at this time, Zhang Yi asked, is there anything I can do for you? The Golden Skull King's lair was in the undead capital, young man, if you can go to the undead capital and hunt some of the skeletons and undead there, you might be able to weaken the Golden Skull King's fighting power. Just as Mog's words fell, a system prompt sounded in Zhang Yi's ears, is it possible to receive the mission to hunt the skeletons? Your reputation has exceeded 500 points and reached the standard for receiving the mission. This was the role of reputation, apocalypse world, many times some advanced tasks and even hidden tasks, players must reach a certain reputation to receive, the last generation appeared a lot of players faced with a difficult to find a hidden task, but because of the reputation is not enough and cannot be received, want to cry without tears of the situation. In addition, the late system will also open the prestige mall, can use the prestige exchange to obtain a variety of excellent equipment and props, so, Zhang Yi did not hesitate to choose to receive the system's next tip, but let him a face of confusion, the system detected that the number of people in your team is less than 5 people, cannot receive the task, this mission is actually a team mission. This was a bit unexpected for Zhang Yi, because to be honest, Zhang Yi didn't want to team up with anyone unless he was forced to, since this quest had to be taken on by a team, there was nothing he could do about it, with nothing else to do, Zhang Yi opened the area chat interface edited a message and sent it, Qing Qing, male, level 17 Imperial Beastmaster, is there a team to clean up the undead capital? Come on, for, I'll lead, you guys are just responsible for lying down, perhaps this moment players are busy doing quests and practice, originally a cold and quiet regional chat channel, with Zhang Yi's sudden a message, immediately exploded, dozens of messages at once brushed out of the chat channel, Zhang Yi slightly pleased, it seems that these days deliberately make such a big fuss to create a commotion. Two announcements did not hide the ID openly against the enemy king's world to put their own in the 886 area of reputation, so, just as Zhang Yi was about to pick a few random lying teammates from the players talking in the regional channel, suddenly a somewhat obtrusive ID was stolen from the regional chat channel, King's Glory, male, level 15 archer, everyone in area 886, listen to me, whoever dares to team up with Qing Cheng is an enemy of my king's world and will not be able to mix with me in area 886 from now on. King's Glory, I'll do what I say, let me find out which one of you is close to Qing Cheng, I'll make him not live until tomorrow, King's Glory swiped seven or eight different threatening and intimidating messages in a row, terrifying the players who were all afraid to show their heads, and the players who had just privately messaged Zhang Yi to ask for a team-up had all withdrawn their messages, Zhang Yi frowned slightly, are they all so afraid of the king's world? But think about it, because this life of Zhang Yi smooth, for the king of the world fearless, but the last life, Zhang Yi can also once see the king of the world of humans, scared far away, where they dare to go against them. After a pause, Zhang Yi and then said in the chat channel, do not worry, in the team, I guarantee you, as soon as the words fell, the king of glory came back, you can't protect yourself, yet you want to protect others. Qing Cheng, I'm telling you, the next time I see you, it's your time to die, at this time, Zhang Yi was too lazy to play smart with the King of Glory, the most important task at hand was to hurry up and form a team, because if he didn't form a team to collect the quest after 12.30, the quest would disappear, therefore, Zhang Yi directly ignored the King of Glory and continued to send team formation messages in the chat channel. What he didn't expect was that no one would dare to contact him. For half a day. Even though he was a vegetarian player, Zhang Yi thought that if the Storm Clan people saw his team message, they would definitely come to help him, but the Storm Clan people didn't move a bit and didn't even show their heads, he was a bit disappointed. At that moment, with a ding dong sound, Zhang Yi received a friend message, Player Yuru, female, level 15 priest, wants to add you as a friend, this ID made Zhang Yi's heart tremble. After hesitating, Zhang Yi accepted the friend request from the other party, you have received a new friend message, Yuro, where are you? Without waiting for Zhang Yi to reply, Yuro sent another message, I just saw you talking on the regional channel, so you'd rather yell at the people in the region than team up with us. 
Zhang Yi hesitated and looked at the time, it was already 12.10, so he replied to Ye Ro, I'm in the safe zone, at the blacksmith's shop, Ye Ro replied to Zhang Yi's message in less than a second, okay, wait a minute, we're also in the safe zone, let's go over there right away, Zhang Yi didn't reply to Ye Ro's message again because he didn't know what kind of identity he should assume to face this girl, friend or ex-boyfriend. Zhang Yi's memory was pulled back to three years ago, or for Zhang Yi who had returned from reincarnation, it was 11 years ago, at that time, Han Yeru, the recognized number one flower of Lin High Middle School, was in a relationship with Zhang Yi, each being the other's first love, and they could be described as a talented girl. Although often with Guan Hao Lu Xing they skipped class with the internet to play games, Zhang Yi's academic performance has always been in the whole class at the top, although Han Yeru study general, in addition to looks and temperament outside, her family is also very superior, her father is a listed company boss, the family assets over 100 million, this time in high school, over how Lu Xing and Han Yeru her company, for Zhang Yi, is really unforgettable ah, uh, only later, because of a certain thing, Zhang Yi had to leave Han Yeru, this once the two swore that they must be together in this life, the first love girlfriend, also because of this thing, to Guan Hao Lu Xing they left without saying goodbye. Zhang Yi sighed, fate, cannot hide ah, uh, even though Zhang Yi had made it clear when they met earlier, Obviously, Han Yeru was trying to take advantage of the fact that Zhang Yi had just released the message of the alliance to get close to Zhang Yi again, and there was no way for Zhang Yi to refuse, because without Han Yeru's help in teaming up with them, Zhang Yi would not be able to complete the skeleton hunt quest, which was an important event involving the huge reward for the first kill of the Apocalypse World Boss, so after closing the chat interface, Zhang Yi went to the town's blacksmith, since he had previously said that the staff would be made around noon, it was now almost time to find E to get the equipment. How can I say that it's a two-star quality after spending so much time, completing ten consecutive quests and going to the trouble of finding a first-order energy crystal to easily make a weapon? If the final result was a one-star staff, Zhang Yi vowed that he would send Il back to the Doomsday Factory, and when he found Il still smothering his head in forging equipment, Zhang Yi triggered the dialogue, Young man, you're here. When he saw Zhang Yi's IL, he immediately stopped what he was doing and looked at Zhang Yi with a smile on his face, saying, I have been waiting for you for a long time, and you have finally come. Zhang Yi's heart was happy, so Master IL has already helped me build the equipment. It was finished a long time ago, I just don't know if you like it or not, saying that, IL returned to the shop and walked out with a silver-colored staff, receiving the silver staff from IL's hand, Zhang Yi's first reaction when he saw the data on the staff was stunned. Flowing Light Staff, level 18 3-star quality, Zhang Yi didn't have any extravagant hopes, because he knew that the First Order Energy Crystals were valuable, but they could only forge 2-star equipment at most, and there was only a tiny, tiny probability that they would be forged with 3-star quality, so Zhang Yi had always assumed that IL would be satisfied if he could create a higher grade 2-star staff for him. Unexpectedly, what he ended up getting was actually a 3-star quality staff, Streaming Light Staff, quality. 3 star grade, 18 magic attack power, plus 85 bonus attribute, intelligence plus 10 additional attribute, agility plus 10 durability, 15 15 3 star quality equipment will increase the durability attribute, durability in combat state every hour loss of 1 point. When the durability drops to 0 points, the equipment will be damaged and can't be used, you can consume a certain amount of money to restore. The durability of the profession in the blacksmith shop, restrictions, Mage, Beast Master Description, this is the work of the great blacksmith IL, the person who equips it will become the strongest mage in the apocalypse world, a 3 star staff with double attributes attached, an unexpected gain. To know, at this stage, looking at the whole service, 2 star equipment are still very rare existence, many people even have more than 2 pieces of 2 star equipment on their body is a luxury, and Zhang Yi has a 3 star weapon, invincible. Although Zhang Yi could not use the staff at his current level, it did not affect his ability to strengthen the staff first. Level 2 enhancement stones were no longer enough to strengthen 3-star equipment, therefore, Zhang Yi performed the strengthening. Stone synthesis at the blacksmith's shop, every two level 2 stones could be synthesized into one level 3 stone, and the single synthesis cost reached as high as 50 copper coins, Zhang Yi did not hesitate to take out 100 of the 150 level 2 strengthening stones in his bag and spent 25 silver coins to synthesize 50 level 3 stones. 
25 of them were put into the bag to prepare for the next three-star equipment, saving him from having to go to the blacksmith's shop to synthesize them, and the other 25 were all smashed on the fluorescent light staff, and with the help of divine strengthening, it immediately strengthened the fluorescent light staff to the highest level, plus 25. In addition to its attack strength skyrocketing from 85 points to 298 points, the dual attribute additions of intelligence and agility had also increased to 35 points, and the thing that inspired Zhang Yi the most was the unique talent it unlocked, multiple attacks, multiple attacks, when the equipment launches the attack it can lock the two targets within the effective attack range at the same time, dealing 60% of the attack damage to each target, and it can be manually turned on, off, and when multiple attacks is turned off. The equipment's attack deals 110% of the damage to a single enemy. The higher the star level of the equipment, the rarer the talent that would be opened after the full level was strengthened, and this talent was like a god to Zhang Yi, one could imagine that after leveling up to 18 and replacing this 3 star mace, Zhang Yi's damage could kill even knights in a few seconds, I'm afraid, this staff was also the artifact that Zhang Yi would use to deal with the golden skeleton king boss tonight, of course. The prerequisite was that it had to be leveled up to 18. Before 6 p.m., just as he was putting the fluorescent light staff into his backpack, a shout came from behind him, Zhang Yida. When he turned around, he saw that Guan Hao, Lu Xing, Han Feng, and Han Yuru had rushed over, the level of the four people are only 15 levels, the body equipment is also uneven, the strength is in the lower level of the lower level. No wonder a few of them in high school when they play on the vegetable stingy, always dragging Zhang Yi's leg, until now has not seen any. Improvement I won't be able to do that, Zhang Yi gave a faint greeting, looking like a stranger, Knight Guan Hao walked to the front of Zhang Yi, said, you kid, honestly, is not smacked us low-level strength dish, before the friendship to forget all, pretending not to recognize us, right? The words just fell, the back of the assassin Lu Xing is also followed by said, yes, or you in the regional channel to find someone to team up, but not with us to team up. Zhang Yi was silent and said, the news of the king's honor, you didn't see it? Guan Hao, I saw it, Lu Xing, so what? Do you want to applaud him? Zhang Yi said, see, you still dare to team up with me, not afraid of the king's world's retaliation afterwards. We, the three Peach Garden brothers, who have we ever been afraid of? At this time, Zhang Yi said with a certain indifference, okay, since I'm spending money to invite you, don't worry, I won't lose you if you help me complete the task, give each of you five gold coins, five gold coins. You really are generous, Guan Hao suddenly pushed Zhang Yi hard and drank with some indignation, which one of your child's tendons is wrong? You had to force me to beat you up and sober you up, didn't you? In the middle of the conversation, the archer's back, Qing Feng, also said Zhang Yi, if you have any difficulties, you can tell us directly, we will not stand by and watch you, even if it is to fight with you against the king's world, we will not wimp out. Han Yuro, on the other hand, bit her lips lightly, her starry eyes gazing at Zhang Yi, saying nothing, only that her eyes were filled with nostalgia and sadness. She did not know three years ago, Zhang Yi good why to leave her, until now, even as if she never knew her, Zhang Yi does not seem to want to explain too much, if you do not want to help this favor, I will not force you, after saying that, Zhang Yi left first and hurried off in the direction of the police station, Guan Hao, and the others gritted their teeth in anger, but they could only follow in silence. They couldn't let go of Zhang Yi as a brother, even though Zhang Yi no longer considered them brothers, when they arrived at the police hall, they found that NPC guard Mog had been surrounded by players, and it was obvious that they had all discovered this quest, fortunately, however, none of them had completed the requirements to receive the quest. After all, in the early stages, 500 reputation points wasn't something that anyone had, and with dozens of points being earned each time they did a quest, the average player at this stage had 2 to 300 reputation points at most, while the question mark on Mog's head was still there, Zhang Yi immediately formed a team and pulled in Guan Hao and the others just in time to form a team of 5, then, Zhang Yi came to Mo Gu again and initiated a dialogue, and this time, he successfully received the quest, you and your teammates Guan Yunchang, Lu Xuanda, Qing Feng, and Yuro have completed the Hunt Skeleton's quest, and you can view the quest details in the quest interface, only the captain's reputation needs to be up to par, and the team members are free to do as they please, after receiving the mission, the yellow side above Moog's head immediately turned grey. Because this quest was unique, once it was claimed by the first player, those behind them could no longer claim it, the other players around them who were not qualified to receive this quest cast envious glances at Zhang Yi and the others, Zhang Yi casually opened the quest interface and looked at it, hunt skeletons, ordinary quest difficulty, 
2.20 Description, Darkness is about to engulf Hope Town and the God of Death, the Golden Skeleton King, will be ready to invade Hope Town at 6 o'clock. Tonight, so players are requested to go to the undead capital, his lair, and weaken the Golden Skeleton King's combat power by hunting and killing Mark Skeletons in the undead capital, the more Mark Skeletons you kill within the time limit, the better the Golden Skeleton King's combat power will be, the more tagged skeletons you kill within the time limit, the more the Golden Skeleton King will be weakened reward. Depends on completion of task time remaining, today at 16.00 the task is. Closed finally, I've managed to get this task. The rewards for individual and regional first kills of boss are calculated on a region by region basis, there were more than a thousand safe zones in the 8th region, and there were definitely quite a few regions that could trigger this task, not just Zhang Yi, so the next step was to see which region's team had a higher level of task completion, at that time. The Guan Hao Lu Xing several people who had also received the skeleton hunt mission were somewhat new to the game, what kind of mission is this, and why does it weaken the boss attributes? Zhang Yi said, there's no time to waste so you guys go and resupply, and then we'll go right away, after getting ready, a team of five people set out to rush to the undead capital, Zhang Yi led the way without saying a word, followed by Guan Hao and the others, who were in a somber mood. After being silent for a long time, Guan Hao suddenly said with a smile, remember when we were in high school, the three of us often skipped class to go out and play games. Every time we cut class, we always need the class president to find a way to give us a round, ha ha ha, really hard for our Yoro class president, yes, Zhang Yi, how can he not remember, when Han Yoro was the class president, the two of them were not together, Zhang Yi, every time with Guan Hao they skipped class, have to entrust Han Yoro, racking their brains for their defense, Han Yoro. They said they ate something at noon to eat bad stomach, went to the infirmary, Han Yoro, Guan Hao home. Fire, Zhang Yi and Lu Xing to help him extinguish the fire went, Han Yuru, they went to the hospital to see the sick hospitalized grandmother, director of teaching staff, the grandmother of the three of them is the same person. Han Yuru, her three people's grandmother is sick hospitalized, one day a reason, but also cannot take the kind of repetition, but also difficult for us to Yuru class president, Guan Hao said with a smile, until once, but also Yuro is the first time with us to miss class online, was the director of the teaching staff to catch a positive, so exciting ah uh, ha ha ha, Zhang Yi didn't say a word, Guan Hao appeared like a dilettante, Lu Xing then said Zhang Yi, do you know how many people Yuro has rejected since you left? Why are you so desperate? Okay, stop it. Zhang Yi finally couldn't help but let out a soft cry, it was not that Zhang Yi was heartless, but in this life, having been reborn and returned, Zhang Yi no longer wanted to be subject to any bonds and influences, in this life, Zhang Yi did not need friends and brothers, and even more so, he did not need a lover, what he needed was to be powerful without any fear, this is the final apocalypse world. Eight years of survival experience told Zhang Yi one fact, to rely on any affection, friendship. And love is not as reliable as making yourself strong, at Zhang Yi's soft call, Guan Hao and Lu Xing stopped talking, but Han Yuru, who walked behind them, couldn't help but shed tears in silence. Soon, the group arrived at the undead capital, at one o'clock in the afternoon, there was an endless stream of players coming in and out of the undead capital, and the entire undead capital was filled with players who were teaming up to brush the skeletons and undead, and the two low-level areas in front of them were almost unable to land, Zhang Yi stopped at the entrance of the undead capital and asked Guan Hao. Have you brushed the undead overdrive task today? No, I haven't, Guan Hao shook his head and said, our levels are too low and our equipment hasn't kept up, so we can't even deal with the lowest level 15 skeleton undead in the undead capital, so Zhang Yi pointed at the undead merchant, AI Luo and said to Guan Hao and the rest of them, you go and get a level 3 difficulty quest, and I'll take you to the brush and do the quest in the meantime. Although he had never been to the undead capital, he had more or less heard about the distribution of the undead capital from other players in the chat channel, know that the undead overdrive level 3 difficulty corresponds to a layer of the highest level 19 to 20 skeletons and undead, is that many high level players still do not dare to step into the forbidden land. Ching Feng cannot help but be a little surprised, level 3 difficulty is not too high, level 19 skeletons we are worried that we can not handle it ah, uh, or we lead a lower difficulty it. It's okay, Zhang Yi said, one or two difficulty areas have been saturated directly to the third level area, I bring, you are responsible for lying. 
Despite what Zhang Yi said, Guan Hao and the others are still a bit hesitant. Previously, Zhang Yi witnessed with one person power to destroy the king of the world more than a dozen people of the team, Zhang Yi's strength is naturally unquestionable, so Guan Hao they are worried about is their own, Lu Xing whispered, we have run out of resurrection opportunities, do we really want to go directly to the third level area, just in case. The words just fell, Guan Hao said, anyway, I believe in. Zhang Yi, I believe in him as well, Qing Feng followed. Besides, there are really too many people in the first and second tier, and there is no place for us to stand, let's just go to the third tier area, saying that, Han Yuru was the first to go to the undead merchant AI Luo, and after triggering a dialogue, she immediately received a level 3 undead overdrive on AI Luo. At a time when other teams of level 16 and 17 players were only daring to accept level 2 quests, the move by Han Yuru, a level 15 priest, to directly receive a level 3 undead overdrive instantly drew discussion from some of the players around her who were receiving quests, a level 16 warrior uncle, girl good courage ah, uh, actually dare to lead the level 3 difficulty, so powerful ah. Uh. A level 17 assassin brother, what a beautiful young lady, want to team up together. I will take you to brush the level 3 difficulty. Seeing a group of male players scheming around Han Yuru, Zhang Yi's clenched fists immediately loosened, what is he jealous of? Han Yuru has long had no relationship with herself ah, uh, being pursued by someone or with someone is her freedom, has nothing to do with herself, seeing that Han Yuru was surrounded by those casual players who were attracted to her beauty, Han Feng and Lu Xing rushed to help relieve the siege, but they did not expect that because of their identity as Yuru's friends, they would instead be met with the hostility of those casual players who were trying to get close to Han Yuru, a level 16. Strong Knight used his body to push away the skinny ape-like Lu Xing, coldly snorting and saying, with your level and strength, do you have the nerve to bring a girl? What do you care? Lu Xing shouted at the group of players surrounding Han Yuru, I'll kill any one of you who dares to touch Yuru. As Lu Xing's words, which he shouted without thinking, fell, several of the players surrounding Han Yuru approached Lu Xing with murderous intent on their faces, kid, who do you want to kill? Han Yuru who was surrounded by water, incomparably nervous and afraid at the same time, could only cast a helpless glance at Zhang Yi who was not far away, but when she saw that Zhang Yi was not even looking at her, Han Yuru was completely desperate, Lu Xing and Han Feng couldn't help but retreat in the face of a few strong men pushing their way over, what are you going to do? One of the 16 level warrior strong men without saying a word directly pull up the waist long sword, gradually approaching Lu Xing Han Feng two people, said in a cold voice, you waste a few, this sister, to stay next to you, in the future inevitably every day to be bullied, you cannot protect, it is better to hand her over to us to protect. Han Feng did not retreat, but stood on the spot, staring at the gang of strong men with a torch-like gaze, and said my own sister, I can protect myself, there is no need to bother you, can you protect her? Around them, some other strong men had copied their weapons, Guan Hao also ran over, but with three people, he couldn't block the group of strong men, more importantly, he didn't even have a chance to get close to Han Yuru, but at that moment, the group of strong men who had originally approached Guan Hao and the others, as if they had suddenly seen something terrifying, each of them had a terrified look on their faces and couldn't help but retreat backward, before Guan Hao and the others could understand what was going on, the group of strong men had already dispersed. Looking back, Zhang Yi, who was dressed in a black cap and robe, showing the indifference of the beast master, appeared behind Guan Hao at some point, Guan Hao and Lu Xing looked at each other with surprised faces, could it be that the group of strong men had just been scared away by Zhang Yi? At that moment, Zhang Yi, who was wearing the white ID of the level 17 Imperial Beast Master, pouring city that he had just intentionally turned on, walked past Guan Hao and the others and immediately approached Han Yuru's side, the eyes of many of the surrounding players were drawn to Qing Cheng, and only the group of casual players who were still surrounding Han Yuru with the intention of plotting against her were still unaware of it, it wasn't until Zhang Yi gradually approached the past. That one of them noticed Zhang Yi. At first glance, there was a shock, Qing Cheng, with that person's shout, the group of people surrounding Han Yuru had all shifted their gaze to Zhang Yi with shocked faces, isn't that Qing Cheng, the number one person on the heavenly ranking of our 886 district? Yes, he looks so fierce, what's he up to? It looks like he's rushing towards that girl, could it be that Yuru girl, is she his girlfriend? Amidst the murmurs of the surrounding onlookers, the group of players surrounding Han Yuru saw Zhang Yi approaching with a touch of murderous aura, and they all retreated and scattered, since their intuition told them that Qingqing was rushing towards this priest girl whose ID was Yuro, 
how could they dare to continue to make things difficult for Yero in front of Qingcheng, the number one person in the heavenly ranking? Sure enough, when Zhang Yi saw the group of players retreating and scattering, he didn't come any closer, but instead turned around and walked into the undead capital, Han Yero couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief as she looked at Zhang Yi's coldly retreating back, feeling a surge of warmth in her heart while at the same time feeling a little lost, and then followed Zhang Yi along with Guan Hao and the others, leaving behind only a group of players stationed outside the undead capital. They fell into a heated discussion, player A, Big Brother's aura is really strong, even if he doesn't do anything, just standing there, he can scare off a bunch of people, it's awesome. Player B, yes, now in District 886, who knows that Qingcheng is a bug, dozens of professional players in the king's world can't beat him, such a top-level big brother, how can we ordinary people mess with him? Player C, but on the other hand, those four people look like they must be his teammates that he's just formed, because he just called out to people on the regional chat channel, and I've heard before that he's a solo player and never has any teammates, but hasn't the king's honor just recently shouted in the region that anyone who joins forces with Qingcheng is an enemy of the king's world? Are these few people not afraid of death? For the sake of a heavenly ranking no number one Qingcheng, and insult the entire king's world. Player D, yes, even though the big brother is a big brother, but the king's world is at least a 1000 strong team, and Qingcheng doesn't have any support behind her, so in the end, it's still the king's world that's powerful, these several people know, afraid is not far from misfortune, but people's business, we put what hand everyone should do what, undead capital. Zhang Yi and they're straight through the first layer of the first and second level of difficulty area, avoiding a large number of leveling crowd, on the way to the undead capital, Han Yero quickly caught up with Zhang Yi who was in front of her and whispered, Zhang Yi, just now, thanks for your help, you're welcome, Zhang Yi didn't look at Han Yero and said indifferently, I just don't want them to delay our search. When Han Yero started to say something, she noticed that Zhang Yi had stopped, looking around, she saw that he had already arrived at the level 3 area, looking around, there were very few players training in the level 3 area, and just as Zhang Yi and his team arrived, they saw several white lights in front of them, and a team of 5 was directly destroyed by several level 20 skeleton warriors and skeleton archers. Guan Hao and the others who happened to see this scene were stunned for a while, these level 20 skeletons were too powerful. Lu Xing deeply swallowed a mouthful of saliva, some fear said, or we still go back to brush the lower level of the skeletons, the big deal is not to do the task, in here to brush, it is too dangerous ah, our level is so low, I am afraid that will not be directly by those skeletons to the second, at this time, Zhang Yi, who was at the forefront, said, it's okay, you don't have to do anything, just stay back, the rest, I'll take care of it alone, with that, just as Guan Hao and the others were. In disbelief, Zhang Yi was seen taking out his flaming staff and began to select his target, not all skeletons would be counted in the quest progress, the skeletons that needed to be killed for this quest would be given a flashing mark by the system, that is, only in the eyes of Zhang Yi and the others who had received the quest, the skeletons that would continue to flicker with a faint white light on their bodies. Looking around, among the countless skeletons that could be seen all around them, quite a few of them were glowing, taking a few steps forward, he raised his staff and began to cast a spell on a level 19 glowing skeleton archer in front of him, fireball spell, a hot fireball shot towards the skeleton archer in front of him, directly hitting his body, and in the next moment, a damaged figure appeared above his head, causing the four Guan Hao Lu Xing behind them to be stunned for a while, minus 986. Explosion, with an involuntary roar, the level 19 skeleton archer with a total of only 900 life points was directly killed by Zhang Yi in a single blow, shattering into a pile of rubble and scattering on the ground, with only 6 points of agility, he had actually struck with a club on the first hit, this time it was truly a stroke of luck. Under the 25 points of intelligence bonus contributed by the plus 25 necromantic robe, Zhang Yi, who already had more than 400 points of attack power, was able to kill a level 19 skeleton archer with a single bludgeoning fireball spell in a single second, which was actually within Zhang Yi's expectations, but for Guan Hao and the others in the back, he was simply invincible. Wasn't his damage much higher than when we met him in the morning? One skill and he's already secured a level 19 skeleton. I somehow knew why those guys were so afraid of Zhang Yi right now, at the time when the four of them were dumbfounded, Zhang Yi had already killed the second flash skeleton archer with two attacks, and Guan Hao, who was standing at the back of the line, was hearing a system prompt that said, your team has killed a level 19 skeleton archer, and you have gained 20% combat experience, with an experience value of plus 30. 
Your team killed a level 20 skeleton archer, you gain 20% combat experience, experience value is plus 34, the good thing about grouping together to kill monsters is that the efficiency of the kill is great, the bad thing is that the experience gained is divided equally according to the number of people, with a maximum of 5 people teamed up, each person can only gain 20% experience. Except for the person who took the last hit, who can gain an extra 10% experience, for a total of 30%, this means that a level 19 skeleton archer could give Guan Hao and the others 30 experience points, while Zhang Yi could get 45, so next, the whole process almost do not need Guan Hao her hands, was Zhang Yi alone in front of the brush, Guan Hao she is to watch Zhang Yi this can be called a perverted type, 1 or 2 take away a skeleton shooter, 2 or 3 blow up a skeleton warrior, kill these for other players at this stage. For the level 19 to 20 skeletons do not dare to touch, like killing chickens. However, the difference between skeleton warriors and normal skeletons is not as simple as flashing, they have been given a powerful passive ability by the system, corrosion, corrosion, flash skeleton warrior and skeleton archer attacks have a 0 hashtag 1% chance to directly damage a random part of the player's body, a piece of equipment, damaged state of the equipment cannot be used. You must go to the blacksmith shop to spend money to repair, this is the same as 3 star quality equipment to open the Persistence effect, equipment persistence down to zero cannot be used, and these skeletons have been given the corrosion skills, the equivalent of a player can directly empty a piece of equipment all the persistence, the good thing is that the chance of triggering is not high, otherwise I am afraid to play a round down, Zhang Yi body equipment will be fried. At that time, Guan Hao and the others had also thought of helping to clean up, and then Han Feng, who was an archer, went down with an arrow of fire and hit a level 19 skeleton warrior with more than 30 points of damage and was almost killed by the skeleton warrior who rushed over to kill him and after that, they gave up their intention to help and honestly stayed in the back to rub the experience. Even Han Yuru, who was a priest, couldn't help because since Zhang Yi didn't lose any blood. For most of the time, those melee skeleton warriors didn't have a chance to get close to him and would be directly shot to death from a distance of tens of meters, those skeleton archers, on the other hand, had a chance to shoot one or two arrows before dying, and the damage they dealt was such that even Zhang Yi's undead bodyguard couldn't be broken. So Zhang Yi's blood level, basically remain at full, the fireball magic with lightning chain under the continuous use, energy consumption is a little fast, after all, with Zhang Yi level 17 level, a fireball magic consumption, reach 12 points of energy, lightning chain is as high as 15 points, due to the more than sufficient energy cap, on average. Every dozen or so skeletons were killed before a bottle of blue pill was used, as Zhang Yi angrily killed the skeletons whose bodies were flashing. With white light, the progress of the quest also skyrocketed, reaching more than 50 in a short time, meaning that Zhang Yi had already killed more than 50 skeletons. According to the setting of this skeleton hunt quest, the player who received the quest would weaken the boss Golden Skeleton King's attributes by 0 hashtag 01% for each flashing skeleton he killed, which was equivalent to Zhang Yi only weakening his attributes by 0 hashtag 5% so far, however, there was no rush, as this was only Zhang Yi's 10-minute hunting game. While performing this task of hunting skeletons, Zhang Yi was also performing this hidden task of gathering rare materials, and it could be seen. That along with the deaths of these skeleton archers and skeleton warriors, divine bones would occasionally fall. In an instant, the surrounding ground was filled with money, equipment, bones, and even skill books and treasure chests, and Zhang Yi didn't have time to pick them up because his main goal was to kill as many skeletons as possible in order to maximize the weakening of the boss's attributes and allow it to launch an attack on Hope Town sooner, Guan Hao and the others couldn't help and were lazy, so they just went to the periphery to help Zhang Yi pick up the loot, as for the things they picked. Up, Guan Hao and the others were planning to give them all to Zhang Yi after they finished brushing, because it was already embarrassing enough just to rub the experience, where they still had the nerve to share the loot equally with Zhang Yi. But for them, even picking up the stuff was risking their lives, because if they didn't get it right, they would be killed by a volley of arrows from the skeleton archer, the good thing was that the chance of triggering corrosion was very low, coupled with the fact that Zhang Yi was not attacked by those skeletons very often, so almost all of Zhang Yi's equipment was not corroded, thus, from 1.00 pm, until 4.00 pm, until the mission time limit, only then did they finally hear a system prompt. That sounded at the same time, Zhang Yi and Guan Hao's ears, your mission to hunt the skeletons has been completed, the completion progress is 955, please return to the safe zone to submit the mission, and you can receive a generous reward. At the same time, a regional announcement rang out, Area 886 Regional Announcement, 
attention all players, due to the completion of the skeleton hunting special mission by players in the 886 area, in the boss invasion battle at 6.00 pm, today, the full attributes of the boss god of death. Golden Skeleton King that has invaded the 886 area will be reduced by 9, 55%, and the boss will invade the 886 safe zone 48 minutes in advance, and the specific invasion time for the boss will be 5 colon 12 pm. Today, the specific invasion time of the boss is 5 colon 12 pm, today, please prepare to defend your home for the players in the 886 safe zone, as the system announcement faded, the 886 area chat channel was buzzing again. Looking at the regional channel where people were discussing, Zhang Yi wasn't worried at all, the 886 region's boss weakness must be the greatest, and the invasion time must be the earliest. This was because no one was brushing the speed of the undead capital skeletons faster than Zhang Yi, even though the others were in teams of 5 inch Zhang Yi was practically brushing by himself, this time, Zhang Yi was determined to be the first to kill the boss, it was still early when the quest ended, the exact time for the boss to enter the safe zone was 5.12, there was still more than an hour left, however, this time was the time when the boss left the undead capital to rush to the safe zone, and the actual arrival to the safe zone would be around 5.30 pm, before then, Zhang Yi was ready to help Guan Hao and the others complete the quest in the undead capital. After all, before they came to the undead capital, it was Zhang Yi who let them lead the level 3 undead overwatch quest, and currently, he only helped them solve the progress of the skeleton warrior and skeleton archer, and the progress of the undead mage and undead killer was zero, without Zhang Yi's words, with the strength of a few of them, they couldn't even deal with the high level undead, and what was waiting for them was only the failure of the quest, therefore, Zhang Yi led them to brush. Up on the undead again, and at the same time, he also did a layer of challenge for himself, completing a layer of killing skeleton archer warrior and undead mage killer with a thousand each before he could enter the second layer, after brushing until 5 o'clock, with Guan Hao and some of them having completed their quests, Zhang Yi was ready to call it a day, intending to disband the team and brush alone again. Zhang Yi did not want to go back to the safe zone right away and wait for the boss to enter, because he knew that this boss battle was a long battle, remembering that the safe zone that had first defeated the boss in his previous life also took two to three hours, the process was not important, Zhang Yi was in a hurry to deliver the final blow, so he just had to go back when the boss was about to die, that's all. As for the task of hunting the skeleton, it didn't matter when he went back to deliver it, even if he waited for the boss to die, the purpose of weakening the boss attributes and making it enter the safe zone earlier had already been achieved. Although this boss battle would calculate additional rewards based on the total damage done by the players at the end, the one who took the final blow would receive the most generous rewards, which could not be compared to no matter how much damage was done, in comparison, the rewards based on damage were insignificant. And it was more cost effective to spend that time in the undead capital to brush up on a level of challenges and hidden quests instead, in addition, since Zhang Yi's experience. Bar had also reached 99%, he was about to level up to 18 and could equip the three-star fluorescent light staff, if Guan Hao and the others hadn't shared 70% of Zhang Yi's experience, Zhang Yi would have reached level 18 by now, so Zhang Yi disbanded the team. When Guan Hao saw Zhang Yi leave without saying hello and head straight to the deeper part of the undead capital, he said with some pain in his heart, Zhang Yi, is this really necessary? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Zhang Yi stopped his steps and said without looking back, you guys go and deliver the task, and then go back and take care of yourselves, after saying that, Zhang Yi stepped into the group of skeletons and undead, picked up his staff and brushed himself off alone, on the other hand, Guan Hao, Lu Xing, and the rest of them had been standing there like fools looking at Zhang Yi, and despite the incomparable pain in their hearts, they didn't dare to care anymore, Guan Hao looked at Han Yiru Qi. Knew Han Yiru's feelings for Zhang Yi, for three years, Zhang Yi had not forgotten, for him to reject countless excellent suitors, even including Lu Xing, you can see Han Yiru's deep eyes, covered with loss. Maybe it's time to let go, Han Yiru lowered her head and said quietly, let's go, after saying that, Han Yiru turned around and left, leaving Guan Hao and the others torn between Zhang Yi and Han Yiru, and finally following Han Yiru in a tangled mess, Zhang Yi, who had blown away a necromancer with a fireball spell as if he had heard the commotion behind him, turned back to look at Han Yiru, Guan Hao, and the others who were gradually leaving, and his eyes flickered very clearly, from now. On, just like in his previous life, Zhang Yi would not meet these strangers again, and he would live another eight years, just as Zhang Yi was distracted, he vaguely felt a cold wind coming, turned his head, and saw a huge fireball flying toward him. 
Stunned for a moment, Zhang Yi hastily and unconsciously raised his staff to block, the fireball bombarded the flaming staff, and at that moment, Zhang Yi saw the flaming staff in his hand instantly lose its brilliance and turn into a rough and unbearable stick, at the same time, two battle beeps sounded in his ears, you have been attacked by the undead mage's great fireball spell and have lost 168 life points. Unfortunately, your flame staff weapon has been affected by the undead mages. Corruption and has been damaged, you will not be able to use the weapon normally in its damaged state, upon hearing the system's prompt, Zhang Yi couldn't help but spit out a light spit, how could he be so unlucky, after brushing in front of him for so long, nothing happened, and he was just about to finish when he triggered the corrosion with the same probability as the hell dragon flame, the previous one for so long, even the hell dragon flame did not trigger even once really unlucky. People, even the water they drink is stuffed in their teeth. Looking at the flame staff in his hand that had lost its usefulness, Zhang Yi was a bit tearful as he had no spare weapon in his bag to use, at that moment, the level 20 undead mage who had just attacked Zhang Yi was still swinging his staff to attack Zhang Yi, another large spell ball flew over, dodged by Zhang Yi's maneuver, looking at the front of the crazy attack on their own necromancer, Zhang Yi in a fit of pique, pulled out the bag in the train station, so far did not take to. Decomposition of the plus 25 level 1 sledgehammer, dragged the sledgehammer towards the undead mage charging past 10 level below the novice equipment, are not limited to the occupation, so the mage with the hammer, is not out of the question. This was the only weapon Zhang Yi had in his bag that he could use, quickly approaching the undead mage, Zhang Yi slammed down his hammer, dealing 415 points of damage to the undead mage, with the plus 18 attack power of the hammer and the 30 points of damage added by the serious injury talent, the attack power was about the same as the flame staff, so the damage dealt did not decrease. It was just that with the iron hammer replaced, Zhang Yi was unable to use his imperial beastmaster skills, and could only use his general attacks to wear down the undead mage, even so, Zhang Yi, who was an imperial beastmaster, was able to kill the undead mage with a few hard hammers, after picking up a copy of the undead sense, which was shaped like a ball of white light, and a few copper coins, Zhang Yi opened his status bar and realized that he was only a few hundred experience points away from level 18. Something about killing a few more skeletons or undead, just as Zhang Yi was about to continue killing the undead, there was a sudden commotion coming from the rear formation, when he turned around, he saw a large group of players swarming from that end of the tier 2 area of the undead capital, Guan Hao, Lu Xing, and the others who were preparing to leave were also suddenly surrounded by a large number of players, when Zhang Yi, who was calmly beating an undead killer with a hammer, saw the IDs above their heads, he not only didn't show the slightest hint of panic, but also had a bizarre smile on his face, finally here. King of the world, a large group of several hundred King's world players rushed furiously into the undead capital, scaring Guan Hao and the others, as well as some of the players practicing in the level 3 area who didn't know what was going on. When they looked around, they found that the boss of the king's world, King's Glory, was indeed there, and he seemed to have come prepared, and after charging into the level 3 area, he looked around and quickly fixed his eyes on Zhang Yi over here, he was there, sure enough, the king's glory had brought so many people with him, and they were rushing towards him, but how did he know that he was here? Could it be that the group of burly men trying to make things difficult for Han Yuro that he had encountered earlier when he first entered the undead capital had revealed his position? Originally, Zhang Yi did not panic, but he looked at the hammer in his hand, and at that time, the flame staff had exploded, so was he going to use this hammer to kill the people of the king's world? Forget it, the hammer is the hammer, Zhang Yi a hammer, can also dry the king of the world this gang of people, in front, as the king's world's army of players poured in, the casual players who were practicing in the tier 3 area quickly scattered and fled, while the king's world's players, under the call of the king's glory, quickly rushed towards Zhang Yi.